the timer starts when I hit start on the press start screen. So I'm going to say, yes, that is loud as heck. And then down it. Hey, Salt Spawn. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, hmm. Keep saying encoding is overloaded. I don't know how that's possible. I'm not using much of my CPU or GPU. That's really weird. Well, let's give it a go anyways. Let me know if it's too loud or, or whatever. Captain Almor trophy, that's expected. Now, in good RNG runs, I I have the Birdo trophy, which would give me Mushroom Kingdom too. But I did not get good RNG, so... All right, the first thing I have to do is beat Hard Adventure to get the Crazy Hand Trophy. And that's actually kind of tough. And then after that, we'll be doing No Damage Classic Mode, which is also extremely difficult. And actually, one of the harder things in the run. So that's why I try to do it right in the beginning. For No Damage Clear, you have to get No Damage in a Single Player Mode, which is kind of absurd when you think about it. That was 27 damage. Okay. Uh oh. That was close. So I have to end not in two. So I have to wait. Because I don't want to unlock Luigi for this one. Thanks, Mark. I'm glad it's manageable. Now, this is the part where I die a lot. Mario and Peach are savage for some reason. So we're going to try to not die here. But... Like, look, look at this, man. They shield everything. They Mario has no damage right now. Don't forget you can't use C-Stick in one-player modes either. Good. That was good. Oh no. Don't die, please. Okay, that was a miracle. That was really good. <laughs> so, like I said, I got really close to dying there because they're absolute savages. Hey, thanks, first. I appreciate that. Welcome in, Nick. Uh, just so I should put this in the info section somewhere. If a mod can do that if they're around, that'd be nice. Um, I'm only attempting about half the run. I'm not going to do the whole thing today. I thought I should have tweeted that too, but oh well. kind of long but oh well <laughs> a few frame drop moments oh really my fox is gonna level up yeah you think so um frame drops huh i'm glad that you noticed those because this is another practice stream for when i do the full run i want to make sure it's as good as it can be i'm hoping it's not a hardware limitation i can just like consolidate some resources and be okay I can check to see if there's a trophy there. Eventually, I have to actually defeat these NPCs to get a bonus, but I won't be doing that on the hard one. I'll be doing it later, because I'll be doing adventure mode at least three more times. So I have plenty of opportunities to do that. Anytime I see a trophy, I'm going to want to pick that up too, obviously. That's the main point of the run. There we go. There's the end. Yeah, I'm not looking at my notes as much, thankfully, here, because 
It's just focusing on surviving and beating it so I get Giga Bowser and I don't get a continue. Because if I get a continue, that ruins the whole trophy I'm trying to get. And it has to be hard or very hard. So of course we're going to do hard, not very hard. There's no reason to do very hard. This makes it harder for myself. <laughs> I think he just fell off the cliff. Oh my gosh, there's another one. CPU always go after Pokeballs, and they always go after, like, food items. Oh my gosh. How's everyone's days going, by the way? Today is a, a nice, uh, bright Saturday. It's not sunny, but it is bright and, uh... Goodness. By the way, you guys should try... I'm, I'm sure many of you have, but try, like, Melee's adventure mode and classic mode and stuff on harder difficulties, and it is not easy. It's not easy, one, because you can't use C-Stick for aerials, but also because... <laughs> like, the CPU are actually difficult, but they're not difficult in a human sort of way. They're difficult in a... Like, they'll, they'll, they'll power shield everything, or they'll, like... They have the insane reaction times and stuff. Oh, it is sunny where you live? Nice. Where do you live? I live in uh, the Pacific Northwest in western Washington, which is usually rainy. I know you got... Could zoom... You really? Yeah, you can zoom You can zoom in the camera at any any point, pretty much, in the one-player mode. Yeah, there's another funny thing I learned. If you do, um... If you do training mode and you play as Master Hand, you can, like... If you pause the screen, it like it ruins the camera angle stuff, and it just shows it at a really interesting angle. Now, for here, I have to end at seven seconds because to get a certain reward. Let's see if I get it. Seven seconds left or whatever. Lucky number seven. Okay, that was important. I had to get that there. I could get it later, but it's nice to get it out of the way. Oh, Costa Rica! Awesome! Well, hello from the U.S. to Costa Rica. Now for this, I'm going to try to take a little over 30 seconds to beat these Kirbys, because if I, if I do it faster than that, then... Oh, that was not good. Um, I'll have to fight Big Kirby, and I don't want to do that. Because that's unnecessary for this part of... for this uh, adventure mode run. Okay, Kirby's. Yeah, that's no problem. It's already been 30 seconds. No! I died. That's alright. Don't die in a dumb way, David. You need every last life you can get. Sure. Interesting that it penalizes you for doing too fast. Well, it doesn't penalize you. Uh, it rewards you for another fight, which, I mean, you, you, or you earn by playing really fast, essentially. But for our intents and purposes, it's a punishment because... <laughs> I don't want to fight a big Kirby, if, if that makes any sense. Um, but eventually, we will want to fight large Kirby to get the bonus, because you, you're awarded a bonus for doing that. Okay. That not enough? Nope, not enough. Oh, frick. That should be enough. Rewards you with another fight. Well, you get more points. Like, remember, don't don't you remember, Mark, that the whole point of uh, playing single player mode is to get as many points as possible. All right, this one is extremely difficult. These Pikachu's are savage. They don't die, like at all. They attack continually and rapidly. 
The only thing... Like, look at that. I died in two seconds. This is why I have to, like, really focus. There's so many of them, too. Like, I just... I don't get why they're so savage, dude. Okay, great, perfect. Golden. No, don't pick up the Pokeball. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh my gosh, that was rough. Only having two stocks is not great. Get over here, you idiot. Oh my gosh. Hey, no problem, Mark. Enjoy your local, man. Thanks for stopping by beforehand. <clears throat> okay. Let's not be uh, silly and die at this one. I don't want one stock for Bowser. In fact... Uh, I also have Icicle Mountain coming up. An Icicle Mountain, I can die pretty easily, so I gotta be really careful. Not gonna chance it. There's no reason. Later, Mark. Have a good day, man. I should be able to make it now. So you get Switzerland automatically by doing that one because there's no enemies to fight. Oh gosh. No? I think I just missed. Yeah! Okay. I think Icicle Mountain's next? No, on it. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is another sketchy one. I might die here too, and that'd be really bad if I did. These guys go crazy after Mr. Saturn for some reason. Beware of my laser. They always smash the eye to my up air. Okay, that was actually not bad. That was not bad at all. For this one, I just need to survive. The Ice Climbers can be brutal in this stage. Can be brutal. So you just gotta be careful. Um, also, I like to look out for trophies because sometimes there's trophies strewn about this level randomly.
<laughs> that poor confused polar bear. He's dancing to the music. No. No, I was really afraid of that happening. Oh my gosh. That sucks. Man, that was rough. I am not happy with that. At all. Oh, I might have to reset the run. I mean, I don't know if I'll reset the run or not. the metal hopefully the metal mario won't kill me <clears throat> okay this is not good mercy god has shown his mercy upon me this day all right, let's see if I can defeat Giga Bowser without dying. I'll get the coward reward for doing this for sure. Good question. Um, I th I'm pretty sure you just have to unlock Luigi for him to appear. So once Luigi's unlocked, he'll appear with them as the Metal Bros. All right, Giga Bowser time. Here goes nothing. This is the moment of truth. I wanted to pick that up, but I... Oh, frick. Yes! Oh! I got Speed Demon, not Speedster. Dang. Whew. Speed Demon is better than Speedster, but it's sometimes hard to get Speedster, so. That just means I did this pretty quickly. Whew! That was close. Now, the next one's also just as difficult, if not more so. So, hopefully. Oh wait, I got frick, I gotta undo this split. Ready? Okay, so now I gotta do classic. 
very easy. Now, the whole point of this one is to not be damaged. Uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Now for this one, luckily if I do get damaged, a reset won't be the worst thing in the world. The goal for this one is you just try to get your, your teammate to do all the killing. Get away from me, Nana. And also for the Ice Climber stage, you have to not be damaged from the, you know, from being out of bounds or whatever. We don't do break the targets here. We do them later. And the main reason for that is if I want to quit, I would have wasted a bunch of time for no reason to get the targets because it won't save, I think, if I quit. So. Oh boy. This could be rough. Oh yes. That was merciful. Highly merciful. This one can be rough. It's so easy for him to hit me. On a small stage like Yoshi's, a large character can easily hit you from across. So I had to be really careful on that one. Perfect. So now I don't want to quit out. I do I SD five times I got damaged to get those trophies. Oh, yes. Esther, thank you so much for the 28 sub. I appreciate that, Essie. How are you? Also, a nice artist badge by your name. That was incredibly tense. So for this one, I don't want to hit the lava. So I'm actually not going to go as far as I could go because I don't want to get hit by the lava. So, Hey, Clap. Welcome. How are you? You saw some Jones at the Dollar Tree. I love that. Hopefully you got some. Esther, how is your morning going? Hopefully it's full of uh, productivity and uh, cleaning activities. Okay, we're... Oh, there's a trophy there. I'm not going to risk it. I should risk it. I should have some balls and risk it, but I don't want to risk hitting the lava. Oh, boy. Nope. Please don't survive. Okay, this is the scariest part of all. Uh, fighting Master Hand and... Just Master Hand. But I have to not be damaged. So, luckily I can suicide. And that doesn't count. Can't die again. Yes! Yes! Oh, I think I got no damage clear first try. It's your birthday tomorrow, Claps. That's awesome. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Okay, let's see. No damage clear. 
Okay, so now I'm a little worried about getting speedster. Hopefully I can get that somehow. Dun, dun, dun. I am quite relieved I got that first try. That is certainly not what I was expecting. Okay, so now we have to get five kills in Cruel Melee, and there's a specific method I like to use to do that. Thanks, Donnie. Uh-oh. I forgot to split? No, I didn't. I didn't forget to split. How are you, Swassy? Um, okay, what's next? Um, okay, so this is where I need to turn off the, con the rumble for the other controllers. Now I have to do... Run auto split. Hopefully this works. <laughs> I haven't really tested it today. Whoops. Um, now we go to VS matches. Oh, it's special melee. Well, let's do one stock. Stage selection is random. Items are off. Okay. And then... Special melee. Stamina. Oh, fun. Oh, gosh. What happened to this controller? Well, hello to Dad and Luke, if you're there. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, right? The, the awesome artist badge. Okay, so for the first one, um, I need to do... Falcon... see falcon bowser each the so falcon dk bowser each all right this is where a lot of the tedium starts new team i'm blue so blue falcon DK, Bowser, Peach, Red. DK, Bowser, Peach, Red. Okay. So this is where the dying over and over comes in. Let's see if our auto-split works. <sighs> Looks like it worked. Yes. So, I'm essentially waiting until it has 198. And I SD over and over until then. So, this is, uh, this will give you a theme of this run. Is It's very, there's a lot of grinding. Very tedious. So get ready for some of the lesser exciting parts of the run. <laughs> oh wow. My run um my run is messed up. My run command is messed up. I have two run commands. I'm not doing event matches. I wonder if I can fix that while I'm doing this. This would be a good example of how I can multitask during this part. Um mix it up. Could be a mix it up thing. Uh, here we go. Okay, I think I fixed it. Oh. So what's nice is, after every uh, match, I have an auto splitter. That's you see the number um, below me that says current count eight. That's keeping track of how many matches that I'm doing. So I don't have to constantly go back and forth and check which is a, a nice time save. Um, and what it does is every time it sees the word game on screen, like the actual logo for game at the end of the match, like right then, it'll count that as 
um, an instance. It'll wait five seconds and it'll look for it again. Hey, Buster's username. Yes, it is an actual speedrun category. There's only been three other people that have done full runs that have shared them. Um, and I'm trying to beat the world record. It is absolutely brutal, yes. If you hate fun, you'll love this run. Nice! What kind of tacos did you get, man? That sounds amazing. Yeah, right? No, I'm all... I thought that I did, Buster, and I found out that we did not have the disc gun trophy. Um, to get, do you know how to get the disc gun trophy? You have to get every single bonus in the game. So, like, those little, like, you know, like, fighter stance and, like, the stuff you get in one-player modes? You have to get every single one of those in VS. I mean, you can get them however you want. Some are VS exclusive, some are single-player exclusive. And the reason I'm doing stamina mode is because it skips the result screen. And that's faster than watching the result screen. I have stages on random because I can't do random stage select until I unlock all the basic stages, which I don't do for a while in this run. And uh, I want you guys to guess how many matches I have to SD like this. How, like, pick a number. Five hard shell tacos. That sounds delicious. So fun fact, Buster, I realized that I, I think I missed the crazy hand trophy and I missed the disc gun trophy. Um, so I can end up getting the crazy hand trophy on my original save file. And then um, I just have to get the rest of the bonuses. And some of the bonuses are like, you can look up game facts guys for them and stuff. It's still not as straightforward as you think. There's some ridiculous criteria sometimes. That's a really good guess, Charles. That's actually a fantastic guess. The actual number is 1,000, but they get broken up into 200 match chunks. So, yeah. You have to check if I have Crazy Hand on my GameCube right here. Oh yeah, please do. And then if you don't have it, or whether you do or don't, I'll tell you how you can unlock it. By the way, I was going to do a, um, I was going to have my inputs displayed on my sc on screen for you guys, but the, honestly, the process that runs it is really resource intensive, and I don't think I can manage that without my computer being overloaded, so I have left it off for now, unfortunately, because it takes up like 35% of my CPU, which is really stupid. It's not worth it, so I've opted out for that. Sorry about that. A new swimming pool? What? Where's a new swimming pool? Like your local swimming pool? That's cool. Man, swimming sounds great right now. The sun is coming out, it looks like. So that's nice. Wow, I've saved time. Look at that. I've saved time on every single one of my... My splits so far. That's actually nuts. I saved 22 seconds the first time. Six minutes. Six minutes? I, I guess that makes sense. You don't have a swimming pool. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured the, the chances of owning a swimming pool is pretty low. Hi, Tybex. Uh, doing really well. Uh, feeling good about this practice run. How are you doing? This, the first half an hour is absolutely flown. But this is a very tedious, grindy speed run. So, um, By the way, I'm looking at doing about half, halfway through the run. In fact, I should probably update that. Let's see. I know my video is overloaded. Let's see. Yep, 
Yeah, the benefit is because of the loading screens and stuff, I can do a lot of like, I can multitask, which is nice. Right, right. That's awesome, Preston. I'm glad that you got a new one. Just chillin' tie. Nice, nice. Today's a good day to chill. Oh no! Oh no. I realize the problem. One problem is I can't really type. Help, my number counter didn't reset. This is 45 right now. Oh, frick, it's paused. Oh my gosh, why? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it unpaused? It's not unpaused. Why is it not unpaused? No! No! Gosh, this is... This is why we test this stuff, man. Alright, what's wrong with my stupid... Counter? Okay, so that should say a lot more than one. It should say at least 52, so I'll put 52 on there. I'll say 54. Gosh dang it. The number's now off. Because I screwed it up. I basically can't type at all. If I type stuff, it ruins the counter. Oh yeah, um... <laughs> uh, I personally wasn't a huge fan of the new Sonic movie. But I know a lot of people did like it. What were your thoughts, Preston? Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, was not a fan of the first one or the second one, unfortunately. Although, what's the movie I saw recently that I liked? Um, but David, they flossed. I mean, now that you bring up that point, I forgot how relevant it was to the current generation. Thank you, yes. Yes. Lady Bird. That's a movie I saw recently that I really liked. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, that was the very movie I was thinking of that I was having a tough time remembering. I was going to watch the first one? Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I would say the... Like, the new characters they brought in for the Sonic movies are just the most forgettable shoehorned characters ever. And I like that the second one drew more from the actual games. I did appreciate that aspect of it. I like that, you know, they had Knuckles and Tails and... Eggman at least looking more like Eggman, although he still acted very much like Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, he was he's a he's a fun character. I just don't really consider him Eggman, you know. I mean Eggman already had such a personality from his performance by Mike Pollock. It's hard for me to consider a very Jim Carrey character to be that for me. Anyway. Yeah. But if you guys haven't seen Lady Bird yet, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, this this testing this run is such a good idea. I'll be mad a little bit because I had really good 
first three splits, as you can see, but like part of me wants to be like, oh, I should just do the whole 20 hours, but I can't because of the box controller situation. I mean, then again, if my time looks good and Matt's willing to bring the controller. Oh man, now I'm tempted. I know I'm old when kids know Sonic from a movie. Oh my gosh, Buster. Tell me about it. Live action Sanerk, what? Yeah, so did you see the movies, Buster? Did you see the first Sonic movie and the second one? And I know exactly what you mean. Um, I know Esther, uh, Essie in chat, she, at her work right now, she'll get people to be like, oh, you have any Sonic stuff? And they'll, they'll be thinking of the movie first and not the games, which is absolutely wild. But hey, I mean, good for the people that made the movies. They made something successful, right? That's what you want to do. So, fun fact. Another reason why I specifically have these characters in these matches is I'm actually unlocking their trophies as well. So, if you do 100 matches with a character, you get their classic mode trophy. If you do 200 uh, matches with the character, you get their adventure mode trophy. If you do 300 matches, you get their all-star trophy. So for the vast majority of these characters, they'll already have their classic and their all and their adventure trophies unlocked without even playing the one-player modes, which is pretty cool. So not planning on watching it. I'm sure it's fun, but I grew up on the comics and cartoons, and I don't want the culture shock. If you grew up on the comics and the cartoons, you're probably just much happier not watching it. I'm going to be totally real with you right now. Um, and I'm curious, which cartoons and which comics did you watch? There was obviously, like, the original Sonic the Hedgehog TV show. There was there was Sonic Underground a lot later. There was The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And, of course, Sonic X, which is the more recent one. Um, I was a big fan of Sonic X. And, in fact, the entire English 4Kids TV voice acting group, they are my favorite of the bunch. I think they were the most... I love Jason Griffith as Sonic's voice. I loved, uh, obviously, Mike Pollock as Eggman. And then, um, yeah... Cartoons meaning, okay. And adventures, comics meaning Archie, nice. You have the entire Archie comics? That's awesome, dude. Yeah, those those Archie comics went hard. I haven't like owned any. I've only like browsed through some very quickly. But from what I've seen, I mean, they seemed like they were pretty awesome. On Paramount Plus, oh, I did not know that. I guess they was made by Paramount, wasn't it? Uh, let, let, that kind of dovetails into like live, the, the live streaming service conversation. What live streaming services do you guys use or have? Right now, I pay for Disney Plus and I share it with some, some friends. And then I also have access to Hulu and Netflix from two different friends that were kind enough to share those with me. And then we have a Peacock Premium account shared between my brother and I that we don't pay for. So, you basically learned to read off of Archie Comics? Seriously, Esther? Um, Archie Comics for what? For what? For which series? Because uh, Sonic the Hedgehog had particular Archie Comics. Same, I literally say things sometimes, and then I remember the issue that I remember the expression from. Whoa, that's insane, Buster. <laughs> you can remember that. Wow. I don't think I'll ever pay for Paramount Plus. Honestly, I think if if my friends stopped subscribing to like the various Hulu, um, Netflix, I think I'd just like not watch them anymore, to be, to be totally real. I'd find other ways to watch them. I used to look at pictures and then imagine what they were talking about. Oh my gosh. And then when I learned to read, they were my go-to bathroom media before phones. Good times. Good times. The comic ran like 50 to 20 years, so it's a huge part of your life. Wow. I didn't realize it was that long. That's awesome, Preston. What do you watch on Paramount Plus, besides the Sonic movies? I guess anything made by Paramount, but like, I... For some reason, when I think of Paramount, I can't immediately think of, like, oh, yeah, these Paramount films. Did... No. I'm trying to think of 
what Paramount's made. Classic RTs are just incredible. Mm. What made the characters fun, Esther? All right, just a hundred more to go before we, um, let's see, what do we do next? Yeah, we unlock, we unlock two characters. You know what? I'm gonna change this. Okay. This is also really helpful because what I'll do is I'm going to screenshot my, like, layout. And that'll help me remember the ideal way to set things up. MTV and SpongeBob. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So SpongeBob is Paramount. I don't know. I don't know. MTV was Paramount. There were just early stereotypes. Rich brunette girl. A material is that a materialistic? It doesn't understand why everyone doesn't own a private yacht. Oh, oh, is very ma materialist, materialistic. Who is friends with a quirky, smart blonde girl, and they both love the same boy, and then just tons of fun cast members and friends. Okay, nice. Yeah, Archie. So, yeah, you're probably talking about, like, the original Archie comics. I know Archie's made a bunch of series, too. That's so fun, Esther, that you grew up on that. Do you know what uh, year they started, those original classic ones? That's awesome, Preston. What kind of MTV shows do you enjoy? Riverdale came out and ruined everything? What's Riverdale? <laughs> that reminds me of a, of a town in Skyrim called Riverdale. I don't think it actually is called that, but I feel like that's, a, that's the name of a Skyrim town. I had a family who was into Archie. I remember them lying around everywhere in the early 90s. Nice. Um, in the spirit of uh, aging ourselves, I will be turning 30 in November. So my 20s are ending this year. MTV2 used to play Spongebob all day long. Hey, how's it going? Twitch is web. Web is here, gamers. Hopefully you're doing well. So is MTV2 the name of a channel? Viacom owns it all. Even Melee. So, yeah. So, so the day myself, I'll be 30 in November. I keep getting this error on OBS that says encoding overloaded, consider turning down your settings. And I think for the reason might be my recording. I think because I'm recording at the same time that I'm streaming. So I'm wondering if I should just turn down my recording settings a little bit. Honestly, I don't think I need to have it recording this high quality. I mean, my original intent for it was like I could record specific footage or something, but I don't think that really matters. So I might just reduce the quality. Hey, Dan, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome in. You watch Jack, even though I'm not trying to cuss in chat. All right, no problem. I appreciate that sensitivity. Whoops. Uh, one of those extra channels not featured on basic cable. Ah, okay. You know what's funny is, um, growing up, I didn't even have basic cable. So, <laughs> I didn't watch any of the Disney Channel shows or Cartoon Network or um, Nickelodeon, except when we went on vacation and all the hotels that we would stay in would have those channels. So, like, that was, during our vacation, I associate, I have positive memories with Fairly Odd Parents and Spongebob and Jimmy Neutron, the Jimmy Neutron show and stuff, because I thought, ah, oh, it brings me back to being on vacation and watching 
you know, if, if, having a full day of fun, and then in the evening when we, we were, before we go to bed, we got to watch shows. It was good stuff, but we didn't grow up with it regularly like a lot of other kids our age did. It's nice, great melee can look in 480p. Yes! Yes. The Ole might feel otherwise, though. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that, Webb? But, I mean, I mean, it's funny. Like, you can't see... You can't see what it looks like to me on this CRT, but it looks super crisp and super nice. But I completely agree. And this is actually 480p. This is not 480i. Because I'm using a uh, PC CRT. So we're getting legit, like, digital signal. What trophies are excluded from this speedrun? So technically, there are three... No? Two. There's two. The Samus Unmasked Trophy. That's right. The Samus Unmasked Trophy. There's technically three, but there's... I'll explain. Samus Unmasked Trophy, the Mario and Yoshi Trophy, which you could only get at special events or by using uh, hacks or the debug mode menu. And then there's one more um, that's J Japan Japanese exclusive. That's like... I forgot what it's called. Like, like Demon something or whatever. And it's just from the the demon nes game i can't i'm blanking on the name of it but because melee has an entirety of 293 trophies but in the international in the international and u.s releases they only have 292 two of those trophies can only be got through special events so really this run is 290 trophies if you include the olimar trophy you can get from having a pikmin save file on your memory card very crisp overlay text begs for high resolution oh i see what you're saying Oh, I see what you're saying. You can compare it side by side. You can see the the high res small text and compared to the less high res text in game. I see exactly what you mean now. So Dan, hopefully that answers your question. Um, and I'll only be going to about halfway today. I won't be going through the whole speed run. So basically we're not catching Mew. Um, unfortunately in this run we're not gonna get that far. Um, <laughs> Actually, and honestly, you might even catch Mew like just by playing the game. Selby is the one that's unlikely. Selby is a, a one in two hundred and fifty-one chance, and you only can unlock Selby. You can only encounter Selby after you've done five thousand KOs. And what I'm doing right now is not even counting towards the five thousand KO count, because another thing you have to do is do 100 coin battles. And 100 coin battles gives you the Smash Coins trophy. And I promise you, if you own Melee and you played it growing up, you probably don't have the Smash Coins trophy either. Because no one played more than like 10 coin battles, I feel like. You don't have Crazy Hand. So Buster, have you checked to see if you have the Smash Coins trophy? Because, again, you should have 290 trophies if you have all of them. So if you don't have a Crazy Hand, you don't have the Disc Gun Trophy, so you at least have 288, if not fewer. Mew is not that rare. Yeah, right, Dan. Yeah. Mew's not that rare. I think Mew's like one out of 150? Or maybe even more common. Maybe one out of 50? 286. Okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah. All right. Later, Preston. Thanks for ha hanging out. Hopefully you, you enjoyed those tacos. Oh, not yet. Okay. Eventually. That's super funny. I was convinced as a kid, like, I had all the trophies, and then I realized, oh, I, I don't have all the trophies. I have 200, I think I had 288. Because I missed, oh, wait, no. 287. Because I didn't have the Smash Coins trophy, I didn't have the Crazy Hand trophy, I didn't have the Disc Gun. But I had all the other ones. Another reason, okay, here's another reason you don't have the Disc Gun trophy, is because one, one this is the dumbest thing in the world. One of the bonuses you can get is called Hammer Throw. And it's a frame-perfect thing you have to do where you press Z. Like, if you get hit when you have the hammer, you can press Z and drop the hammer. And that's different from it getting knocked out of your hands, which is another thing that can happen that's way more common and way easier to initiate. But you have to press Z. Like, you have to basically mash Z. And the way that I do it is um, I go to Brinstar, I get hit, and then at the apex of my height, I press, I just mash Z, and, and I have like a like one in sixtieth chance of dropping, and it's almost nobody has it. 
it, it's just a, such a ridiculously niche situation. Is there a percentage you have in mind for the likeliness of being the world record? Good question, Essie. So, the current world record is just over 20 hours. And as you can see on the very bottom of that long list that shows the counter at the bottom, I have a 1914-10 from a theoretical run. So, that would roughly be, you know, 45 minutes faster than the world record. Which is, doesn't seem... In a 20-hour run, doesn't seem like a lot, but it's it could be a massive time savings. And already, my first three splits have all been saving time. I've saved 22 seconds. I've saved a whopping six and a half minutes on the second one, which is very significant. And I saved seven minutes on the third one, which is also incredibly... Oh, no, I see. Not, not That's not accurate. A minute, about a minute and a half, I've saved on the second one. Exactly, yes. Hopefully RNG is on my side. Um, and hopefully, because the, the first two ones, if I get bad times, I can just reset. But they're the most difficult, some of the most difficult parts of the run. No Smash Coin Trophy, okay. You only played 52. Okay, Buster, that's way more than I played. I checked my memory card, and we had eight. Eight coin battles. Having 52 is a ton, dude. You played coin battles in Melee, and you're like, nice, I guess. And then you went right back to playing the normal stock. Stock battles. At least that's what I did. All right, we only have roughly 49 more matches to go. We're going to unlock the first two characters. I don't remember who we're unlocking, actually. And then we're going to do another 200, and then we're going to play Classic Mode as Marth to unlock Roy. And then we're going to go back and do 600 more. I think that's accurate. Yeah, 600 more. So yeah, the, the beginning, I would say, like two hours of the run near the beginning is just mindless SDs. So again, not super exciting, so I apologize for that. But if you come back, like, two hours from now... <laughs> Stuff will start to get more exciting, because I'll be doing... I have to do a classic mode very hard with Ganondorf. I gotta do... Game & Watch Classic. I, I need to update these labels, actually. And then I do, like, a silly training mode um, glitch. I do all home run contests. I have some strats for how I do that. And target tests, which are fun. The rest of Adventure Mode, and then All-Star. And then probably where I end the stream will be either, depending on how tired I am and, and my situation, I'll either stop at all event matches or just before all event matches. So, yo, how's it going, Smasher Magazine? Dude. Yeah, okay, so uh, full disclaimer. Um, like I mentioned, I'm only going to about the eight hour, nine hour mark. I'm not doing the whole thing right now. I'm just doing a practice because I don't know that I'm fully prepared. Now that could change. If I'm, if I'm at hour nine and I'm doing super well, to be honest with you, I might just ask my friend Matt to drive over if he's willing and send me the the box controller. Because the most tedious run, do you guys see the list? Do you see the list? Um, by the way, Smasher Magazine, can you remind me what your first name is? I know what it is. I just have blank on what it is right now. Because um, I want to call you by your first name and I just can't remember what it is. Camera mode is always fun until you rented a game and had to delete everything from your memory card. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Yeah, I think I have like... These days, I think I have like seven or eight GameCube memory cards because they're pretty cheap. You can get like knockoff brand ones. So I have like eight of them. AJ! Andrew AJ, thank you. I'm going to call you AJ, thanks. All right, Essie. Enjoy your homework. Essie and I are in a, in a marriage uh, class. We're learning about marriage. We're in uh, week eight, and next week will be week the final week, week nine. So she is currently doing homework for that. And I've really enjoyed it. I've really, really enjoyed it. I think after, when we're done with this class, what it will mean is that we'll get married, and then uh, we'll, we won't have any problems. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be like, we have everything figured out, no fighting, no conflicts. 
In fact, Esther and I will think exactly the same. They talk about how women think one way and guys think the other. Not after a marriage class. You think exactly the same. So that's that's something I'm looking forward to. Yeah, it has been dope, honestly. It's been really fun. We learned about like the intended uh, purpose for marriage. Um, ways to set yourself up for success. And then they have these exercises you can do with your to-be spouse. Which are things like questions. Um, things like family dynamics. What did you grow up with? So it's been really uh, enjoyable experience so far. And I think by the time GameCube came out, by the way, um, Buster, I just didn't, I just didn't rent games anymore. I think I only rented N64 games, because by the time, because what would happen is I would rent an N64 game, fall in love with it, and just end up buying it. So I thought renting is not even really worth it. I'm just gonna buy games that are used, and then I can really return them if I really don't like them. So, all right, what's your question, Preston? Oh yeah, yeah, it's. Do you recommend AJ? Also, we're we're doing um. Premarital counseling, too. And I recommend that very much. It's been illuminating. And I would say, um, if there's one skill to practice when you're with someone you're planning on marrying eventually, practice your communication skills. Um, be really aware of your... your expectations and then the things that are unsaid. And be really aware of those things, because... Just because they're unsaid and they're in your head doesn't mean they're in your significant other's head. Rending was bad. Now I wish I owned all those games. They cost like $100 each. Yeah, right? Exactly, Buster. And that's one reason I'm tremendously thankful I didn't do a lot of renting. I mostly just bought out. Because honestly, I'm maybe a little bit behind. So I think we got N64 in like 2000 or something. So it's pretty late. Um, and we can get... You can get used games were pretty cheap. I remember getting Smash Brothers for like 15 bucks. And then on GameCube, we got ours in like 2003 or 2004. So again, really late. So we've, I bought Melee for $20 used. I, I'll never forget it. Um, so that was like totally affordable. What's funny is though, the, the first time we played Melee was in, I think, early 2002. And our cousin had a GameCube. And we actually rented Melee with our money from Blockbuster to play Melee on our cousin's GameCube. And if you're interested on my YouTube channel, I actually have recorded the very first ever Melee games I've ever played with my brother and I. 2002, recorded on VHS, ported to DVD, and then ported to a uh, digital file format on YouTube. So if, you, if you're interested in checking that out, look for, um, I think the video is called like Earliest Melee Games or something on my channel. So. I feel like Jill and I could benefit from... Oh, man. Oh, my gosh, AJ. Yes. And this is what I would say. This is what I would say. Actually, I want to see what Esther says first. It's really been incredible to see where we started in the beginning. Yes, I agree. Yeah. So, not only have we made tons of progress, but... Oh, wow. That's interesting. I'm, I'm slow by 40 seconds. I'm close to 98, but... I want to speak to that in a second. Uh, Super Mario movie. Yes! Oh, yeah, I have heard of it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's made by Illumination, who also made the Minion uh, properties. They made the Despicable Me properties. So I'm not going to hold my breath on that one, to be honest. But I want to go back to what you're saying, AJ. Um, people have this perception of premarital counseling or, you know, taking classes or whatever. That's like, oh, man, you must be in a crisis. You must be in a really bad spot if you're resorting to that. And what I'll tell you is... That's not true. You can do it as like a, a, a preventative measure. You can do it as a just getting ahead of the game. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't exactly know my count. So I'm going to waste some time. And check. Oops. Okay, yeah, I'm over 200. So I wasted a bunch of time. Because I, I messed up my thingy. So... That sucks. I was like, why is this a little slow? So the problem is... So the problem is I wasted some time.
Okay. So I got it at Dr. Mario, and I don't remember who else. That's a lot of trophies. <clears throat> so I have to do this because... Actually, no, I could have picked other characters, but that's okay. We won't worry about that. I just wasted like a minute. It's not really that bad. Alright, let's get Pichu now. So now, we do stamina again. This time, we do Pikachu. Pikachu. Oops. Let's see, Pikachu. I should look at my notes here, not not the splits. Okay, uh, Mario. Mario. Mario, Yoshi, Samus. Wait, really? Okay. Mario, Yoshi, Samus. And they have to be human players because these are the ones counting. Um, so hold on, I gotta add. How do I add? Increase five. Okay, we're at two hundred. So Those are two hundred and one. All right, so now we need to do this at three hundred ninety-eight. That number needs to be at three hundred ninety-eight, and hopefully this number will be accurate this time. Wow, my, yeah, my split titles are actually out of date. I really need to fix that. Um, Esther, if you're still watching and you're able and to take a break from your homework, do you mind uh, pinging me in mod chat and saying update split titles to remind me? Because if I get confused and start reading the split titles, which are slightly out of date, I'm going to really mess myself up. I've got Yoshi, Samus, and Mario, right? Yeah. Okay. That's that's what I need to have. Yeah, okay. Thanks, S. But yeah, AJ, I think uh by the way, Jill seems super awesome. You guys are just you guys are great together. Um I know what it's like to have really weird hobbies and interests. I mean, you know what I mean. I'm not dissing your hobbies and interests because I think I have weird ones too. Um, and then having someone, that, you know, support you in that. That is not something to be taken lightly uh, or for granted. So, kudos to Jill. And I mean, not only putting up with it, but I mean, actively being involved. That's awesome. And also, Esther, by the way, your suggestion of having uh, the surface with chat up, absolute lifesaver. I'm able to look at chat. I, what I did was I put my surface on top of the Wii console, and I have it in a vertical orientation, and it works perfectly. Okay, so it looks like I wasted three minutes. I wasted three minutes on my previous split, but I'm still ahead overall. Encoding overloaded. Mm. I'm sorry, Esther, if you don't mind also, um, pinging me in the mod chat and saying, um, change video encoding settings. I'm, OBS is not happy with me right now. It's barking at me all the time. You were surprisingly good at keeping up with chat. That's one of the first things I noticed when I first watched. Thank you so much. 
I really appreciate that. I think... I think part of it is just making sure chat is in a location that's not too far away from whatever you're doing. So if you're watching something, if you're playing something, if you're involved with something, have chat as close as humanly possible and make it as easy as possible to interact with it. I think that's the biggest barrier. Thank you, Esther. I really appreciate that. I wonder how easy it will be for me to recreate my early splits, though, because those are gold. Gosh dang it, OBS. Luckily, we'll have an hour 15 to know if I'm going to use uh, a box controller or not. The other thing that's funny is, depending on how long the stream is, based on the lighting, you're going to know how long in the day it's been. Because I have my window open as my primary source of light right now. You know what I could do? Hmm. I might be able to set up a lighting source that might help things, so maybe I'll do that. <sighs> Only 170 more to go. And then we'll play Marth. Actually, we'll unlock two characters and then we'll, we'll unlock Marth. I had an idea for the coin section because like for generating smash coins you essentially have to press a ton of buttons and mash the controller and that'll be on the box controller and hopefully I won't break it <laughs> and I was thinking about what we could watch as a stream together during that so I'm open to your guys' suggestions and ideas because what I'll do is I'll put the audio track on a separate audio I'll put I'll make the audio of what we're watching on a separate audio track and that way when it's a VOD on Twitch and YouTube we it won't get picked up and it won't um, we won't have as many copyright concerns because the thing that really annoys me is like there's stuff that Twitch doesn't pick up on copyright wise that YouTube does so it's fine on Twitch but then when I export it to YouTube it, it complains so I think using the audio track method is a good one Yeah, it's funny. I've already practiced this run like I've mentioned. So I've gotten all the trophies on brand new memory cards, but I, I still don't have all the trophies on my oldest memory card <laughs> for whatever reason. So I have 100% in melee, but just not on my original memory card. Kind of a weird thing to consider.
I'm looking around at all the controllers I have. There's, um, how, if you guys are Melee fans or Melee players, how many GameCube controllers do you own? I have this one that I had since a long time ago. I got my custom one that Esther made that I use for, like, tournaments and most, and most, most of the time I use this one for playing. And then I've got a Smash 4 controller, a black Smash 4 controller. I've got a black Smash Ultimate controller. And then I have... I have another black um, original GameCube controller, but it has my janked up joystick from my original controller that I use all the time. And then I have a, two white GameCube controllers. So that's four, five, six, seven, seven. I think I have seven or eight GameCube controllers. <laughs> Those are rookie numbers, right? <laughs> yeah. Esther, you have so many. <laughs> my grandma has eight controllers, seven black and one silver. What? All grody, dang. I was gonna say that's awesome, but I didn't know they were grody. I, I ha that is like a jerk. But I genuinely don't understand how so many of my friends and just people I know as controllers are in such bad condition. Like, what are you doing to those things, man? <laughs> like, goodness. Like, for years, I never even cleaned my controllers one time. And they all work fine, years later. I mean, since 2003, some of them. Hey, MG. Welcome. Thanks for being here. How are you? I, th I still think the white, like the white first party GameCube controller with the extra long cord is probably my favorite GameCube controller. The ones that are cool too are like the aqua one or the orange spice one. But I think the white one's my favorite because it's got the original GameCube branding on it. And it has the longer cord of the newer ones, which I like. They all work in our good condition. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. At least they all work well. They just need some cleaning. Have to go to work? All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, MG. Nonetheless, I appreciate that. A symphonic green in person? Oh my gosh, yeah. Me too. What's the rarest one again, Esther? Is symphonic green the rarest one? Or... There's also the clear uh, controllers that are kind of cool. Pikachu does not have the fastest falling speed. I think this will be a good indicator of how fast I am. It's the red char one? The red character one? Yeah, is that from that one bundle that came with a console or whatever? I think I know what you're talking about. Starlight Gold and Pearl are also awesome ones. Yeah, Pearl's sick. I like Pearl. Kind of the off-white, like, eggshell colored one. What's funny is Falco is one of the best characters for this, but I have to use him later on the run, so I can't actually use him as a character to die quickly. Gundam character is the rarest. Okay, the Gundam. Okay. Remember, S3 knows someone, though, that had, like, every single game controller, right? So, for him, it was no big deal. He had, he had all of them. Didn't matter how rare they were. Also, uh, by the way, when it comes to how absurd this run is, I was able to talk to B. Wells, the current world record holder, and I was able to talk to NCB, the run originator. He's the one that created the category and did the first ever run. That was 61 hours. 
and it was a genuine pleasure to talk to them. And hopefully, you guys will all be able to hear it too when I make my little video on this run. Should be a good time. The 61 hour run is the one that blows me away. The dude slept twice. I think he worked for a little bit. Or maybe I'm thinking of B. Wells, who worked on one of his runs. But anyway. The one thing that was painful about Amsa's run, and I have not been able to talk to him yet about it, but when he was trying this run, he actually did this whole run too on console, on GameCube, for a charity stream. He did a really tough run in adventure mode, and then after he beat the final boss, he got a, uh, <clears throat> a GameCube disc error, a disc read error on his GameCube, which sucked, man. So he had to redo the hardest part for no reason, just because his his console like couldn't read the disc or whatever. Insane. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen with this, but that's never I've never seen that error on a Wii or on my particular Wii. So hopefully that won't happen. Sorry, just uh, making weird noises, thinking out loud. Just to give you guys some, a point of reference, every time I do these uh, self-destruct deals, it takes me about 38 minutes, roughly. Um, so you can think of it like a little more than half an hour. So right now, I'm 100 away, so that would take me about roughly 17 minutes. 17 18 minutes <laughs> from now we'll we'll be uh, unlocking the next two characters and then playing as Marth in classic mode oh that's right I have to do hard that's, that's what's going on it's Stanley let's go you you retired the name it's been a while I have retired the name dingo I see that well, welcome, Stanley. Thank you so much for the 20-month sub. Dude, I really appreciate that, man. How's your day been? What have you been doing lately? Uh, and also, what inspired the username change? I'm curious. What, uh, what, what led you to the decision of retiring Dingo? By the way, have you seen the newest Sonic movie? Or, I mean, the question, quite frankly, that I'm more interested in the answer to is, what do you think of Sonic Frontiers? I'm assuming you watched the gameplay of it. I have my thoughts. I want to know what your thoughts are. If you've seen it. But, um, I was happy to finally see gameplay of it, I have to say. Pika, Pika, Pika. Ready, go. 
The other thing that's nice is uh, historically for this first Smash Brothers Melee as a speedrun game, the Master Hand glitch was banned, but for this particular run, it is no longer banned, which is nice. So we'll be using the Master Hand glitch at least one time during this run. No, actually, at least twice. At least twice. And for those of you who don't know, the Master Hand glitch is where you get to play as Master Hand, and that is real, and you can do it. And I will show you how to do it later on. Day's been good, but it's a Saturday. I've been focusing on finishing the school semester, and I passed... Oh, you passed your bio class. Let's go. Congratulations. That's why I haven't been around for a while. Fair enough. Hey, you passed your class. That's awesome. Mission accomplished. What uh? What's your concentration in school right now? Only 80 more to go. Didn't feel as, remem as rememberable to me. Huh. What do you mean by rememberable? Like, you, you're saying, like, people had a hard time remembering it? I just like calling people by their first names, so that's kind of my bias showing through when I kept calling it Stanley. The other funny thing is, I think, was it NCB? I think NCB was telling me about how Plup or somebody raided him when he was doing his initial 61 hour run. So he had a bunch of viewers, which is so cool. So I think, you know, if you stream for what, 20 hours in a row, the odds of you being raided by someone is actually relatively high compared to when you do a shorter stream. The other thing that I do want to try, maybe, although I'm practicing with Fox, I might as well just stick with Fox, but the no damage clear and the hard adventure seemed doable with Samus when NCB tried it, so I'm wondering if I give that a shot, too. But yeah, Stanley, I don't know if you caught my question about Sonic Frontiers. I really want to know what you think about Sonic Frontiers, because I have some thoughts on it. I see. So over time, the name wasn't I see. I understand that. A name can sound cool at a certain age and then change over time. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. The thing... So when I saw Kirby and the Forgotten Land, I thought, I'm going to love this game. And I did. I 100% I of it. I just love the heck out of it. And I realized something. Breath of the Wild um, and Mario Odyssey kind of set the course for the kind of game that I really enjoy. It's like the open world, some platforming elements, and Kirby in the Forgotten Land was basically that, but Kirby, which was incredible. And Sonic Frontiers looks like that, but Sonic, and that, like an open world where you can just run around. Dude, I honestly don't even care if it's that barren. Just the experience of running through a large open area sounds so fun. There's a lot of really amazing Sonic fan games that are like that. And of course, those are ama amazing. Uh, I can't necessarily expect Sega or Sonic Team to be quite at that level. But in terms of something new and, and a fun concept, I think Sonic Frontiers looks awesome. Then again, I mean, I thought Sonic Forces would be good and it wasn't at all, so. The fan games that had open world became re Yes, right? I hope so. 
I really hope that um I really hope that Frontiers capture some of that. <clears throat> that feeling, because, man, those fan games do an amazing job of, of incorporating open world stuff in a way that feels natural. Vika! We didn't get much gameplay, but we were told there's going to be more throughout June. Nice. I thought we got like a decent amount. I think we got a decent amount, in my opinion. But I'm looking forward to seeing more, for sure. But do you see that, that meme somebody posted that was like, the level design is like, cl clump of rocks, a bunch of rails in the sky, clump of rocks. Oh, cyberspace levels, really? Where, where did that come from? Is that based on a rumor or something? Can you imagine if RNG was so good that I got Mushroom Kingdom one? And and uh, Mute City every other time, and that was just the RNG. I never got on it or Temple or these slow ones. Cyberspace has been a thing since the game was announced. Oh, okay. Whoops. Um. Okay. Is that from like the trailer and stuff? I don't actually remember. Just 43 more. It's 43 more. Can you believe when I was a kid, my video game time would have been over half an hour ago? Just saying. Gamers were in a press group. But it hasn't been shown yet, although some elements from Sonic's moveset and enemies are somewhat cyberspace themed. Okay, so there's little there's little hints, little traces of this cyberspace stuff. That is awesome. I hope they do something like that. And I hope they actually like get rid of classic Sonic. He doesn't make any sense in like I, why was he in Frontiers? There's no reason. And I hope they don't do anything with a stupid custom character. I hope they completely ditch that. The the thing I, I can't remember which which fan game it is, but it's the one where you could like play as Tails and Knuckles and Sonic and Shadow and stuff. So fun. It reminded me of like what an idealized version of Sonic 06 could have been. No classic Sonic, yeah. Oh yeah, there is Sonic Origins, yeah. You're right. You're right, you're right. We're getting close. I don't know how much time we'll be saving, but... Can you remind me, Stanley, who you main in uh, Melee? For some reason I can't remember. Is it Falco? Didn't mention this, but I was in Nashville, Tennessee last weekend. It was my first time down there. Nice. What'd you think of Nashville? That's fun. Find any cool music stuff there? Yeah, you are Falco. Okay, I remember correctly. Um, 
Yeah, how was Nashville? That's freaking awesome. Yeah, you love it? Uh, what, what was the, uh, the reason you were in Nashville? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. If you're still listening, Esther, I... I'm kind of getting the, the travel bug a little bit. So, if... If I find a good job... <laughs> I would be very interested in going somewhere fun with you again. For Lao New Year, okay. Well, that sounds fun. What'd you do for New Year in Nashville? Did you create a band? Play a show? Whoops, I took the long way to die. Only 18 more. Man, this auto splitter is a freaking lifesaver. The CPU in this game can deflect stuff back at you using the regular shield. Is that actually possible for a player? It is. That is known as power shielding. If you are essentially frame perfect, so like if you shield, like if someone throws something at you, like an item, like for example, Peach's turnip, or a Falco shoots a laser at you, if you press shield at the exact frame that it hits you, it'll reflect back. That's called a power shield. Maybe a little bunk sound. So yes, um, and I believe the reflected projectile will do half damage to the other person. Yeah, I could do. I could be better at power shielding too, Stanley. We went to the temple and they had a festival. Dude, that sounds amazing. I hope you had a just a blast, my friend. I used to practice that and could never once get it. Really? Yeah, no, it's not a glitch. It just takes a lot of practice. And some people are just more I don't know. They they're more they have more of a knack for that those frame perfect things than others. You had boba three days straight? Let's go. What kind of flavor of boba did you have? I love bubble tea. I usually get like strawberry or mango if I want a fruit one. And then I get like the rainbow lychee like stuff. Guess I'm not fast enough. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go faster. I have three different flavors, Thai tea, green tea, and strawberry. Ooh, excellent choices. Have you guys ever had um, Thai iced tea? No, no, wait, that's not right. Is it chai? Wait. There's like the sweet chai tea that's super good at like um, Thai restaurants. It's like Thai chai iced tea or something like that. And it's like super sweet and flavorful and good and like creamy somehow. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna use the same group and unlock two more characters. Oh, it's good, all right. It's very good. Okay, so I gotta do Pikachu, Mario, no wait, Mario, wait, it's Mario. Mario, Yoshi, Samus. This will unlock all their trophies. Let's get Flacco. 
Is Young Link after this? I don't remember. Took a long time. <clears throat> Ready? Go! You should give me more trophies. Ready? Oh, it's Marth, that's right. Not Young Link. Alright, so now we're playing as Marth, and we're doing Hard Classic Mode. Oh, I need to pause this. Be a tipper. I should do it. Just out of reach. Oh, come on. Really? My teammate died? It's not dead yet. Be explosive. Popo! Thank you. Die, my friend. Alright. Talk to you later, Stanley. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate you saying hi. So, my goal here is to defeat Crazy Hand. Don't do break the targets. Oh my gosh. Tipper. Full charge. Isn't it? Full charge Tipper didn't kill? That'd be insane. I got a 1 2 punch bonus there. That's nice. Chaotic. I'm sure none of them died yet.
Flink is kind of savage. <laughs> the giant characters are so odd because their knockback is like farther, you know. They're stronger in some senses, but they like, oh no, please get this. No! Well, I got one. And Ayumi Tachiban is an important one because she only appears in one player, one player mode, so I'm really glad I got her at least. Where are you going, you freak? What? Yoshi's hacking, bro. Goodness. Die, you peachus. I hope I don't die. That'd be embarrassing. Nice, got the max amount of coins for that. It's helpful. Metal Fox. Okay. Alright, it's gonna be like that, is it? Crap. No! Glad I only uh, lost one stock, although <laughs> I can still lose to this. I have to fight both Master Hand and Crazy Hand to with no continues. No, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Gotta do this again. 
I've got to do this again. Darn. Darn it, I'm so disappointed. Man, that, that is devastating. That attack is devastating. I wonder... I do classic mode later in the run, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to do it. Well, I could do it as Game & Watch, I guess. Oh, I could try. Boy. Huh, unclear what I should do. Unclear what I should do. I didn't get the Crazy Hand KO. Darn it. That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm... Darn it. So, I guess I'll just keep going with the run. I just have to make sure that I do that somehow. Even though I didn't get it with Marsh. Hmm. Well, hopefully we can make that work. Um, so, Pichu, Ice Climbers, Ness, and Kirby. Kirby. Alright, so now we're doing this until 598. Darn, I'm really, uh, not sure what to do that I didn't get, uh, I didn't get Hard Classic done properly. Hmm. Yeah, so I still have to do Game & Watch Classic and Ganondorf Classic, but... I wonder if I try Ganondorf hard and Game & Watch very hard. Or if that's just, like, impossible. <laughs> oh, man, this is tough. This is really tough. I guess I could just... Yeah, I'm not sure what I should do. I guess I could try for it. I have to do a very hard at least one time. So maybe I go for hard as Ganondorf at first. And then do very hard as Game & Watch and see if that works. That seems so sketchy though. I'm going to lose all my coins. In fact, I'm not confident I have enough coins to even get through very hard at all. Hmm. Dang. I might be in a tricky spot. Very difficult. Very difficult. One thing that B. Wells mentioned in his run is... He likes to turn off his brain at a certain point. And that makes sense with a run as monotonous as this one.
I was a minute and a half faster in my previous segment, which is odd. It's like you got a game over. I think I think maybe what killed me was losing so many stocks at the the Pichu team and also the Metal Fox. The Metal Fox is brutal. So I need to practice that, I think. And I think... And I'm so glad that I'm practicing the first half of this run because there's so many little things that can go wrong. So just getting in the habit of knowing what to look out for, what not to do, what to do is just such a good idea. And I mean, so far, this is all under two hours. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Pichu. Yeah, I'm like really having like not sure what to do about this not clearing hard classic the first time. I mean, I'm not going to reset over it. It wasn't completely wasted time because I had to beat classic with Marth anyways. And maybe it just took me a little bit longer because it was hard and not very easy. It took me, what, 11 minutes? That's not... Horrible. That's like adding five minutes on. The only issue is I don't know how what it's going to be like to clear it with Ganon and clear very hard with Game & Watch. It's not really what. I could try doing Game & Watch first. I could try hard with Game & Watch, but then again, I might just get to continue doing that. Oh, man. I think I have more confidence doing Ganon than I do. Pichu. So maybe I should just use Ganon to try to do hard. And then I'll try Game and Watch with very hard, since that doesn't matter as much. Although it might just take a long time to get through. I don't think it'll be as much time as I'm thinking. So that's probably what I'll do. Okay. The other thing that got me was I need to find like a surefire way to avoid the spinning master hand attack. Because that one just knocks you out, man. Uh, There's not a good way to dodge it, unfortunately. Um, so I gotta figure out do I go off stage? Maybe just going off stage and grabbing the ledge would make sense there. Yeah. Hmm. One hundred and fifty eight more to go. Ready, go. We're almost at the two hour mark in the run so far, which means we're about twenty five percent through. Believe it or not, in the first eight hours, I think the first. 
probably three. Uh, the first three and a half hours, roughly. No, let me let me. How do I say this? So uh, there's half an hour that passes. There's 20 minutes that pass, and then for the next three hours or so, it's probably the most boring part of the run in the first half. So this part of the run is definitely the most boring. And then, You know you've uh, done an optimal amount of skipping when it, when Dean Harrington just goes stam instead of stamina. That time I got through the whole word, I wasn't fast enough. I don't know what the logic is in interrupting that audio. That time he only said stam, stam. Let me just the full clip. Yeah, I think mashing faster causes that. You know, it's optimal. Stamina. One trophy that I'm also constantly on the lookout for is the Birdo Trophy. Because when you get the Birdo Trophy, you unlock Mushroom Kingdom 2, which is the last, which is the only RNG dependent stage to unlock. The other ones all have specific unlock criteria. Getting the Birdo Trophy, however, is RNG, no matter how you slice it, unfortunately. If I was super lucky, because, like, when you when you start a new save file for Melee, right? It starts with RNG in the sense that you get one trophy to start, and it could be... it's One of them could be the Birdo trophy. So you could basically make, create a new save of Melee and unlock Mushroom Kingdom 2 immediately. Now, what are your odds of that? Probably, like, 1 in 80-something, I think. Something like that. But it is possible. What's nice is, you know, like I mentioned earlier, an added benefit of doing these VS matches is I don't have to play classic or adventure mode with any of these characters, which is pretty awesome, which saves a lot of time. So I have to get these matches anyways to unlock some characters, notably Mewtwo. Like, I actually have to do this for Mewtwo. So I've got to get at least up to 700 this way. And then you might as well just get to a thousand because you're also getting trophies at the same time for the characters, which can be the most time intensive way to get trophies, or it can be the least time intensive way to get trophies if you know what you're doing.
if Charles was correct, we'd be approaching our 500 VS match mark. Which has taken roughly an hour and a half. Uh, maybe even less than that. No, definitely less than that. How long did Marth Hard Classic mode take? Uh, looks like 11 minutes-ish. So... Yes. If you can see below me, my current count below me, that's 474. Ready, so I'm almost at 500. Yeah, it's quite the grind. But would you believe me if this is not the most grindy part of the run? It is actually significantly less grindy than later parts of the run. I think the most grindy parts are probably the 100 coin battles and then the 5,000 KOs. And the most grindy part by far is generating coins. That is the worst part of the run by far. It's the very the second to last thing to do. But, hopefully, with optimizations and things, it'll only be two hours of mashing buttons all the time instead of... I don't know. Three hours? Three and a half hours? So. Don't want you randomly remember that this was an early GameCube game and not the la the last game released on the system. Dude, yeah. This was like among the earliest of the GameCube games. And one reason why I love that so much, Buster, is since the GameCube games hadn't come out yet, all the characters in this game are heavily inspired from their Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo iterations, right? So Link is Ocarina of Time Link. Ganondorf and Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Young Link, Ocarina of Time. Mario, Peach, and Bowser are Super Mario 64, Peach, Bowser, Luigi. He obviously, wasn't in that, but you get my point. And that's my favorite thing in the world. They didn't quite know what to do with Yoshi, because Yoshi's story did come out, but I think Sakurai made him a bit more based on his Super Mario World appearance. And then Fox and Falco are Star Fox 64 designs. That's some crazy quality out of the gate for a new system. It, I mean, absolutely. I could not agree more. I could not agree more. And the fact that they only had 11 months of development time is just absurd. It's just absurd, dude. They had less than a year to make this game. But yeah, and obviously Pokemon Gold and Silver were the newest Pokemon games to come out, which is also awesome. It does mean that since Brawl came out in 2008, though, Gen 3 got kind of shafted, unfortunately. Gen 3 doesn't really get any representation, which is really sad. Gen 3 music and even Pokemon designs and so much about them are like my favorite. But... Have good posture, kids. Oh. Yeah, and like, they had a Luigi's Mansion trophy of Vacuum Luigi in this game, but Luigi very much wasn't. Like, his design was just was not inspired from it, including his voice acting. His voice acting was just pitch-shifted Mario, and then Captain Falcon is F-Zero X Falcon, which is awesome, because GX hadn't come out yet. And then Samus was just straight up from Super Metroid, because Metroid Prime hadn't come out yet. And then um, Earthbound 64 got canceled. Or not canceled, oh yeah, canceled basically. So Lucas did not replace Ness, so Ness was still in this from Earthbound. 
What other little interesting tidbits are there? Obviously, Ice Climbers and Game & Watch didn't really have 3D models made for them before. Ever. And Mewtwo is one of the most uh, requested characters for the roster. So, And of course, Marth and Roy were a big risk because they were very popular in Japan, but they were unheard of in the West because there were no games on them. And then, of course, af then after this came Fire Emblem The Binding Blade, which featured Roy and was on Game Boy Advance, released in 2002 in North America and in Japan. So there you go. I remember as a kid looking at the trophies and reading Japan only and being like, dude, how elusive and mysterious. I wish we have this mysterious Japan only property. We're seeing the Ice Climbers announced being like, who dat, right? If you watch the, um, the E3, there's an E3 video that shows the very first reveal of the opening movie for the game. And people go, oh, it's Ice Climber. Like, they, like there's, like, one dude that recognized him, which is hilarious. But, yeah, I remember being so excited for Melee. I could not wait for it to come out. I think there was a demo one time at a Fred Meyer or something I got to play. But it did not happen very often. All right, we only have Let's see. We only have 88 more to go. This auto splitter is such a lifesaver, man. Otherwise, I'd be checking constantly. I'd be going back, checking the records. Not sure what number I was on. Or I'd be like manually hitting a key to count every single time. And this is just like, this automation is the world. So nice. Damn. And I really am saving time, which is awesome. I saved a minute and a half in the previous segment, which is nice. Even though I failed. Yeah, okay, I gotta remember, Ganon Classic Hard. Not very hard. I gotta do Dan Ganon Classic hard. And then I'll try very hard with Game & Watch and miserably fail. Or I wonder if I should do very hard with... with hmm. <laughs> Man, this is a tough one. I guess I could do very hard on All-Star, but I'd probably lose more coins. Hmm. Gosh dang it. I think coins are gonna be the problem here. Dang. Yeah, I wonder if I should just like spend my time generating coins in one player modes. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Like maybe earlier in the run I should generate more coins. 
I guess there wouldn't be any downside to that. Like getting 100 coins. Because then if I get earlier coins, more, then that would increase my odds for getting Birdo. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I should do that. Hey, Mino, welcome. How are you? Thanks for being here. How's your day going? I think we should probably incorporate more coins. Possibly after these VS matches? Question mark. Maybe just after hard classic. Hard to say. Glad you're doing well. It's awesome. I'm doing really well. I'm doing a really silly speed run right now. I'm gonna go back to the eight hour mark, I think. And uh, yeah, so I'm in good spirits, being a weirdo, playing a game in a weird way. Hopefully, uh, you're having a good Saturday so far. Seems like you are. What brings you to my stream today? You a fan of Melee? Just browsing? Thank you for the follow, Mino. I appreciate that. Yep, 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 yep. I've got, let's see, 50, no, I got 61 more SDs to go. Phantom Mabel, I love it. Who do you play? Who do you main? You're playing it right now? Sick. Love it. Love to hear it. I am a Sheik main myself. I played Sheik for a long time. Not very competitively. Any tips for a good secondary? Your man is your main is Falcon. Love it. Falcon's awesome. I don't think there's anything wrong with picking up a spacey secondary. You can't really go wrong there. Um, I know, especially with Falcon who has some really hard counters. It seems like a versatile Falco or Fox may behoove you. Because I know... Is it... Peach Falcon? That's a rough matchup for Falcon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Peach Falcon's rough for Falcon. So having a good counter to Peach would be good. Um, yeah. Hey, how's it going, Talk? So glad you made it. How are you? Yeah, this is a... Actually, you know what? I say this is the more boring part of the stream, but we're actually starting to wrap it up. We've got about roughly an hour more of just mindless uh, self-destruct with unlocking characters. And then we continue the more exciting part of the run, which is the majority of the rest of this. I'm going to go about to the eight hour mark. So glad you're here, Talk. And by the way, I'm planning on streaming a lot more coming up. Hey, that's fine. I'm used to SDs. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> I'm about to head out for the day. Sorry to see you aren't very good at stamina mode. You'll get there. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. I think if I keep practicing, I'll get there. And I'll, uh, I'll start beating these other players. Hopefully one day. It's pretty demoralizing to always lose, but I appreciate the, the positivity, Matt. Um, I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for uh, for being here. And Matt, but before you go, there's no chance that like, say, 10 hours from now, give or take, you might be back. Because if I decide to do the full run, because it happens to be a like really promising time, there's a tiny chance I might want to use the box, maybe. Um, I'm not saying that will happen. I'm saying there's a there's a there's a chance. 
So if it happens to be 10 hours from now and you have to be back home and I happen to still be streaming, maybe just check in on me if you don't mind. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your day. What does SDing do for the trophies? Great question. So basically, if you're familiar with how the trophies work, every single character in Melee has a classic mode trophy, an adventure mode trophy, and an all-star mode trophy. But there's another way to unlock those trophies. If you play 100 VS matches with one character, you also get a trophy. If you do 200 VS matches with a character, you get a trophy. And 300 VS matches, you get the all-star trophy. So basically, hopefully that makes sense. So what I'm doing right now is I have... I'm picking a very specific character that falls fast and runs fast to SD as fast as I can. And then three other characters are all human players, so those are counting as VS matches. So, in order to unlock Mewtwo, I have to play 700 VS matches or leave the game on for 20 hours, which can be reduced to 4 hours through some exploits. But still, leaving the game on for 4 hours is longer than grinding through 700 VS matches. And at that point, I'm also unlocking trophies for all the characters because I'm swapping every 200 matches. So at that point, I unlock Game & Watch through by doing a thousand of these. But because I'm using different characters every time, for every set of 200, I'm unlocking their Classic and Adventure Mode trophies, so I only have to play their All-Star Mode trophies. Exactly, it all links together. Awesome, Matt. Thank you so much for letting me know. Have an amazing time. I'm assuming you're hanging out with Donnie. And I'll see you tonight, maybe, or I'll see you later. Thank you so much for being willing. Yeah. It is. Um, and actually, I have to give the first runner credit for coming up with that. I believe the first runner of this category came up with that to save time. That would be NCB. 1221, two, one, I believe is his full username. Average David gameplay, true. I'm normally this trash at the game. So yeah, and now we're looking at, we're about to look at another break where in about 30 more SDs, I'm going to be unlocking two more characters and then start another set of characters. Make sure you have plenty of water, gamers and gamerettes. I just noticed I missed the, the Marth one. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know, what's, you know what sucks? I actually didn't... I actually failed on playing uh, Marth. So what I had to do for that is defeat Classic Mode on hard or, or higher and, and not get any continues. But unfortunately, I did get a continue, which means... I need to beat hard classic mode with another character, which will probably have to be Ganondorf. Yeah. Because the only way you get a certain trophy or a certain bonus is by completing hard classic without die without continues. So that's unfortunate. Um But hopefully I can beat it with Ganondorf and not lose much time. The worst part, though, is I gotta do very hard, and... Because very hard clear is a bonus that I have to get. Because, by the way, the disc gun trophy is a trophy you can only get if you've unlocked every single bonus. And that is one of the most tedious ones, so... Nice! Oh yeah, you'll be seeing some Gandorf in about... In about... An hour and a half. I wanna say. Maybe a little sooner than that. And just because Ganondorf is so strong, he's one of the easier characters to use in these single-player modes. Pichu! Something for me is coming up soon. Okay, <laughs> no problem, no problem. I'm glad that you're here in the meantime. So hopefully I can catch the Ganondorf shenanigans. Yeah, I hope so. Because I gotta beat hard classic. 
And luckily, Ganondorf is one of the best characters to beat Master Hand and Crazy Hand with, so that could lend itself pretty well to... Yeah. Alright, we're getting close to that 600 mark. Now that he's watching some David Kimball, even some homemade spaghetti. Yo. Homemade spaghetti? That sounds delicious. What kind of sauce? What kind of noodles? Do you have any meatballs? I, I definitely have a had a grown appreciation of pasta in the latter half of my life so far. Whereas I wasn't a huge fan in the beginning, and now I'm a big fan of pasta. Especially when it's cooked, like home homemade. Mm. Mm. Incredible. I gave making carbonara a go, and it's actually really good. Okay. It's your favorite. Wow. Okay. What um. That that's a, that's a tall statement. But I mean, pretty based, I guess. I swear I could eat only pasta for the rest of my life. Really. If, uh, Buster agrees. If um, there's like a a pasta place you'd recommend, is there like one that you would recommend that I go to? That might be a chain that I could go to. That's not uh, Olive Garden. I like Olive Garden, even though it's people think it's trashy. I'm gonna learn Mario, I guess, because he's good, but he's very fun to play. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would say. Hmm. I don't know about Mario being a secondary. If you if you if you're fun if you have fun with playing Mario and you think you'd be good with him, do it. I think as a general rule, if you're trying to counter a Falcon, I would say a, a Falco or a Fox personally. I would mix up the sauces and stuff with it too, though. LOL. Pasta places, yeah. Yeah, there's like there's a Ital like nice Italian places that have good that have good pasta. I love pasta, but I haven't been to an Italian place in a long time. Oh, Alexa doesn't love it. Gotcha, gotcha. You mean there's not a lot of occasions, Donnie, for you to go to a nice Italian restaurant by yourself? Cringe, bro. Where's the self-love? Where's the message of self-love in that? Hey, Annie, welcome. Heck yeah, it is. My stovetop is the only pasta place I know. That's hardly a bad place for it. Yeah, there's some really good Italian places. Like, there's a place called Bubo de Beppo that's near us. That's super good. There's, oh man, I can't remember the name of it, but there's another place that actually Esther and I went to. And she loves Italian food. So we'll get to go quite a bit. Annie, what is new with you? What is uh, new in your world right now? I'm really, really happy to see you in chat. Buster. Some Italian places are good, but I dread that sticky pasta. Oh, really? So if they cheap out, it's sticky. So if I'm eating some pasta and it sticks to my mouth and it ta it feels like glue, I know it's cheap. I never associated sticky pasta with cheapness before. I'm going to find out those Italian places. Oh, okay. Because I would go to Italian places to eat pasta daily. On the other hand, you might not want to do that then. If you think that's a trap you're going to snare yourself in. I uh, recommend self-control above most things. So if you think you have your self-control nailed down, then I would look and find a place in the UK that has it. I guess laziness more than cheapness. Ah, laziness. Okay. What makes it sticky, though? I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah, no. Gotta be careful with that. We're pro self-control here. I'm so dumb. I have way over 600 um, matches. I, I've, been, I've been wasting a lot of time because I got... You guys started talking about pasta and I was like, ooh. Alright. I'm just blaming you guys for my, something that's my fault. Ices. Ness. 
Pisces, Ness. Kirby. No, 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 don't be sorry, don't be sorry. <laughs> I love the distraction, it's great. Hey, Grant, how's it going, dude? Just life things. Pick up a membership, an internship for the summer. What? What kind of internship is it? That's awesome. But it was great for me. The guy I worked for always said he'd have me back in a heartbeat. What kind of internship is it, Andy? That's so sick. It's nice to have a really good connection like that, too. Those CPUs are so good at getting out of that situation. Hey, thanks for the posture check, Mino. I appreciate that. Die, young Link, die. <laughs> Keep way way may way. So true, Grant. Spoken like a true pro gamer. All right, we're gonna lock Ganondorf. You know I can do. Two new foes back to back. That's right. That's right. And I, <laughs> I, I wasted two minutes of the run because I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> so that was a little silly of me. Whoopsies. I mean, in a twenty-hour run, does does two minutes make a difference? Yes, it does, David. You should be, you should be doing the best you can be. Okay, wait. Uh, wait. Oh, okay, I see. Wait. Roy. I don't have Roy yet. It's saying I need to pick Roy. Wait a second. I should have unlocked Roy when I played Marth. Oh no. All right, then I know what I need to do. We're gonna try this again. And this might be stupid, I might be wasting time, but I have to do it. Oh gosh, what should I do? I might try it again. I might try the classic hard. Mm, 20 hours. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. I'm actually not doing all 20 hours today. Probably, I'm probably just doing eight hours. Whoops. Oh, okay, that works. Yes, it is possible because um, the unlock criteria, like, stacks. So if you satisfy the requirements for unlocking two characters, it'll only do the one. And then next time you play, it'll do the next one. Whoops. There we go. That reminded me, I had four people rage quit against me with Yoshi yesterday. Really? Jeez. I'm sorry. That's so lame. Oh boy. So, unfortunately, I have to reiterate this. Hard classic, I failed. Because I gotta continue. Which you can't get continues. I'll get the Pokeball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Angie got the... 
Dude! This is why we can't have nice things. No. Die. Wasn't even playing trollish, just took stocks off really quickly against serious characters like Fox and Falco. I'm sorry. I'm not a class act, Grant. And I'm not reading that pun. Are you sorry? I don't believe you. Are you quoting me, or are you are you specifically sorry? Also, I'm so bad at getting these trophies with Marth. Yes. Yes. Okay, I lied. I'm good at it. <laughs> I just wasn't good when I tried it the first time. No, don't go for whatever dumb item you're going after. Dead, please die. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Stupid young Link. Gosh dang it, Grand. Okay, this is actually a good team. Hopefully they won't obliterate me. The team ones are super hard on... Ha I mean, it sounds obvious, but... On hard difficulty, the team battles are actually really hard. Frick. No! Uh, fall so slowly. Yes, I didn't die. <laughs> Grant. <laughs> That's so good. Alright, at least I can get more coins by doing this. I'm slow right now. What the heck? Am I going to make it? Yeah, I'll make it. That was really slow, though. Fighting Polygon team level without the Fighting Polygon team? Yeah. Right? Race to the finish. Oh, it's actually Metal Mario. What are the odds? Oh, gosh. This is going to be bad.
Oh my gosh. Die. Here we go. Love that Fraud hates to play Mario more than anyone else. Yeah, that's so strange. Okay, I have way more socks than I did the first time. So, hopefully I won't lose them all in the first second. You bought new socks? Or is that a pun on something? If you actually did, that's poggers. No! I air dodged. Oh, socks, not stocks. Ah, I see. Oh no, oh no, this is bad. That move is single-handedly the worst one. No, not this again. Oh my gosh, that was really lucky. Yay! Hey, Gui, welcome! Nice uh, modified emote there. I appreciate your lurk a lot. Hope you're doing well. Woo, buddy. Alright, so that's good. So now I have Roy. Well, as soon as I unlock him. I can't hit any split because I'm not even in the right category. I didn't check to see if I got the bonus. I should have done that. That was the entire reason of doing that. If I did this correctly, I believe I should be getting the Master Hand Trophy, I think. And then I should also be unlocking Roy, hopefully. Da, 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 da. I already forgot, David, are you trying to... No, I'm not. I'm not trying to do all 20 hours. I mean, it depends. If it's a really good run, I might convince Matt to see if he'll give me my his box controller so I can try that. No, don't get the item. Whatever you're getting, don't get it. There we go. Okay, split. Marth Master Hand Trophy. Yes. Okay. So that was kind of some wasted time, but not the worst. It could have been. It could have definitely been worse. So now I'll pick Roy. Now that he's an option. And then we'll do. Um, Who's next after that? Young Link. And then after Young Link is Dr. Mario. Then we have Zelda. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. Our count is synced up again. So basically, I need to SD over and over until I get to 798. I've said it for like three to four days, but going to stream like 9 p.m. Central. Oh, awesome. Is that today? So that's like 7 p.m. my time? If it, the stars align, Grant, I'd be happy to raid you if it makes sense. I can't believe it's already almost 2 p.m. This stream has actually flown. 
Yeah, so funnily enough, Grant, the reason why I'm suiciding is because it's the fastest way to end a match. And I'm trying to get a certain number of matches. So do you see where it says current count 606? That represents the number of matches that I've played. And to avoid playing classic and adventure mode with most characters, if a character plays 200 VS matches, they get their classic and their adventure mode trophies. So you, you I'm basically skipping. And also there's unlock criteria for... Um, the unlock criteria for Game & Watch is 1,000 VS matches. That's one of the unlock criteria. And like for Mewtwo, you have to do 700 VS matches. So I'm making progress towards unlocking characters that way. I'm also unlocking character trophies by doing this and, and therefore avoiding having to do, you know, 26 or 25 adventure modes, 25 classic modes. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Roy is like fairly fast and he's like a really fast faller. So he's pretty ideal to use. So I think we can expect that I've lost... Oh, I don't know how long that classic mode took me. Five minutes? I think we're going to start losing time. I believe starting this split. Because I think... Or maybe it'll still be close. But it'll be like maybe... Minus one? Does playing the normal mode against CPU also count as a VS match? It does not. Great question. VS matches only count in melee, not one player modes. So that's another reason why you gotta do this. And that's another reason why I have my counter. Like usually what I do is I when I do go to one player modes, I pause my counter so it doesn't count those. So So you get to hear stem, 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 and stem a lot. And ready, go, and game. Fun fact, when Omsa did this run, he had to get one more trophy than most players because the maximum number of trophies you can get without memory cards or hacking for, for a United States 1.02 version of Melee is 290 and the most you can get in a japanese 1.02 and tsc j version is 291 so this one more trophy you can get what a terrible streamer can't even win a game i know dude i keep losing it's really embarrassing i've, I've tried this so, i mean roughly 600 times and i keep losing i don't know what it's going to take to improve you know yeah, that's what I meant. The normal versus, but against computer players, does that count? Yes. So if I was playing against computer players, that would count as a VS match. However, it, if a CPU plays a character, it doesn't count as you playing the character. So in other words, since I'm fighting against human players, this is this is counting as a Young Link, Dr. Mario, Zelda, and Roy match instead of if they were just CPUs. It would only be considered a Roy match. Does that make sense? So hopefully that makes sense. Me no. And yeah, Planets Tonight to stream. Nice, it's funny. Was so, was so antsy to stream when I couldn't. My network was down. And last night I was too lethargic. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. That's good. Have you thought about taking like, maybe not medication, but vitamins or something to keep you more awake? So you're less lethargic? What causes, I guess what, what causes you to be lethargic? I think personally... I'll probably take some ADHD medication just before I do my main run. Although I haven't taken any today and I feel pretty energetic. And I'm about 33% maybe of the run so far today.
Don't worry, guys. I only have to spend <laughs> another hour dying over and over, roughly. And then the run will get a lot more exciting. TM. And it is a huge relief that I was able to do hard classic, although it's really stupid that I died in the first place. I guess it's not all bad. I got some extra coins. Did I? I lost coins, too, by getting a continue. Hmm. I got an extra trophy, at least. But I don't think that's worth losing five, six minutes. However long it took, 11 minutes, I don't know. But my first three splits were just incredible. The problem is my circadian rhythm is all hecked. Like flipped 180 from the norm. Middle of the night, I'm typically wide awake and even edging into late night. Hmm. Throughout the day, though, I'm constantly fighting, feeling tired. I wish you could somehow get more sleep, dude. You are, you are literally the only person I know that gets, like, little sleep every night and just can't sleep to the degree that you can. I don't know anyone else that has it as bad as you do. I hope you figure that out, dude. You can, that's not, that does not, blah, 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 blah. that does not sound sustainable by any stretch of the imagination. By the way, I, I'm most likely looking for a new job, so if you guys could be thinking about me and praying for me, I'd appreciate it. Because finding new jobs is rough. It's not the most fun thing in the world. <laughs> do 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 do. Thanks, Andy. I appreciate it. Nothing like modifying your resume a million times. By the way, I don't think... Maybe you answered me and I ignored you. Uh, what kind of inter internship do you have? What like What's the vocation? What's the, the kind of uh, internship? Thanks, Grant. Yeah. Yeah. I know you can understand. <laughs> career troubles and Roy falls so quickly it's very refreshing I think that is a reason in and of itself I might be able to save my time just because Roy falls so quickly I might want to even change Pikachu to another character Sheik's not a very fast faller but she's relatively I'll have to figure that out. Probably on my second quarter life crisis at this point, dude. <laughs> I could not relate more to that sentiment, dude. Everything that I've done up to my life into this point, like career wise, sounds terrible. I don't want to do marketing stuff right now. Like, the idea of it fills me with dread. And I'm like, what are you talking about? This is what I do. This is what I like to do. This is what I'm good at. And I'm reading these job descriptions, and I just think, like, ah, you could, you could not pay me to do that. And I'm like, well, that's, what do you mean? I'm getting a job to be paid to do things. I have to do that. <laughs> and so I feel like I'm in a sort of crisis, too. You say second quarter-life crisis. I definitely had a quarter-life crisis a little bit ago. So I feel like I'm entering a second one of sorts as well. So I'm sorry that you're going through that. It's not fun at all. You want your dopamine levels to be at the normal amount so you can push yourself to do things, and I am not there right now. It's really frustrating. But I'll do a stupid eight-hour speedrun practice stream, you know, so at least I got my priorities in order.
Whoops. Funnily, you looking at job descriptions is very similar to how I feel about certain tech stacks. Like, I wish I could be okay with JavaScript, Java, or C-sharp, and you'd be set, right? I'm sure, dude. I bet so many people are looking at your situation and going, like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with JavaScript and Java and C-sharp? That's what I use every day. We need more developers. You'd be paid a lot. What's wrong with you, bro? Yeah. I understand that. And I mean, it's, it's not quite the same as what you're describing. <clears throat> but like, people that are very outside of the marketing industry are like, Dude, what do you mean you're having a tough time finding a job or whatever? Like, everyone needs marketing. I'm like, well, sure. But there's a lot of different kinds of marketing. And... Every company needs different degrees of marketing. It's not like, oh, he does the marketing. He, he can work for anyone. It's like, well, no. They have different needs, and sometimes I don't have all the... I don't have the experience and expertise in a certain area that they need, or... Or sometimes I'm overqualified for something, right? It's not always as simple as that. I wish I could find a job description that just asks for those three things. <laughs> really? Most programming job descriptions come with a list of 400 technologies? Really? Why? Like tech stack stuff? Like software or languages? You say technologies, do you mean like... Like platforms, software, languages? My parents both think CompSci is just IT. Well, why wouldn't? Why wouldn't they think that? Yeah, it might be. <laughs> oh, it's a financial company. Oh, that's so awesome. Wow. No problem. I was just curious. That's fantastic. I didn't know that you were involved in the financial industry. Even just as an intern. That's really, really awesome. Did you ever watch my uh, financial well-being stream, Annie? I don't remember if you were there or not. I don't, I don't remember who was there, <laughs> actually, at all. Okay. Every job description I see is me looking up at least one thing on Google. Obscure languages, software, frameworks, jargon for business. Hmm. I didn't realize it was that much of a problem. But I mean, if it's a, if it's a software that they use, that's not that bad. You just learn it at the job like you would anything else. You think so? Okay, awesome. Yeah, I feel very strongly about uh, saving money. Even though your boy's not doing that much, doing that as much these days because. Your boy takes risky jobs. They list everything, David. But the people writing these job descriptions typically don't know how crazy the list of requirements are. Oh, they don't want you to learn on the job. I see. Yeah, I mean, you say how crazy the list of requirements are. That makes you think of like a bachelor's degree for something that does not require it. I've seen jobs asking for more experience, time, and a new language. The language was out for? Oh my gosh. Have you really, Gui? That's freaking hilarious. Hey, uh, this is a language that came out last month. We need uh, a full year of experience in that bad boy. You could be better? Oh, yeah. That's kind of a truism. I feel like almost everyone could be better with, with saving. But I say, like, live on 70% of your, your, your income, right? Live on um, 70%. Save 10% for savings. Save 10% in an emergency fund. And then save 10% for tithing and for charity and that sort of thing. And if you just pretend like you're only getting 70% of your income, then you'll be happier and you'll save more. And we'll also push you to try to get higher paying jobs and negotiate for something higher, higher raises, um, a higher salary, what have you. Ready? 
Because I don't think people are generally very great at negotiating their salaries. You just need to apply. No one meets their description. So literally, they have to hire you as someone with equivalent skill most of the time. And the alternative is to hire no one. Fair enough. I guess it just depends on how saturated the market is, right? If you're a dime a dozen, they could hire anybody. Forgot who it was, but they didn't know. They're going to be the creator of a language they listed? No way. That is freaking hilarious. Job descriptions are just copy-paste by human resources people. Yeah. And I mean, there isn't... I mean, I don't think there's a lot of cons to adding more requirements. I guess turning people away that are qualified is the most obvious one, but... At the same time, they're probably looking for ways to discourage people from applying because the average job gets probably applied to way more than they have time to sort through. So they have to, like, somehow weed out... Oh my gosh, David. They have to weed out some people somehow, <laughs> I guess. Alright, just a hundred more matches after this. Then we'll unlock, I think, Mewtwo and... Luigi? Question mark? It's Mewtwo and someone. I th yeah, I think it's Luigi. I think it's Luigi and Mewtwo. Yeah, because then um, at 900 matches, it's Roy, and at 1,000, it's Game & Watch. That's, that's what it is. Even though I already have Roy unlocked because I played through Classic with Marth, I think the unlock criteria for Roy for Classic is you have to play Marth and not get a continue in Classic mode. I think that's the criteria. Oops. At this point, I'm just dedicating myself to learning Golang for the next year, basically modern day Java enterprise lang, but build a resume portfolio project portfolio. Or do a boring corporate job or something. <laughs> I mean it's probably the smart move to do. Smart move to make. enjoy a fast falling boy also wow these titles are super out of date i don't pick yoshi i pick fox yeah i 100 wait why do i pick fox that's not correct oh great my notes wrong now great well that's frustrating. I guess I have nine. I have eighty matches to figure this out. Why would I say Fox? Fox is not a character I need to play. Puff, Luigi, Mewtwo. What is wrong with me? There's no reason I should play Fox. Oh, no, there is. There is, there is, there is. I think that's actually correct. I think that is actually correct. Because... Wait. No, it's not correct. Why Fox? I have Fox's stuff done already. Oh my gosh. Hey, Kid Link! Dude, welcome back! How are you? Thanks for being here. 
Job security is more appealing at almost 30. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand, Grant. I understand. Okay, Link, I'm doing a really dumb speed run. I'm going to probably do it until the 8-hour mark to, to practice. Trying to get a raise and then cut my hours to work on my own project. Ooh, what what uh, projects are you working on yourself? That sounds cool. Can you just to try to do game dev for two years and try to burn through the rest of my money? Uh, no, I will not do that. Do not do game dev unless you have tons of savings and you have a really clear exit strategy. I don't work for one of the companies that won't let you work on the side. Oh, that's amazing. Gosh, I can't believe that exists. That's so in it's so invasive and intrusive. Hey, Kid Link, actually, this is my first time attempting it. The previous speedruns I've done have been unlock all characters and unlock all stages, which, is, which are also dumb categories. But this one is by far the more dumb one, as it's a 20-hour run. But I, th I believe you're thinking of those runs, which are also silly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm only going about eight hours in for this one. I, I mean, we'll see. If, it's a re if, if I'm doing really well, then maybe I'll do a full 20-hour run. We'll see. We'll see. I gotta figure out where I went wrong. What where I went wrong? Oh my gosh! Melee. Okay. Okay, Falcon, so I've done Falcon, I've done Bowser, I've done Peach, and DK. I've done Falcon, I've done Peach, I've done DK. What are the characters I haven't done? I can't do Game & Watch. I need to do Ganon. This is not not good, not so good, not so good. I guess Fox is a waste. Hmm. Man, I think I just really confused myself. I hope I'm not overlooking something very obvious. That would really suck. Hey, thanks, Kid Link. I made some kind of error in my routing, um, which is really surprising to me because I'm really careful and methodical with this stuff. So, I want to read catch up on chat here. Um, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, overall, doing really well, but I'm trying to figure out a new job situation, which is a little a little stressful. But other than that, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, my friend. Um. How can I unlock the rainbow stage in the void? What? What are you talking about? For what game? For Melee? You mean like Final Destination? Or do you mean Battlefield? Play through all um, 51 event matches to unlock uh, Battlefield. That's insane, Grant. Yeah, don't sign anything like that if you can help it. That's horrible. Just make sure you're clear with them from day one that you're not signing that kind of stuff. Yeah. Past pushed. I hate phones. Oh, are you typing? Are you typing on a phone? I hate typing on phones too, dude. It's tough when you have to respect yourself. Oh, it's tough, but you have to respect yourself. I met one guy who's so stuck, he can't even leave the company. 
They hold his rights like an athlete? Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Yeah. That's alright, Kid Blink. It's alright. I appreciate you checking in on me. Yeah, it's super gross. I, that's amazing that they would do that. I think it's Battlefield. Sorry, I don't know the name. I'm from Germany. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it's probably Battlefield. So you'll want to go to one-player mode, Mino, and you'll want to do all the event matches. And I believe once you do all the event matches, you will... Um, you will unlock Battlefield. Yeah, so I'm going... Yeah, unless I can do this under four minutes, which I don't think I can. Maybe I can. I don't know if I'm going to be saving time. Work for Jones Soda? I'd love to. It'd be awesome. If they paid a lot, I'd do it. Probably pop back in, buddy. Going to run some errands. All right, my dude. I'll see you in a couple hours. Enjoy your errand running. Thanks for stepping in and chatting a while. It was good to have you here. Samus is already on the list. I'll be adding Luigi and Mewtwo. If I did Ganondorf, I don't know if I should do that. Might save some time. Hmm. Thanks for the lurk, Annie. I appreciate that a lot. Job struggle is real for me. I hope you find something amazing soon. Thank you, Kid Link. Um, what do you do for now? And do you enjoy the job that you have right now? Because the last time, I know this is an, this is in ancient times, but I remember you worked at the Great Wolf Lodge back in the day. Miffy? Oh my gosh, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Sub hype indeed. Welcome in. Thanks for using your, your prime. Hopefully you're having a lovely Saturday. Yeah, that was way back in the day. Yeah, that's that tells you how up to date I am with you and how good my memory is. Sorry. Oops. I was mashing to start before the match ended. You're a banker at Wells Fargo. How long have you been there? And do you feel like it's a good fit? That's awesome, dude. We have two people in chat in the financial industry. This is not part of my script. So I'm very hesitant to do this. I've done... Oh, I know I need to do Fox. I know I need to do Fox. No, I don't. Never mind. No, I don't. I'm going to try Ganondorf, I guess. It means I'll just have to do classic very hard with, like, Game & Watch or someone. Working there since early March. Oh, you love it? Oh, that's amazing. Um, what would you recommend? Like, what, what kind of um, training and preparation did you do for that? It's only part-time at the moment. Oh, good. I'm glad the wages are good. Glad you have a decent wage. What what would you say prepared you the most for that? Did you go to school for something? Did you study someone in the industry? Hey, Poggy B, what's up? I'm not actually doing the entire run. I'm only going into eight hours, probably, because this is just a practice. Just a practice. Oh, man, I think I'm going to... 
go over the time because of my costly little mistake. I say costly, but I mean, who knows? All right, well, I guess Poggy's changing my mind. Just like that. It's now a 20 hour run, gamers. 20 hour stream. Oh no. Well, that time that I saved early on, all for naught. Good to see you too. How are you go? How are you? How are you going? How are you going? I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah. So I think. Gosh, this is so risky. So risky. I are doing good. I'm doing okay. Mostly good. Um, but like I've been talking with Chad about, I'm trying to find a new job and that's a little stressful. But overall, I'm doing good. Well, it doesn't quite require a degree, but I did study finance. Oh, did you? That's nice. SPSCC. Having the customer service experience. That makes sense. That makes sense. How do you feel you are in interviews? I'm curious. Because I, I, I personally, usually, I personally like interviews. Um, I, I'm generally comfortable in interviews. I like talking to people and connecting and sharing experience. There's always, not always, there's sometimes uncomfortable questions where, you know, I wasn't prepared for it. But usually, because of the years I took improv, I feel I'm... I can do okay in that situation. So. But I don't know why, it, but for some reason, Kid Link, I just feel like you're a good interviewer. Like you would, you're presentable and you're positive and you're engaged. So I feel like you'd be a good interviewer or interviewee, even if you're interviewing individuals yourself. All right, 10 more SDs and then we unlock Mewtwo and Luigi. Um, I'm going to try to go off script, which is insane. And I'm going to pick Ganondorf. And hopefully skip some more time. I had a phone interview, which I find more difficult. Oh, yeah. I agree with you. Dude, there is something that I'm missing and it's bothering me. Did Ness already? I did Puff. No, I didn't. Not yet. I did Pikachu and Pichu. Wait, did I not do Pikachu? No, I did Pikachu. Wait. Did I? I did. I did. I'm doing Roy right now. Zelda. Kirby. We do Kirby? Yeah, I did Kirby. We did Ice Climbers. Did I do Dr. Mario? I think I did Dr. Mario. Yeah, did Dr. Mario already. Dude, I'm so confused right now. I need to really... I might look at my trophy list and just really try to figure this out. Is this... This could make or break the run. With no exaggeration. And this, this is, of course, a theoretical run, but still. We got Young Link. We've got... Dr. Mario Zelda. You okay with interviews? Nice. I agree. Phone interviews are a lot harder. I like Zoom ones okay. This is for just like a billion matches. Yeah, for a thousand. I'm currently at 800.
I stalled it out just long enough for it to connect. Yeah, I think checking the trophies I have will be really smart. I have to figure out who's not there. <laughs> oh, frick. Okay, that was kind of slow, but not the worst. Okay, really quick, I need to check the trophies that I have. Okay, two Mario, two DK, two Samus, two Yoshi, two Kirby, two Fox, two Pikachu, two Ness, two Captain Falcon, two Bowser. Only one Marth. That's expected. Two Dr. Mario, two Young Link, two Pichu, two Roy. Who am I missing? I've got Doc. I've got Mario. Yep. Um, I've got no Luigi yet. I've got Bowser. No, I don't. Where's Bowser? Yep, Bowser. I've got Peach. I've got Yash. Do I have Yash? Oh, am I missing Yoshi? No. I have DK. I have, do I have Samus? Oh gosh, do I not have Samus? No, I do. The heck? I don't have Gandorf, that's expected. I do have Falcon. Yep. Don't need to worry about Falco. I should have one for Fox. Oh, no, I should have, oh, I have both for Fox. What about Ness? I think I have sure I have Ness. Ice Climbers. Ness. Kirby, I check Samus, Zelda Sheik, Link. I don't need Link. Wait, no, I need Link. Do I have Link? I don't have Link. I need to do Link. I'm really freaking glad I checked this. I've been missing Link. What is wrong with me? I somehow completely skipped Link. Okay. Holy crumbs. I'm glad I checked. So this is not the most optimal, because Link is kind of slow. But, uh... Wait. I picked the wrong thing. I gotta do stamina. So the last 200 S SDs... <clears throat> I'm gonna do Link, because I, for some reason, skipped him. Holy cow, that could have been bad. And then, so, let's see, I'll do Link, Jigglypuff, Link, Jigglypuff, Luigi, Mewtwo. Wow, how did I miss Link? Holy cow. Yeah, Mino, you know, perfect emote for the situation. All right, this won't be that bad. This won't be that bad. Why is... Uh, shouldn't that be 803, not 802? Whatever. I'll believe it. Just FF dare? So if you, Oh, hey, how's it going, JJ? So you're looking for a new job. Does that mean you're done at Smack Studio? Um, no, actually. So... I'm a little bit in limbo with Smack Studio. I, I don't really ever want to leave it. I believe in the project a lot, and I love the game. Um, it's just, because we're such a small startup, 
it, I can't necessarily supply full-time income for me all the time, which should make sense for anyone that's been involved in, you know, these scrappy startups kind of things. So I'm trying to find a more stable job, but I still want to be involved in Smack Studio. So that's what I'm trying to navigate right now. Figure it out if I can do that. So yeah. Thanks for asking, JJ. And how have you been, dude? It has been a minute. Since I've streamed. I mean, you stream, like, all the time. And I pop into your uh, I pop into your streams uh, every now and then I lurk. Um, what am I looking for? Great question. So... I've been trying to find the most optimal, like, <laughs> the most optimal combination of characters to save the most amount of time. And in my shuffle and in my confusion, I put a character down that I didn't need to. And I almost wo wasted. I almost wasted a bunch of time. So, small biz is rough sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks for lurking while I'm live. I really seriously appreciate that. Thank you, Justin. Hey, G Froze, what's up? The job hunt is always so much fun, Kappa. Yeah, dude, so fun. Oh, what am I looking for? Um, that's another question, unfortunately. That is another question. I don't know. Um, I'm looking at all the normal positions that I would normally go for, and I'm not super enthused. For some reason, my interest has waned in the areas where I normally work. So that's not fun because it makes it a lot tougher to find jobs. And uh, even if I'm skilled at them and I would benefit a company, my enthusiasm in interviews is usually, like, I try to, like, put on a face and be as enthusiastic as possible, but I get the sense that they can tell. Like, I'm not super stoked to work there, and my heart's not in it. And it's not like I'm one of those people that's like, oh, man, you gotta follow your passion. You know, you gotta, you gotta only do what you love. It's like, no, I don't believe in that at all, but I also know that in interviews and stuff, they want to, they're looking to see if you're a good cultural fit and stuff, and you, you satisfy the requirements and all those things. And if you're giving off a vibe of, like, complacency or apathy or something like that, through, like, subconscious cues, I feel like that's not helpful. I feel like I, I'm doing that somehow. And Mino, thank you for the posture check. I appreciate that. I think I'm due for a bathroom break here pretty quick. Pretty quickly. Boy, am I glad I double checked my list there. I can't believe Link wasn't... You know what I think it was? Wow. Actually, yeah, Link is vital. Link is vital to this. Because I play Link later on. Oh my word. That could have been so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I caught that. But yeah, anyway, Kid Link, it's it's frustrating. It's 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 not an ideal position. I think I am going to use, use the bathroom really quickly, so I'm going to leave this on, and I'll be right back. BRB. Remember, kids, even when you're taking a break in the middle of your speed run, 
remember to wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Very important. So the three man in just three and a half hours I had to go to the bathroom. That's actually insane. Wow! I by doing that Marth segment, I added twelve minutes to my time. That's nuts. I'm pretty much at the bottom of the banking ladder at the moment. I'm hoping to be promoted to something. Ooh. Bigger impact? Oh, that's great, dude. I, dude, I have, I have all the confidence in the world that you'll do that. Uh, one thing I remember just in our, like when I was just getting to know you in the beginning, I didn't know very much about you, is just how genuine of a person you were, and just you were friendly and and approachable and um, enthusiastic, and I think you know with that sort of demeanor and and the. And you just have like a really good work ethic, so I think you'll definitely get there. And and, and what's great is someone who actually cares about other people is going to be uh, helping them make financial decisions and things like that. So I think that's pretty great. Yeah, of course. I don't. I can't remember if like you started going to melee weeklies earlier than me, or if I was going earlier than you. I can't really remember. It seems like we kind of entered around the same time. But I could be remembering that wrong. You could have been there earlier. Bye, Mino. Have a great night. I think it's pretty late in Germany right now. So thanks for sticking around. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, enjoy. Uh, hopefully you unlock Battlefield at some point. Well, thank you for saying that. And I'm glad you were in chat. Hope you have an amazing sleep. And I'll see you next time. G Pros, I think you're overthinking yourself, man. I've seen you present yourself and your work professionally a ton, and obviously you've never conveyed yourself in a negative way. Hmm. You think so? Well, that's really nice of you to say. Maybe I am overthinking it. Hmm. Well, that's I really that's really encouraging. Thank you for saying that. Maybe I am overthinking it. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost midnight. That's what I thought. I knew in like European time zones it's pretty late. In 2014, okay. Then I think you, then I think you started going just before me. Well, I went to locals in the north area around that time too. Actually, actually, the first locals I went to were in 2013 or 2012. But I wasn't going regularly or consistently until like mid 2014. All right, uh, no, I, I lied again. 2012, I think, is the first local that I went to ever. And then I went a little bit in 2013. The more regularly, the mid-2014 and, like, game, the Game Clux and... Um, what was the other place? There's Game Clux and... Um, gosh dang it, I can't remember the name of it. It was, like, another castle or whatever. And um, I went to those for a while when I was in college. And then when I graduated... In the beginning of 2015, I started going to, like, the Tacoma area locals. Yeah, so I th maybe I started earlier than you, but I think... I can't remember, like, when I came to, like, PLU locals and when I came to, like, Super Smash games and stuff. I feel like you were already there for some reason. Keep your head up. You'll find the right job. Thank you. I really appreciate that, G. I will, uh... I'll do my best to keep my head up. <laughs> I wonder, um... If you're just trapped in your own head a lot, how do you get out of that? How do you stop being in your own head so much? I wonder on ways to get around that. Alright, so my guess is around the four hour mark is when I'll be able to continue the run in more interesting in more interesting facets. You got a good head on your shoulders. I'm confident you'll find something. Thank you. I hope so. That would be awesome. Another castle. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm pretty sure it was Game Clux. But... I think another castle was like right next to the building for some reason. Or, eh. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we did. Now, how did you hear about the PLU locals? Did you... You didn't go to PLU, did you? In fact, I'm trying to remember how I heard about it. I think... My friend John was going to PLU. So I think he was telling me about them. You didn't attend, okay. Oh, you heard about it on Facebook. Okay, nice. Yeah, a friend of mine, uh, my friend John went there, and I think that's how I heard about it. Or maybe um, someone from Super Smash Games mentioned it. That's possible. That's definitely possible. Da, da, bow, bow. You know what's funny is like I'm almost four hours into this run and it doesn't like it doesn't seem that long even though I'm doing some monotonous stuff and a lot of it is I'm pumped that I'm doing the run and you guys are making some great conversation and yeah I'm having a good time because you never know what's gonna be like to have a run that's like this you know you know what's funny you remember that Button input video tutorial made by practicing yourself in Battlefield? Yes! I like to comment on that video before I met you. That is hilarious. I think by that time, the sound stopped working on my capture card, so it's completely silent. And for some reason, I didn't add any music to the video. So it's a completely silent video. <laughs> but I'm glad you found it helpful. And what's funny about that is I'll be using that technique. It's also the master hand glitch. The name entry glitch is the same as the master hand glitch. So I'll be using that master hand glitch later in this run. Fun fact. We'll see if I'm feeling the event matches when it gets to the eight hour mark. We're close to the end, gamers. We're only 120 away. And Link ended up being a good choice. I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. He falls pretty quickly, and he's not that slow. So what's nice is uh, I can when I do All Star, I can skip Falco and I can skip Link. Yeah, Link's fast fall is nice. Yeah. What games have you been playing lately, Link? I recently 100 percent of Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and man, that was amazing. I've almost beaten Psychonauts 2, and I've been getting back into Skyrim on Switch again. So I've been playing those games. Let's go! Dude, it's so good. Forgotten Land is incredible. I love that game. Besides that, Smash Mario Kart, whatever is interesting at the moment. Love it. Yeah, I mean, I just looked at the trailers for Kirby and I thought that game's going to be freaking outstanding. 
And uh, thankfully, I was I was right. So fun fact, we'll actually be going to 999 matches instead of 998. Since we've already unlocked Roy, we don't have to go through that process. We're just unlocking Game & Watch. A fun little challenge I want to do with Forgotten Land. Ooh, it'd be for a good cause. That sounds fun. What kind of uh, what kind of challenge is it? Is it like a speed run? The speed run stuff's already been wild that I've seen on speedrun.com at least. Yeah, me messing up the hard classic with Roy with Marth is definitely a concern. The little fox enemies called a woofies. Oh, heck yeah, I do. They're adorable. Are you gonna play? Are you gonna play one where you don't kill a single one of them? That's my guess. Cause they're so adorable. I knew it. Dude, my man. They're so adorable. That needs to be its own category. Like, no... No woofy hurt. No a woofy hurt percent. That should be a category. No a woofy harm percent. So the question is, can I get 100 deaths in 10 minutes? The answer is no, but I can probably get it in something like 16 minutes. Maybe, if I'm lucky. So that means I'll have like about six minutes behind. Hey, how's it going? I like McDonald's 66. I like your 20th anniversary trailer. Thank you so much for saying that. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it. What brings you into my stream today? However, if I do kill one, I have to donate $1 to a fox shelter. Absolutely brilliant. I love that idea. And well, there are some of Woofies that I think you have to get rid of. No. That's tragic. At least you'll know you'll be donating some money to a good cause. That's a wonderful idea. I like McDonald's. Thanks for the follow. I really appreciate that. I love that. Dude, you've gotten a lot of use out of those emotes, Kid Link. Isn't that such a nice perk about being an affiliate? Is you have your own emotes you can use whenever you want. It's freaking amazing. I love that about Twitch and being an affiliate. I literally have a, uh, a melee one I use all the time. And actually, I think by following the channel, you guys get some emotes too. You get um, a David V fake and a Joan Soda one for sure. So not, not even by being subbed. You get some. You get the raid, so if someone raids, you can like spam the raid emote. Um, there's also a coin emote, I think. The only bummer with follower-only emotes is, of course, they only work on the chat that you're that you get by following. So. And that fast fall is freaking tight. I should have picked Link a long time ago. Like, look at that. That's not messing around. In fact, I probably want to swap out Pikachu with somebody else. Because Link's a much faster. I can compare the splits. Oh, well, I can actually because... Dang it. I messed up.
I'll be able to compare them one to one. Uh, actually, yes, I can. I will be able to. So it's funny. It's way less important to have a fast character, way more important to be a fast falling character. Also, a bummer that you can't use your own follower emails in other streams, right? I agree. That'd be so nice. The thing that does make it nice, though, is if you have a bot, like, if you have, if you use a bot that's your own account or whatever, you can have your bot use your follower emotes without your bot needing to be subscribed to you, which is freaking nice. Because I have a bot called David Vbot, which of course is another account. I follow mine, so I get all the follower emotes. So when the bot does commands and things, I can incorporate those emotes, which is pretty awesome. I'm happy with this pace right now. Like we're doing pretty good. We're getting those deaths quick lack. I sort I I'm getting a sore throat though. You know what? I don't think I'm used to talking this much. I think if you make partner, you get one sub that acts like prime. Yes, that's correct. You get um, unlimited subs for a bot and one other person, which is awesome. It, it doesn't act like Prime. It, it's actually even better than that. It acts like your own subscription. So, like, you know how you're subscribed to yourself? No, I think it's I think it's a bot plus one person. So I think you get to pick your bot, and then you get to you can you can pick it in a, another individual to get it. I'm pretty sure. Last time I checked. So, like, you can give someone a lifetime subscription. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Unless that's changed. When I first looked into it, that's what it was. So, an unlimited sub for your bot and an unlimited sub for a person of your choice. So. Yeah, and I definitely want to do more with streaming. I want to get back to a regular schedule. I want to play more community games with you guys. So I want to do more like new games and variety stuff and ROM hacks and a bunch of stuff like that. But I'm just trying to figure out a a good like stream schedule that's, you know, future proof and a system that'll work for me, especially if I get like a new job and stuff. So Yeah, I think that'd be really fun. Yay. I'm glad you think so. Stam. Stam. Such a quick death, bro. bro. I'd love to. What kind of collab stream did you have in mind? Or... Is that TBD? To be discussed. To be determined. Okay, I'm definitely not getting 60 kills in four minutes. <laughs> That's alright. It's alright. It's not gonna bother me. Okay. We'll have to think of something. I'd love to. What is your stream schedule these days, Kid Link? I don't see you online very often. In fact, I can't think of the last time I've seen you online. Or we just have maybe just different schedules. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, awesome. That's wonderful. Hope you get more opportunities to do the things that you love to do. Okay. L job at the shipping warehouse made it impossible. Oh my gosh. Was it just like a random schedule and stuff? Was that the issue? That's funny. I got a ledge cancel on the back of that racing, the F Zero racing car. Yeah. 
Oh, it's a set schedule. Oh my gosh. 10 hour days. Oh my gosh, dude. I am so sorry. That's 60 hour 60 hours a week, dude. That's insane. I'm so sorry. That sounds brutal. Whew. Hope we made some money though. Miserable pay. Wow. Were you paid by the hour at least? Or were you salary? Yeah, that sounds like... You, you, you were just living to work, man, at that point. But of course, that's how it was for most of human history. But still. Dang, I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry about that. Alright, we got 40 left. A lot of physical labor. Mm, that's frustrating. How long were you there? And then, like, what drove you to, like, get out of it? I'm just interested in that. It's a long time, dude. I'm glad you're out of it now. I hope you have some savings that you got from that that you can use for a while. Also, random question. Do you ever go by your first name? Or do you only go by Kid Link? Like, would you, you, would you object to be calling you your first name? Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? Hmm. I save enough money to go for something better? Wow. How long did it take you to find something better when you started? Like, how long did it take? Either or, okay. Because I, like I like your name, Andy. I like calling people by their first names. But some people don't want that, and that's cool. That's fine. It's so funny how low poly the S0 racing cars are in that map, but they're still much higher poly than they were on the N64 F0X. About four months. Okay. Four months. Do you think if you weren't working 10 hour days, you would have devoted more time to finding jobs? Or do you think it would have taken about the same amount of time? Just out of curiosity. And also, how many other interviews did you have? Or how many other like places did you apply during that four month period? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like lecture. I'm not lecturing. I'm like a... I feel like I'm uh, cornering you with questions. All right, only 20 left. I don't think we. I don't think we're doing terribly on time. But I can pinpoint the exact issue. I had to dig into savings at it. Okay. I'm glad it was worth it. You had to dig into savings. 
I mean, savings are there for a reason. You want to hold on to them as long as you can, but if you think it's, you know, you do something worthwhile, it's an okay time to use them sometimes. But you want to pay yourself back the best you can. Only 14 left. The warehouse left me, job left me no time to do much of anything, even job hunting. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So you left before, I see. So were you unemployed for those four months then? It was wake up, work, make dinner, then sleep, rinse and repeat. Woo! I'm glad it was worth it, man. Seriously, that's awesome. Okay, well, what's interesting is, even though I'm four minutes slow or something right now, I'm still two minutes fast on the split. So what that tells me is Link is faster to use than Yoshi or whomever I used before. So that's good to know. Or at least it looks that way. Maybe it ends up not being that way, but I think that's, I think that's it. Okay, precisely three more kills and then I switch. You two jigs, Luigi. You two jigs, Luigi. Yeah, 25 seconds faster. Okay. So now, classic very hard with Ganondorf. This could be rough. <laughs> this could be very rough. I don't need this open anymore. Oh boy. So I can continue, thankfully. I don't. The idea is getting very hard clear. Um. It. 
Thanks for being helpful, teammate. Die, Samus. <laughs> I took a month off where right after I felt the old I spent the time recovering my body and just treating myself. Okay, that that is more than reasonable, dude. That is more than reasonable. I'm glad you had that time. So three months, okay. Thank you. That's really helpful for me as I'm in a stage of like something similar right now. Not 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 really similar. What am I saying? pretty well so far. It'd be awesome if we got no continues. I doubt that will happen, but... In fact, that would have been, meant I would have wasted some time in a sense. Yeah, because I was the most familiar with finances. I played primarily for banking positions. Okay. How many uh, interviews did you have? Or, like, how many positions did you apply for before you got the one at uh, Wells Fargo? Just curious. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. No, I didn't get any of them. Dang it. That's hard. Gandorf is too strong. Luckily, none of them were the Birdo Trophy. I could try to up airs. Up airs would have been better. Dude, Gandorf is a beast in single player hard modes. Makes me wonder if I should like change my strategy. Oh, it's a team match though. Dude, team matches are absolutely brutal. Oh my word. Kirby teams are the worst. These Kirby's won't die.
How am I still alive? Dude, I beat that without losing another life. That's insane. Last track of the amount of applications. It's probably 15. Wow, that's a lot of interviews, man. Wake up, look at the available job offers, sit through old and new ones, apply for them. It wasn't too far of a drive, right? Because being too far of a drive is another, you know, consideration. Wow. Dude, congratulations. I'm really glad that you got that to work. Oh, Gandalf is so freaking slow. I can make it. Yay. I'll need all these coins for when I, if I get a continue or whatever. Oh man, okay. Not bad, not bad. My goodness, dude. Dude! You got me freaking kidding me. <laughs> Just barely took a stock off me. Meanwhile, I survived like a billion Kirby's. Oh, 10 minute drive, dude. I'm so glad it's close to you. That's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, laser. No crazy hand. Interesting. I wonder why. I guess I was a little too slow. That's actually really surprising to me. I didn't get a continue. Huh. Okay, I didn't get a speedster or a speed demon. Interesting. Classic clear, very hard clear. Huh. Wow. You know what? It was the Kirby stage. No question. No question.
Wow, incredible. Very easy with Game & Watch. This unlocks Flat Zone. Alright, this is just a chill one. I don't have to worry about being injured or... Hey, BBH, welcome back. Things are going pretty well. How are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Something's wrong with my splits. This is not taking me 11 seconds. I wonder, is that Mew? Probably not. If that's the Mew catcher, I would have lost it. Ooh, Persona 4, that's fun. Fun fact, you cannot die on that one. You have to actually beat it. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, something's wrong with my splits. I didn't really take 20 seconds on the split normally, so I gotta fix that. Oh! No. No. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so bad at the trophies. I need to practice that more. Or I'm uber comfortable. Love to see it. I love when they ricochet and they just die. So quick. Jigglypuff. Nice. How far are you in Persona 4, by the way? BBH? We get some more coins, baby. Yay. One of the ones I missed from the earlier bits. Still don't have the Birdo Trophy though, which is of a cons certainly a concern. Made it to the Rise Dungeon? Is that? Oh gosh. Uh, I've not played Persona 4. Is that? How far in the game is that? Would you say? Rise Dungeon. Whee! Yeah. More coins. Oh, it's the third dungeon of the game. Okay, that's helpful. Oh, Metal Fox. Good thing I'm on very easy. Oh, yeah. Man, very easy. It really is very easy. Wow. So this will unlock Flat Zone. Didn't take very long at all. Man, very easy is awesome. 
We love very easy. You like it so far? I'm glad to hear that. Have you played a Persona game before? Alright, we're almost done with Game & Watch. Now we're going to do the training mode combo. Wow, 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 wow. Dum 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 ba da dum dum. Congrats. Training mode. Persona 5 and Persona 5 Strikers. Okay, so you're playing it in reverse order almost. Oh my gosh. Stupid wind. Stupid Bowser. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so the audio completely cut out there, so that's exciting. Um, 100 man melee. Stadium. That was a uh, combo. It's a glitch where like a ton of red shells hitting causes a huge combo. It's very buggy. Whoops. No! Stupid. Should I restart? I don't know. Probably not. My gosh, these explosives, dude. Okay. What's happening? No. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. It's gonna be cutting it close. Oh my gosh, dude. Hmm. 
No. No. <sighs> okay, that was really close. Absolutely insane. No, 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 no. Gosh dang it. Just kidding. Thank you. Uh, endless. Keep doing back tilts instead of, or up, back airs instead of back up. Blah, 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 blah. Keep doing back airs instead of up airs. Dude. A uh, hundred to get the female wireframe trophy. Now we're doing a home run contest. So let's see how far I can do with that. I need 16,400 feet. With all the characters combined. Wait, target test. I'm going to do home run contest. Sorry. Not target test, home run contest. And then... After home run contest, then we're doing target test. Yep, I already did cruel melee. Third thing I did in the run, actually. And then 50 minute, too. That was pretty good. I've usually gotten like 190, 180, but 170 is fine. Yeah. But good, good thought there. Good thought there, Kid Link. New wreck. Ready? I could have done more with that.
I didn't grab the bat in the beginning for some reason. I don't do any of the optimized strategies, which could probably save me some time, but like... I don't think it would actually save me that much time with some of the strats. Because like, the, the precision required would make me reset so many times it wouldn't be worth it, probably. But, because I've tried some of the more advanced stuff and it just, I have to reset too often for it to be worth it. I'm just not good enough. Bowser. Dang it. No, I won't be doing Z-Drop stuff. Because I'm not comfortable enough doing Z-Drop uh, home run stuff because I, the, yeah, I just don't have enough practice, unfortunately. So I'll be doing things the cheesier way because ultimately it's faster to just power through and get through certain characters. But if I really practice and optimized it, it might be worth it. Alright, that was good. That was average. Repeated down airs with DK. Yeah, sorry that, you know, people that really know what they're doing have a pretty flashy home run contest, but mine's going to be pretty down and dirty. That's pretty good. Initial auto smash repeated down airs. Okay. Like this one I practice with Z drop, but. Falco down air. Dang it. See, that's what I want to avoid. I don't want to do nonsense where I have to restart. David! You've got to be kidding me. Alright, we're going to go for not optimal. David! Whatever. Freaking Falco. Yeah, that was pretty bad, but I don't even care at this point. It was like 150 less than I normally get. And this is going to be a real simple one. about average down air and down tilt 16,404 <laughs> oh my gosh all right <laughs> that was bad. 
Ice Climbers, Link, Young Link. Up smash with them. Oh yeah, you have to do it a certain way or else it's gonna... Sure. Didn't mean to do that. We'll improvise. Link repeated up air. Yeah. David. Ooh, that's pretty bad. That's all right. Same thing with the young Link. David, I didn't. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm actually doing like okay. Like they they look pretty pitiful, but I'm actually I'm looking at my average and I'm doing better than my average in most of these characters, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm pretty close. So Roy, oh, I think that's, I think I just needed that. Yep. Perfect. So now I do adventure mode with a couple more. Oh, no, I do, I do target test, target test. What am I doing? Target test. All right, target test. All right, this could be rough. We'll see. I definitely don't do this optimally, but I'm, I've done it enough where I'm not hopeless at it. That could have been bad. That was a really good one for me. Wow, that was really good. Usually I struggle with that one, or I have to reset or something. That's good. Gosh. A little jank, but sure. Ready? 
Dang it. Not bad, not bad. Now for this one, I have to be under a certain amount of time. Under 12 minutes and 30 seconds for all the characters. Fine, fine. Pretty slow, but that's not the worst. What? David. Oh my... Ready? Wow, that's unfortunate. with my movement with Falcon today. what happened there. David. Man, I'm having a tough time reaching that one. There we go. Where are you? Oh my gosh. That was really slow. I'm gonna have to... Do that one again. Practical Tasks video? Yo. That's so cool. I love Practical Tasks videos. Bruh. 
What's wrong with me? Hit this last one. Really slow, but whatever. We'll try to make it work. We'll try to make it work. What was that? blows my mind the movement the precision this can take i know dude on the current speed run category that i'm doing ncb actually did a four second or under three second or something like that link target test it was insane david okay Yeah, the precision and like, and also, have you ever have you watched uh, Peach? Yeah, I think you're talking about the Peach speed run on, or the the video on the Peach speed run, which is insane. It's a very good video. Okay, well, there's a ledge there. Yeah, super good. I'm actually pretty happy with my Break the Targets runs as a casual runner who's like not, has not been honing his skills for years or anything. The amount of perfection needed for that speedrun is mind boggling. It really is. Oh my gosh, David. David! Bruh! I'm gonna look back on this speed run later and be like, why did I say bruh so much? And why did I say David so much? Oh, that was so risky. I could have easily died from that. <laughs> that was so risky. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I have played Overcooked before, and its sequel, Overcooked 2. Good fun. Why do you bring up Overcooked? Super fun. You can play online, can't you? I've only played locally.
I own Overcooked Party Pack on Switch? Yo! Is that like a bundle or something? That sounds awesome. Dude, Overcooked is fun. Whoops. Nice wall jump, David. I'm glad I can shoot right around the target. That's, uh, that's awesome. I played Overcooked offline a few... Offline years ago, I remember it being a ton of fun with other people. Oh yeah, it's freaking awesome. Does it appear here eventually? Yes. <sighs> that was risky. This is rough. <laughs> Bro. Really? Oh my gosh. What is with these angles? <sighs> that was so slow, dude. Just chaos in the kitchen, I'm all for it. Dude, it is some good fun. Um, I love Overcooked 2 where you can like, th you can yeet. You can eat ingredients and stuff. I didn't press start. Ooh, that hurts. We're good. Ooh, that kind of hurt though. Not gonna lie. Whoops. That was pretty good. I did Game & Watches already. Oh, this one. Marth is like my least favorite one. It wasn't so bad. Yay! 
Okay, that one went a lot more smoothly than it normally does. Got the Sheriff Trophy. That means I got it underneath what I needed. So now Adventure Mode. So now, I'm playing with Marth. I can do easy, which is awesome. Very easy. And I just have to do a lot of things. I gotta kill the NPCs, I gotta get the Luigi KO, I gotta get Link Master, and a bunch of stuff. So, let's do it! KO'd. The thing is, I can't get um, Koopa KOs because... Fun fact, only Kirby can destroy... Oh wait, that's right. The way you destroy Koopas is you have to grab them. That's how you kill them. I had to kill someone with that shell. That was on purpose. And sometimes killing Koopas gives you a... Hey, what's it called? Oh, I missed it, dang it. Killing Koopas gives you a... Killing Goombas can sometimes give you a trophy, so. Yep. Yeah, you can grab Koopas. That's, in fact, the only way you can kill them. And the only way you can kill Paracoopas is by using Kirby and inhaling them and swallowing them. That's the only way you can kill them. It's really silly. So now, for the Underground Maze, when I get to it, I have to defeat each Link to get the Link Master bonus. These are all the bonuses I'm getting. All right, let's see where the exit is. And must so normally you try to beeline for the exit first thing, but in this case we're actually wanting to go where the exit isn't. Oh, I also have to defeat these guys. Oh my gosh. I gotta kill these NPCs. Come here. Bruh. Wait, was that a... No, okay. No! Okay, defeated a like like. I should have defeated an Octorok now. Okay, I did a redead. There we go. Let's 
so satisfying to kill the NPCs. Okay, yeah, that's not the end yet. Wow, that saves a lot of time. Sometimes there's a trophy down there. Crap, I can't remember if that's all of them or not. Shoot. Link Master. Okay, nice. That was all of them. Woo! Close one. Octorok, like, like, redead. Thank you. Thank you, Kid Link. You would have confirmed it for me anyways. You counted? Oh, thank you. It just happens so much more faster with the home run bat, you know? And your perception of how close you are to the opponent really changed when the camera zoomed out like that. My man, Kid Link, you're... You really helped me out. The stream, thanks. So for this one, I have to wait for the very last second. I have to escape Brinstar with one second left to get a bonus called the very last second or something like that. Whoops. That was close. Wait, is that a trophy? Oh, that's one I already have, though. Any hidden trophies around here? Nope. Although, the reason why I'm dash dancing is because I'm actually generating coins by doing this. Fun fact. Last second. Now I gotta get um, big Kirby. So hopefully I can defeat the small Kirbys in time. There's a video I like where it's making it to the end of the stage without jumping. Whoa. That's gnarly. How is that even possible? Come here, guys. Luckily, on very easy, it's, it's almost impossible not to get the giant Kirby. You always, always defeat them under 30 seconds. Wow, that killed? Alright. Link can do it? That's awesome. How does it even work? <laughs> oh, I thought it was really the right timing. Sloppy, but sure. I could have done a down air there, probably, and made quick work of him. Let's see if I get Falco or not. No Falco. You're allowed to air dodge and use up B. Oh, okay. Okay. Lincoln Tether. That's what I was thinking about Tether. So I didn't realize air. I didn't realize air dodge and up B. We're allowed. Shiggly. All right, so for this one, I have a very specific. I need to get pacifist, which means I need to not use up like any attack moves at all, including up B and side B. And I need to get hit by the cars one time. And that'll give me pacifist.
Okay, so now I just can't use side B or up B and I'll get pacifist. That's the goal here. Hope it doesn't count as an attack. Uh oh. Well, I don't think losing a life matters. Maybe it does. We'll find out. Pacifist! Yeah! We did it! That's actually perfect. I'm glad that works. Oh yeah, so I have to defeat the uh, Topi and the Polar Bears on the Icicle Mountain stage, too. That works, that works. So this is nice. What's nice about this is after this, I can just do Ganondorf and Game and Watch really quickly, with very easy, and not worry about any like requirements. Nice little break. Take that Chica Rita trophy. Okay, kill the Topi. Just gotta kill a polar bear. Huh, okay, that definitely killed more. Thanks, Snorlax. I love like the bouncing sounds the NPCs make. Those Tobies are just living their best life, minding their own business. So I'm currently like a minute ahead of my theoretical run record. Nice. Metal Bros time. This will be a Metal Bros KO, which is another bonus I'll need. That was quick. Seven seconds. Actually, I can try for some bonuses right now. I like Cuddly Bear right now, too. I got no, I have. Play Cuddly Bear. Oh, what? That's so weird. I didn't get Cuddly Bear or the. What I expected to get. You can get it with Ganondorf. Yeah, these are the ones that should try to get some of the bonuses in. So that's Marth. And we have Gandorf and Game and Watch next.
Hammerless. It's another bonus. That's nice. Very first time I found Giga Bowser and got a super. He got a super mushroom. And I was terrified of his size, and I got a super mushroom. And for a brief moment, it was even footing. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome! What a great memory. I'm sure that left an impression. Dude, after the savagery, that's Mario and Peach, and the harder difficulties. I just show no mercy when they're in the easier difficulties. I just destroy him. Dude, I thought Giga Bowser was so sick as a kid. Like, what a sick enemy design. Oh, I didn't check to see if I got... Whatever. That works. Ooh, Ganondorf's a beast. You can take out giant DK with, like, two hits. All right, for this one, we don't have to worry about getting defeating all the links. We can just end the level, which is nice. There's the end. Let's see if I can get there. Oh my gosh, that is not helpful. I'm going to try to get Cuddly Bear in this next one and see if it works. So I should have Cuddly Bear. Take Cuddly Bear. Cuddly Bear! There's another grabbing related one. Oh yeah, jab. Did a lot of damage by jabbing. Let's try that one. if I got it. Pummeler? Yeah. Oh, Fist of Fury and Pummeler. One of those two. <laughs> Probably the one I was trying to get. Another Chikorita trophy. Or those, I think I have multiple Chikorita trophies. Dude, air dodging is freaking helpful. Just for minute movements. Boom. I should start thinking about more, like, bonuses I can incorporate into my run. We'll get a large Kirby again. Blue screen. Blue screen. 
Whoops. I didn't need to get that second Kirby fight, but it's kind of hard to be slower than 30 seconds sometimes. I missed. I think it's interesting they gave uh, Ganondorf his own forward air apart from Falcon, and the fighting wireframe has the knee. So fighting wireframe is definitely Falcon. And female wife from is definitely Zelda, like without a doubt. Ooh, I, oh, I've been slouching a little bit. I think. When does Falco show up to fight you? Well, it has a very low percentage chance of happening. If you beat uh, Fox in 30 seconds or less the first time, then Falco fights you after the little cutscene plays. But it's not guaranteed to happen. Oh, he's a slow boy. Yes, sir. So if we get Falco, also if you encounter Falco, that's how you can unlock him. That's like a certain way you can unlock him. I don't know what the actual like criteria are for that. <laughs> no problem. Love seeing trophies. Love to see it. Run, don't walk, immortal, Switzerland. That was fun. <laughs> I, I like playing Ganon. He's really fun to play. Oops. What's wrong with me? <sighs> Stop chasing Mr. Saturn. That works. I love how easy the AI is to destroy and very easy. It's amazing. Chonky boys, dude. Thirty-nine percent from the NPCs. Oh man, almost fifty percent. Hey, Amara Stray. Thank you so much for the follow. Hopefully your day is going well. Welcome in. Okay, if an NPC kills me, you guys can make fun of me officially. How are you, Maro? Such such a cursed emote. There we go. Alright, so we have to do game and watches after this. I wonder if I'll I think I'll make time.
That was nice and quick. Eight seconds. It's all the cola they drink. Ah. Dude, do you have, like, really good memories of, like, seeing a movie in a movie theater and seeing that stupid Coca-Cola ad with the polar bears and just being like, I can't wait to see whatever movie I'm going to see. It's probably, like, freaking Star Wars Episode 3 or something. 2005, 2003. I think Clone Wars was 2002. Or Attack of the Clones was 2002. Episode 1 was 99, and then 2005, I believe, was Episode 3. I remember distinctly, like... Dude, this is the next freaking Star Wars. This is a big deal. I remember that very well. Alright. I like the polar bear ads, too. They're so cute. You just wanted the adopt one of them Congrats. all right now we have game and watch as our final adventure mode full playthrough and then we're gonna do a single level as Kirby because we need to inhale one of the paratroopas paracoopas I should say that three years bro yeah you, you interested in light year I love that don't think I don't see you down there slippy The Koopas are smart. They stop at the edge. Ooh, ended on three on the dot, so no Luigi encounter. Just barely. Um, yeah, what do you think of Lightyear? Um, I have to admit, this is going to sound really stupid, but I think I would love the movie if it came out 10 years ago. But I have... <sighs> A lot of the more modern Disney stuff really bothers me in how they, like, introduce Bathos into their films. Like, there's so much humor... Let's get shoved into it at the ex at the expense of the story. And that's like, obviously that's happened for a long time in like moderate amounts. But now it's like a Disney staple, man. Some touching important scene, then someone makes a joke to like break the tension. And like, ah, oh, it bothers me so much. Oh, Incredibles 2? Okay, yeah, well. I, that explains why you haven't seen a movie since. <laughs> Wow, that was nice. Thank you, Bob Bomb. But like I can tell from the based on the trailers, I don't know if that I'm gonna enjoy Lightyear as much. Love how the beeps and boops echo. Oh, that's the end. Whoops. What, really? That's 
crazy. It's the one, I think the very last one. It should be this one. Yep. I think a lot of it has been that there haven't been as many movies I've been interested in. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I understand that, certainly. CPU do this weird thing where they like land right on top of you. Okay, throwing like a capsule will kill someone. Capsule KO. That's so funny. Capsule KO is just bound to happen when you're playing this much single player. Kill. Yep. I grew up with Toy Story as a kid. Me too. And I've always tried to see anything related to it. I love that. Yeah, I love Toy Story. The Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2 are just amazing. And Toy Story 3 is actually pretty good too. Toy Story 4 is not my favorite. Um, but I also... Did you ever watch the Buzz Lightyear, um, Buzz Lightyear Star Command TV show? Like cartoon? I saw the first movie or whatever and I freaking loved it. And I actually had Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear still, which is awesome. I loved that movie. I never watched like the show really, but I watched that movie. I thought Buzz Lightyear was so cool. And I remember watching Toy Story 2 and thinking like, dude, this is sick. And then the, the game over screen appeared and I was like, oh, I thought that was gonna be the whole movie and I was so disappointed. <laughs> But obviously, that wouldn't invade the Toy Story 2 at all. Hey, what's up, Jack? Oh, <laughs> dude, Jude, you're my favorite. I really like you. You know what's funny? This is, I think, the first time a spam bot's entered my chat like this. I don't think I ever had one of these before appear in my chat. No, no joke. I'm not even kidding. I'm assuming there aren't any mods around, but if there are. What I used to do is I used to find, like, freaking Rick Astley YouTube. I'm not ever, never going to give you up. And I would create a short link of it and I would post people's chats. Wanna become famous? Oh here's Falco. Kid link. There he is. There's the boy. There goes the boy. So goofy when Game Watch looks directly at the camera, you see his goofy mouth. Who got mock rider music? Pixar has gone yeah. Yeah. It has. Oh what? My chat went away. Stupid timeout rules. What? I can't unlock my surface.
gotta be careful because my servers might fall down. Chat back. My surface timed out. It was been it's been too many hours. Nice, right, that was good. That was good. Uh, they still crank out really good films, Coco and Soul recently, but it's not as good as I completely agree, yeah. I think Soul and, and Coco were really good. I, I held on watching Coco for a long time because it didn't look that appealing to me, but I watched it recently with my girlfriend and yeah, it was really good. And Soul is also great, but dude, I think Luca is genuinely a terrible film. But the only one I think that's worse than um, Luca is freaking. Um, what's that one that everyone won't stop talking about? The music. The. Oh gosh, I can't remember. It's the one that's We Don't Talk About Bruno. Oh my word, that's such a bad film. I thought it was so bad, but I loved. Um, it might just be Disney, not Pixar. I don't remember. Encanto, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I got the trophy. I thought Encanto was terrible. Um, but I really like Turning Red, actually. I thought Turning Red was good. It wasn't, like, amazing, but it was it was still fun. But I genuinely think, like, Encanto and Luca are some of the worst movies I've ever seen. Pixar. Is it Pixar or Disney? If they're both Pixar films, one of them might just be Disney. I don't remember. Oh, Encanto was just Disney. Okay, well, then that doesn't count. But Kondo was a oh, that was horrible. Okay, uh, I would say watch uh, Turning Red. Turning Red's good. I love the anime influences and the art style and stuff. I thought it was fun. It's a charming story, and what I liked about it too was um, Essie really related to a lot of the girl growing up themes. Yeah, it is. And it's on uh, Disney Plus, so you can watch it there. It was fun. Also, I want you I want to be clear. I don't think I have, like, I wouldn't consider my taste to be universal or anything like that. I mean, everyone loved the Sonic movie, so... I tell you that, I'm not very, uh... My opinions don't really match the general consensus in a lot of ways, fortunately. Alright. So now... Bom, bom. Dude, yeah, people loved those movies, and I have to tell you, I thought they were really bad. <laughs> I gotta be totally honest. I thought they were both really bad. Actually, both Sonic movies and Detective Pikachu were bad. But! You can have your own opinion. Alright, time to swallow a Paracoopa. Kirby's so slow. Alright, I'm pretty sure that killed him. I'll check and make sure. What? How did Goomba appear over there? What the heck? Let's 
Let's see, Paratroopa KO. Yep, Paratroopa KO. I love the Miyazaki films. I recently watched, um, oh man, which one was it? It's like the wolf one or? Okay, so now we go to All-Star. All-Star. Now for this one. Oh man, I gotta get Speedster. Shoot. Speed Demon. I don't have Speedster. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Um, so for All Star. Okay. I gotta do Gandor. I have to do hard. Can continue if needed. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Yes, Princess Mononoke. Yes. I watched that one recently, and man, it is awesome. I loved it. I also like Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle and... Um... What else have I seen? Maybe those are the only ones I've seen. There we go. That's awesome that that's your favorite one. Oh! What? I hit zero on this already. What the heck? Gosh dang it. Hey, howdy! Grave of the Fireflies. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Really? How are you, dude? There we go. <laughs> dude, I'm annoyed that my I didn't split for some reason. What the heck? I already have the bait, the home run bat trophy. Wait, what? Wait. I unlocked Mushroom Kingdom too? I didn't know that. When did I unlock this? When did I get the Birdo Trophy? The heck? Does anybody remember me getting the Birdo Trophy? Because I don't. Unless you can get... Unless you can play that level and not have it unlocked. Oh my word. This is brutal. Get me out of here. Yeah, I got lucky. Pretty dandy, just chillin'. Love it! How was work, my friend? Hopefully work was pretty good. Tick! Tick! Yeah, I, I have no memory of getting the Birdo Trophy. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, David. Why are you getting so much damage? Okay, well. Tick!
Wow, that was awkward. I got lucky there. It was decent work. <laughs> Good. I thought it was decent. I got Skid Master. Wow, I'm gonna get so many continues. I'm gonna get so many continues. No! Oh my gosh. Rough pumpkins. An achievement for all-star damage list. Well, yeah, it's it's not just all-star though, thankfully. It's, um... You can get a bonus for taking no damage in a single-player mode. But thankfully, it doesn't have to be All-Star. If it did, we'd be in big trouble. But yeah, you can get it in All-Star, but it's usually not advisable. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> this is where it's really rough. Okay, so I have 78 coins. I think 80... 82 is an okay number to remember. Oh, boy. Why this stage? This is the worst stage. Well, not the worst, but one of the worst. Goodness. Hopefully I don't look... Well, luckily, 78 coins is plenty, but... Minus 10 coins hurts. I shouldn't hit barrels like that. Sorry if my response came across as abrasive. Oh no! No problem, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't come across as abrasive. <clears throat> I got your pun, your punny angle. One of the trophies that you get is exclusively unlocked by beating All-Star Mode on hard, or harder. Dude, Samus, die. I guess it... Well, the it seems like a pun to me. Like, it was decent work? Maybe? It, it was decent work. It was decent work. 
That, that'd be fun to me. Okay, I'm definitely gonna die. If I survive this... No, okay. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that wasn't your intent. Man, you... By the time I get to this, you absolutely need to have enough coins. Give Mark the gun. Man, getting a home run contest is a freaking lifesaver. Or, home run bat, I mean. You can KO people so quickly with that thing. It's basically an instant kill. So luckily, after we have this out of the way, we can do Roy. Oh, the other thing, Kid Link, you might be thinking of? Okay. Is, there's a, there's a bonus for not using a single heart container. Okay, I'm how am I not dead? Die. Yes. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die to the Game & Watch one, but I'm sure going to try not to. Oh, you know about that one? Okay, nice. Yeah. I don't think I knew about that one when I was a kid. Yeah, there we go. Alright, not too bad. It could have been worse. Could've been worse. I guess the other option is I could just do this one last for the first. I'm worried about the coins. Sorry for the distortion. So for this, I have to do all star with every single character except for Link and Falco. Got the Mew Trophy. That's what I needed. So now with Roy, we're going to do the no heart container bonus. This part of the run takes about, about two hours or so. But it's a lot more engaging than like other parts of the run. If I grab a heart container by accident, that won't be very pog. That was taking me 10 seconds to defeat uh, two, three enemies. <laughs> or 10 in game. How about that three second average? Alright, that's gonna change now, but still. Whoops. Yeah. 
We got the Rick Trophy, boys. Yeah, I think I still have to get the Birdo Trophy, unfortunately. Bruh. Bruh. Oh. Goodness. Welcome back, Esther. How's your day going? So good to have you back. Oh, really? That's so fun. Is Did Luke just leave? Whoops. Nice. I'm glad you had fun. That's awesome. So the current thing that I'm trying to do is... Uh, whoops. Not use any hard containers in all-star mode. Chapter 4 of the Apologetics book helped. Oh, really? Let's go, Esther. <laughs> that's... Oh, that's awesome. Ready? Is that where it talks about the the ontological argument? What am I doing? Wow, that was nuts. I, like, forgot what I was doing because I was so excited about what you said. Yeah, so fun news about Kid Link, Esther. He just got a new job. Um... At Wells Fargo, as a is that a is a bank teller the correct term? Is the bank teller the correct uh, job title for you? Okay, come up here. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, ethical subjectivism, where um, where a culture comes up with their own morality, and then the majority rules what the morality is. Yeah. Yeah, that's ethical subjectivism. That's a good one. Yeah. But it was a huge upgrade from his previous job. So I, for anyone that... And also, I mean, speaking of people getting new jobs, Howdy also... Uh, I wouldn't say new, but relatively recently. More distortion coming in. Bruh. This is a stubborn little one at the end. Alright, so that should be Melee Master. Yep, Melee Master. Oh gosh, I gotta get um Speedster somehow. Cultural relativism, conventionalism, objective morality, and ethical subjectivism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of big freaking words. Yeah, but they all mean something very specific. Hey, how's it going, Tyson? I haven't I haven't caught one of your streams for a very long time too. Yeah, well welcome back. Do I know you, Tyson? I don't know if I recognize that username. See if you can remember what they are. Cult cultural subjectivism. All-star. Riot Tyson. Okay, well, welcome back. See, cultural relativism is what I just said. Conventionalism. and obje So, objective morality makes sense. Wait, what's the difference between ethical subjectivism and cultural relativism? I think I'm missing those two up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, good times, good times. Oh, frick. Bruh. There we go. Typing, all right. Yeah, I love that chapter. I think <clears throat> morality is one of my favorite concepts to think about. There's three arguments for the existence of God that I like. And one of them is the moral argument. And I think that's the one of the most... I think the cosmological argument is probably the most, like, universally effective. But for some reason, I just like the... I think it's called ontological argument, if I remember correctly. And then there's the teleological argument, which is the design argument. That one I find the hardest, like, the least um, naturally convincing of the three. Heck yeah, you should get Chinese food. From where would you be getting this Chinese food? Oh, it sounds amazing right now. 
It honestly, guys, it's looking like I have enough energy to at least make it to the event matches section. So, oh gosh, there we go. And I want to see what my time's looking like. If it's looking good, I think it'll all be contingent upon whether or not I have the Birdo trophy, actually. Ethical subjectivity. Individuals decide what's right or wrong. Okay. Ethical subjectivism. Individuals decide what's wrong or right for themselves. Only morality is fluid. Conventionalism. Society decides. Cultural relativism is based on observations in different cultures. Hmm. Well, I got, I got my memory of those is wrong. Then. Okay, don't air dodge, Pichu. Don't pick that up. No, no. Oh. My gosh. We're losing 10 coins, baby, because I made a really stupid mistake. For the record, I, you, you're never supposed to get a continue. And I somehow managed to do that. That's all right. We have a nice uh, backup of coins to cushion us when you make silly mistakes. Okay, so, so far, to give you a summary, things went really, really well in the beginning, and then I got a continue when I shouldn't have gotten a continue with Marth. And then that kind of is the reason I'm not doing my best time right now. But overall, I'm really happy with, like, the run right now. Die, Ganon. There we go. Yeah, but not that bad. Not that bad. Overall, like, I'm only, I'm only a minute... I'm not- I'm actually ahead. I'm actually like about a minute or two ahead. Even though it says I'm a minute behind, it's- I'm actually not. I'm actually making really good time. DK! Die! There we go. That's the risky part about the upbeat deaths, is like if you land on the wrong spot, you'll die. Objective morality morals are not opinions. Yeah. And objective morality is the only one that makes sense. When you really think about it. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, pog. Dude, guess what? Our homework is 20 pages of homework. That's insane. I'm glad you gave me a heads up. Why is Roy on Final Destination? That doesn't make any sense. It's all questions? Oh, okay. Nice. Should be a good one. Especially considering the topic. Get over here. Oh my gosh. Game and watch, please. All right, we have Luigi. So now I gotta be really precise with my upbees with Luigi. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm Mario next. More upbees. <laughs> For Mario, Dr. Mario and Luigi, it's always upbees. That's a pretty emo. I love that Twitch finally has animated emotes now. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, the blinking bulb orb. Good stuff. Oh, what? He didn't die? Now we'll die. What? That was jank. Man, the artist icon next to your name makes you seem so official, Esther. 
Because you seem so important. Because you are. Yeah, Mario's up sucks compared to Doc's. Yeah, buddy. Iggly buff, let's go. Everyone's favorite Pokemon. Yeah, I think just side smashing might be a better technique with Mario. I don't think it's up B. Maybe if a character's really light, I can use up B, but I don't think that's worth it. Like, maybe I could try it on Puff and Mewtwo and see if it works. It works on Puff. Okay. So lighter characters, it'll work. Heavy characters, it won't. What do you think of the new Pokemon games coming out? I haven't looked into them very much. I'm not uh, super into Pokemon, like, in the more recent gens, unfortunately. What do you think? Whatever you think is probably more interesting than whatever I think. Are you looking forward to them? That KO'd? That's insane. Um, from what I've seen, uh, the starters seem cute-ish. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kid Link. I'm sorry. I, uh, I tried to play Gen 5, and then I, I couldn't finish it. And then, um, from then I just went back to playing the ones that I like. Oops. Ness is light enough. There's no way Ganondorf is, so let's just do that. Oh! Are the next starters an abomination? Kitty, a ducky, or a fire dinosaur? Oh. Yeah, okay. So they, they are cute. There's no doubt about that. Okay, I'm not gonna risk this. He's invisible, I can't see where he is. A freaking fire dinosaur. I mean, you raise a compelling point. I like the cat. The kitty is, like, looks really cute. Isn't it? Isn't the cat um, leaf grass type? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just... That'll kill. Oh my gosh. Cat is the grass type, okay. Yeah. Cool. I remember when Esther made a Smack Studio character out of one. I have like three of those freaking Andros trophies, man. Can we get a Birdo one, please? so weird that when it's Roy encounter, you go to Final Destination. Why would that be? That's so odd. Oh. No death. Well, that was glitchy. Every everyone on Twitter is going crazy over the new pig Pokemon. Yes, I saw Lechonk. I like that name a lot. That's a great new name. A great new name. As for me, there's a super adorable electric. I think it's a fox or hamster called Pomi. Oh, adorable. I think you have a a soft spot in your heart in your heart for little foxy creatures. I'm thinking of Kirby too.
Works for me. You just like animals? Did you ever work at the Humane Society or anything like that? I feel like you'd do really well in a caring for animals environment. Tadashi Ikigami, amazing sound person. Um, uh, Manabu Fukada, I believe, did the voice. He instructed the voice actors of the Pokemon in the anime and in, in the games. Well, not like the 8-bit games or like the, the Game Boy games or the handheld games, but like the ones where they speak. You would have loved to. Nice. I love that. That's awesome. If Grant comes back, this will be his hour because I'm playing Ouija. I'm pretty excited for the new Pokemon games. Good. Oh, it's, oh yeah, the open world part of it. I like Donnie's uh, theory about it, which is like Arceus was like was a oh gosh. Oh, why isn't he dying? Stupid ceiling. Um, yeah, his theory was that that Arceus was like a demo for the concept that would become the next gen, which I think is really compelling. Like Pokemon Stars was gonna be this crazy thing, and then they decided to like not do Stars, and that trickled into everything else. Which I think is a really good theory. Ooh, get away from that bomb. Yeah, so from what I understand, like Arceus was like. People loved Arceus. Oh my gosh. I got them both. Let's go. That was awesome. Not killing. Oh man, if I anytime I see a Pokeball, I should be throwing it in case I get a Mew. Although I don't even know if I could encounter one. Maybe I could. Not killed. The head, oh, cool. It came off, but I got to hit him first. Headless hammer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did that kill? That'll kill. Nice. Good old metal. Is that a metal KO, I wonder? I don't remember if that's a, a bonus or not. Could be. Oh, man. I need to not kick crates like that because there's an explosive in there sometimes, David. Don't don't be kicking crates. What have they ever done to you? Okay. Ready? 
Did I get him? I don't know. Falco's too uh, heavy. Oh, cool. I got both of them. That was awesome. So, Rising Nair, I think, for... I think down smash would work better than that. Uh... So my thought is... Um... I can probably get some kind of food and be eating it during these credit sequences. I would seriously love to get a Birdo trophy right now. It's just saying. Okay. Mario took a little longer than I wanted. I love Bowser's running animation. It makes absolutely no sense. What was the Hell Laboratory and on Sakurai thinking? In a, in a good way, though. If that was a Mew, I could have gotten Mew Catcher. That's what I think every time I throw a Pokeball. It's funny they make Rinstar Depths Ganondorf stage very often. That's awesome. There are so many bonuses that are just likely to get by just playing the game, and some of them are so specific. These aren't hitting, bro. That, that star you could have kept Sheik alive for longer than I would have wanted. That's the disadvantage sometimes with Pokeballs. If you get like an unknown or something, I should I should have healed myself. What am I doing? Thank you, Yoshi. Ok. 
goodness, that was kind of cutting it close. And I, if I keep losing coins, I'm not going to be able to buy the Birdo Trophy if I need to. So I can't keep dying like this. I've got to be vigilant. Man, when they're big, they get knocked back so little, so much less. Another Andros. Wow, I've gotten like four of those. I was trying to get as many Pokemon as I could in the last second. KO, let's go. You know, David, I think I will get Chinese food. Let's go. What kind of Chinese food are you going to get? I love how they play this music here. I guess the Lost Woods. I like that. Me too, Essie. What are you guys singing the song, though, about Chinese food? I like Chinese food. It's a bop. Esther knows what I'm talking about. Get over here. Yes, you do, Esther. We watched that video together. That was me harnessing Grant for a second. Dude, so people have managed to hit every single name on the credits, but haven't been able to do it in fast forward mode. That's level two. The homework's insane. Okay. Is it just a lot? spouse always love the sound of your voice oh it's just just for you know on the record you know okay oh that up he kills let's go how am I supposed to fit that in on paper It's a written contract that says you'll never tire of my voice. And then in the future when you say, hey, can you stop talking, please? And I'll be like, excuse me. What I have here states that you will always enjoy the sound of my voice. Um, just say, maybe. <laughs> yes. Excellent, Kid Link.
No, don't get the star. Don't get the star. Don't get the star. Don't get the star. Yeah, let's go. There we go. Ooh, did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Parasol finish! Let's go! I don't have to get Parasol finish. All right, David V. Fingies. Perfect. Get swatted. Now, if you want to make it sound professional, if you want to make it sound professional, go, perhaps. Or you could say, uh, Perchance. Man, Peach's float is actually super sick. The fact that you can float whenever you want by just tapping down is like... That's really cool. Hey! Welcome in. What do I call you? Napo? What should I call you? Thanks so much for being here. How are you? Hmm. So many can move the camera like that during like when it's still... Would you ever compete in a Smash Bros. game show for fun? Yes! Heck yeah, I would. I would love to. Um, I, I'd probably get a lot of stuff wrong when it came to the competitive scene, but... Oh my gosh, I would love to. Genuinely. What makes you say that? You know, looking for people to, for a game show? That's awesome. Uh, what kind of team are you? I'm, I'm interested. You can uh, DM me on Discord. Uh, David V. Kimball, my username. Number, score, number 0, zero, 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 0001. Or you can join my Discord with the link and the command and reach out to me. That sounds awesome. Thanks, Kid Link. Thank you very much for that link. I appreciate that. Ready? Hey, Napo, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. I forget his ears still work after that. Oh, awesome. Solo bring teammates. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm very excited. Um, when you say your team, what what kind of team? What kind of team are you talking about? Ooh, all right. 
Thanks for the lurk, Essie. Enjoy your grocery shopping. Get yummy, healthy snacks. All star. Down smash. See you later, Esther. Thank you so much for playing my game. Bum, bum. Oh, that was a fair, not a nair. At least I thought it was. Whoops. Nice. I love full charge smash attacks as metal. Just in the nick of time. I don't think I had Daisy yet. I don't think I want metal here, actually. With Yoshi, it's not that bad. So have a lot of jumping height you can get. Dude, I can't believe we're almost at, like we're already at six hours of the run. Yoshi's jumping momentum is really fun. Down smash is the killer. The killer move. I also love that they make this like the equivalent of like a, a town or a city in uh, the Johto region with this music and Pichu. It's so cool. Down tilt kill. <laughs> you love to see it. Whew, I am starting to get hungry. <laughs> I didn't have very much this morning, but. What's nice is anytime I want to, I can kind of take a break and do the 15 minute. Yoshi shooting a gun. That should be illegal. Ah, uh, see, see.
Nice. See if I got the award or not. No, I didn't get it. So it's telling what to get, really. Are you uh, overwhelmed with the options of the Chinese food cuisine? Hi, Chancy. Caesar yet. That's nice. Can you imagine if I got the Birdo trophy, how poggalicious that would be? It's the dumbest game watch I've ever seen. Gosh. Cheap KO, well, I'll be the judge of that. So imagine, like, All-Star, I think Classic Mode is probably the shortest single-player mode. Uh, I think All-Star is the second shortest. So imagine if I had to do Classic and all and, and, and Adventure with every character. Because right now I'm doing All-Star with every character. So you can see how, how you know, SDing in the beginning saved a lot of time. Yeah, I mean, Chinese food is freaking delicious. I can't blame you, man. I don't think I have that trophy yet, so Pog. Another benefit of doing All-Star is all the trophies you get. Every, um, I think every third match you do an All-Star, you get a trophy, a random trophy. So Definitely worth to do All-Star from that standpoint. Because my original route had even more um, self-destructs with other characters, but... I ultimately deprived myself of more trophies when I did that. Nice, that was cool. <laughs> I love throwing projectiles and having them hit. It's awesome. I don't think I had to star you yet. Oops, I didn't really need to get that. It doesn't matter. 
Metal KO. Danky Kang. Doo doo. Doo doo. Doo 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 doo. How long was my very first? Oh my word, do you guys see that? The T-Pose. one of those CPU's predictable jumping can make it really satisfying to land attack sometimes but what it does is it makes you develop bad habits and then you try to do those things but humans aren't as predictable as CPU's so it doesn't always work <gasps> wow dang that freaking sucks Wow. Dying in the dumbest ways. Check T-Pose DK. Shrimp lo mein and some crab rangoon. You mean rangoons? Or rangoos? Those are amazing though. Oh my gosh, no. Well, I got all three of them. Wow. Triple KO. Oh, I didn't get the part. What's wrong with me? Line order, my friend. No busy signals. Yeah, buddy. What if it was Mew? I like to check if it was. See if we see if it's Mew or not. Here's a condom that taking how long it takes. All right, fair enough. Can't fault you for that, dude. I'm so glad you're getting a. So glad you're getting that. That sounds amazing. And that was really satisfying. Falcon's so fast. Ready? Go. 
never look back. Ready? Wow, I didn't get any damage there. Crazy. Immortal. I like how uh, Togepi and Clefairy use Metronome. That's so cool. It's a really clever way to reuse um, like effects and stuff and not have to create custom animations or custom effects. Hey, Epitome. How are you, man? Dude, I'm having a great evening. How is your evening going? I'm about... Almost seven hours into a ridiculous speedrun that I'm not completing probably today. Um, oh, Amias. There we go. Ten minutes, let's freaking go. We'll be here before you know it. That's actually really fast. Ten minutes? Wow. Are you gonna pick it up, I assume? You've been busy, Epitome. Nice. Busy with what exactly? Ooh, sermon preparation. Okay, nice. I'm assuming you're giving a sermon tomorrow. And this just be invisible KO, I think. Invisible KO. Nice. Hey, best of luck with your sermon. How um how much in advance do you write your sermons usually? I know there are only Pokeballs that spawn there. That's actually kind of wild. I almost had a third one to throw. I don't know what the unlock criteria unlock criteria for Mew is though. Might be none. I should kill him. Yeah. Okay, finish tomorrow's sermon. On to the next one in the afternoon or Monday. Okay. Is that usually how quickly you move on to the next one? Ready? That was overkill? <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, Pokeball. I can't prepare ahead of time. That's not how my brain works. Oh, really? Ready? I can't prepare ahead of time. Wait, what do you mean? Isn't that preparing ahead of time? Snorlax into Articuno is totally overkill. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering what you meant. Yeah, dude. I like that, though. Ready? I like the Sermon Cram. So wait, is, is um, just a week ahead not considered, um, like, doing it ahead of time? Usually is it more than a week?
I meant was that you usually can't prepare for a Sunday sermon at least two weeks ahead of time. I see what you're saying. I mean, that's fair. I understand that. Do you think, what do you think is average for a pastor? I really have no idea, but I'm really interested in like what an average for a pastor would be. Yeah, I guess by the time you go to All-Star, you automatically quintuple kill or quadruple kill or whatever. Every pastor's different. Fair enough. What's been the closest call? As Steve Lawson, hope to study under him, once said, do whatever works for you. Okay, so there's actually... Oh gosh, I already did this. I already did this. I already did this. I already did Gander. Ah. Did Ganondorf already? All star. Wait, I don't need to do Falco. What's wrong with me? Hey, Granty, Ranty, what's up? You're on the other account. Welcome back, my dude. What decides if you use Granty Ranty or Joss Grant? Bum bum, bada bum. Oh my gosh! Thanks, Tingle. Tingle, what was that? Of course, thanks for the lurk, I appreciate it. Thank you, Epitome. Appreciate that. Granting Randy is really loose, mainly for Goofy and our rant stream, Josh Grant is technical streams, coding, game dev. Except for the last one, you know, you're not doing game dev. But other, the other ones, sure. Yeah, I get it. So I understand that, but like... Why, why would you use as a chatter one over the other? Like, I feel like as a chat person, you wouldn't... I don't know why you're using Granty Ranty now and you're using Joss before. I don't understand. Oh man. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It was just logged in. <laughs> okay. Dude, you should use Firefox's multi account containers, man. Then you could pick what actively which one you want to use. Blum, blum, blum. I don't think I've gotten materialist. Oh, wait. Hmm. I wonder if I should try to make one of these take a long time. I need, I, I still need speed, sir. I should probably figure this out. How long is Speedster? Oh my gosh. So, 
what sucks is because I was I think I was too quick in my other one player modes I've got to let one wait out for eight minutes so I might just try to do some coin grinding I guess I don't understand how that's possible. Actually, before I do that, I'm actually just going to finish this out and then see if I still don't have Speedster. I just started using different profiles and scene groups in OBS. Oh, wow. Okay, well, good for you. Randy Randy says I stream more on Twitch on this account. Oh, that's true. That makes sense. Um, yeah, different profiles and scenes are helpful. I have a profile for recording and one for streaming. And actually, streaming does both recording and streaming. But I very clearly have to... have to change the encoding settings, so they're way too much for my PC. Alright, enjoy, Kid Link! Hope uh, you can come back real soon with some delicious Chinese food. Yeah, I need to see if I have Speedster first. Yeah, it's saying encoding overload like every other 30 seconds. Yeah, well, so actually, so here's what's fun, Grant. The script that you're using is way better, so I'm using it. It's way more lightweight. And I've gotten rid of my um, my controller input. And getting and fi using your script and then using controller input, or getting rid of that and not showing it, displaying it, has basically fixed the problem. However, I have a new problem, which is my... It's, it's, a, it's a trivial problem. My... Um, my encoding settings are way too high because what I'm doing is I'm recording and streaming at the same time. So my quality settings are simply too high on my recording. They're like way overkill. So I keep being told that my encoding's overloaded. So you're going to see stream drops and all sorts of stuff. I got him. No, I don't have a 2080. I have like a 1060 or something. It's the most recent part of my machine, but remember, I built my PC in 2015, so... <laughs> January 2015, mind you. So basically 2014. Yeah, I don't know. Gosh... Dang it, Grant. What on earth is that clip? Oh, I have Speedster. I have Speedster. Thank the Lord above. I'm really, really glad I checked. Stop it. Okay, let's see. Ready? 
forward throw. That's right. So for Ness, forward throw is a kill move. Like, look at that. It's nuts. As long as I'm doing forward throw, it yeets him. Also, what the heck? What in the heck does Twitch do in the background of stream? Like taking one third to two third of my CPU on my workstation computer. Oh yeah. Dude, I don't know. Twitch has never been a good, like very resource efficient website. I'm trying to think if I'll make a good time or not. Thank you for patiently waiting, Donkey Kong. Like, it's gotta be the worst in terms of streaming for CPU use. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty bad, in my experience. <laughs> That's why I, like, don't even use the website. I just use Streamlink. Well, that's not, why. that's not the main reason why. It's another benefit to doing that. By the way, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I've got my Microsoft Surface on its side for, for stream, and it works really well. It's really helpful. So I, I literally have... I'm surrounded by five screens right now. I've got my three monitors. i got my PC CRT monitor, and I have my Surface. Don't get the freaking star, I hear it. I'm a five HUD, is that right? I want to, for the convenience factor. I mean, it's just a habit for me at this point, but I do understand. I do understand, I mean, I wish that the, let me put it this way, if Streamlink was a little bit more like Twitch.tv UI-wise across the board, I'd probably use it even more. Because I like on the left, it shows you who's live and stuff, and that's such a small thing, they could easily add that to Streamlink. But there's nothing else about it being in browser that makes it more convenient, really, for me. Because everything else, I mean, you don't... Maybe it takes like a second or more to load a stream, and that's not a big deal, because you're already committing anyways to watching it. Yeah, it's not way different, yeah, but it's just a slightly less convenient. So that's something that I noticed, but... Man, Ness is a... Ness is a murdering powerhouse. Are you guys seeing this? So, I'm not quite halfway through the cast, right? Ooh. N64 Ness with pausers. He's poggers in this game. Look at him, he's pogging right now. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -dum. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, down smash is, down smash and side smash is their ticket to, to fame. Is 
a weird way to do an end credits. Get a riff on Star Fox, but still. Wish games did stuff like that more often. Yeah. That was fun. I like that. The quirky credits. And definitely the best in the series for credits. Um, I think there's a credit sequence at the end of Ultimate that's a bit more interactive where you can like destroy stuff or whatever, but I just like the novelty of zooming around and shooting the names. That's awesome. Such very Mario 64 opening face minigame energy. Yeah, exactly. That's a really good comparison. I never thought about that um, that comparison before. That's a good one. Wow, he just dodged out of the way right in time. What a crafty little little rat. The camera is facing the other wall, and now it's confusing for a second. Yeah, right. Yeah, cause it's not. It's a. It's a different webcam. <laughs> That's cause I'm playing on my CRT, right? And I want to face. I want to face where my CRT is, and I also wanted to have chat over here. So, but my monitors and like my normal apparatus is over here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't have one for each screen. Um, I just have it for my CRT, and then I have my webcam that I use for most of my time streaming. And then I have my um, my DSLR, or my mirrorless, over there. I have so many tabs open. How did this happen? Oh, right. Three screens and three webcams for each of them. Of course. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's, that's kind of awesome. Something, I, something I'm wondering, like, you know how you usually can't use one webcam for like three different things or whatever? I wonder if that's the same thing for the virtual camera. Like if you use OBS as a virtual camera, can that source be used by multiple sites or can it only be used by one? I'm, I'm not, actually not sure about that. Gosh dang it, Grant. Because on that point, you could at least use one webcam. Oh, I wanted Nana to get the other metal. Gosh dang it, Grant. So if you use the OBS virtual webcam and just capture your webcam again, you can at least have two, I think. No, you can't. That's a lie. Because OBS would be taking it up. I like how Marcus found the dreams. Why? What's this supposed to be from Fire Emblem, I wonder? Gosh dang it, Anthony. I do not. We got about an hour left of these. I think it's a little bit gonna be a little bit more than an hour, personally. But we're at ice climbers right now. Oops. Um. Yeah. I guess we're about halfway. Six hours, yes. I've been at seven hours, and I think I'm gonna end. Dude, I'm already this far. Because I was originally only gonna do like an eight hour stream. That's just to practice, right? But like, this could be world record pace. I don't really know, because I don't have the box controller. But if Matt gets back at a certain time. Another Andros trophy. That is like my fifth Andros trophy. Oh, Esther, do you see where it says 15 minute melee on the list? That's a built in break where I have to eat. Well, I don't have to, but I'm choosing to. It's like some distortion in your ears? I thought so. Might as well do the full thing. Silence, Esther. Have you come to yeet? Let's go. Fifth Andros trophy. 
You've got your Chinese food, the fifth Andros trophy. This is your night, Kid Link. This is your night. So basically the Master Hand glitch, where you can play as Master Hand, you just turn on 15 minute melee, you launch Master Hand, you can leave it for the full 15 minutes and do whatever you want. Now, if I didn't have to eat and rest and all that garbage, I could be grinding for coins during that, which I'll probably do a little bit of maybe. Um, but. But. Groceries have been got. Well done, Esther. Well done. Hopefully got something yummy. Or a few things that are yummy. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you, Gui. Thank you. But, but you both. Kirby can't kill anything. Don't call it garbage. I'm sorry. It's a joke. I'm using hyperbole. I don't actually think it's garbage. That gonna kill? Nope. That gonna kill? Yep. Yeah, I've got side smash. I was smashing. I have I'm under my notes for Kirby. I have never grab. You know what? You guys want to know what that is? Because half of Kirby's throws kill himself, pretty much. Gosh dang it, Grant. These clips. These freaking clips, dude. I'm gonna watch them later and be like, what on earth? Oh, airplane. Okay, no, I've seen air. Oh, I threw, oops. I have seen airplane. A very long time ago. I appreciated some of it, but I don't think all of it was really my style of humor. Grabbing the ledge this time, buddy. That one is objectively novel. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was incredibly influential. I understand that. Oh, the clip. Okay, they meant the movie. Up throw, yeah. Up throw could work. I just don't think it'll launch them very far, but maybe it will. Maybe it will. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I mean, didn't kill, but maybe it could have. There we go. Okay, whatever you say. Ready, go. You have been wrong before about that, just so you remember. One hundred percent confident. That's that's pretty confident, Grant. That's that's pretty confident. It's not a funny thing you or I did, oh. Super liminal. Really? I don't think I've heard of super liminal. But that's awesome that you started speedrunning it. What's your PB? Oh, the stream did? Okay. Okay. Don't wanna know what that means, but sure. Get those trophies. I'm really worried I'm not going to get a Birdo Trophy. How did Samus die? What the heck? That's the puzzle game that you change your perspective to change the size of objects? I don't know if I know that. 26 minutes aiming for sub 25? Best of luck. That's awesome. Something about that rings a bell, Grant, but I don't know if I remember, to be honest. It's portal-ish. Huh, okay. Nice. 
Portal is super fun. I haven't played that in a spell. I killed. Wow. Oh boy. That'll kill him. That'll kill him. We're just gonna kill him. But the Birdo strat was just reset until your first trophy. Well. I that, that might be what I have to resort to at a certain point. I mean, actually. Yeah. For another speed run, that's what I do. So I don't think I can do it for this one, too. Heard that reference out of nowhere? I like games like that, but could never imagine doing a Let's Play of it. Unless it was really easy to exploit cool stuff. Do you mean a speed run, Grant? Or just like playing it casually on stream? fun to figure out. First playthrough takes one to two hours depending on how smart you are. Wow. Okay. So speedrunning it I feel like would be fun too. Yeah, I might just do that, Anthony. I might just do that. <laughs> That's such, I love that image. I'm trying to remember though like how I did it exactly. All star. I think I have to take out the memory card. Yeah, bullseye. <laughs> Meant speed run. Okay, that's what I thought. Yes, you should speed run Untitled Goose Game. I bet that game's fun to watch, uh, speed run wise. Get blown up, young Link. Young Ling instead of Young Link? <laughs> That's hilarious. Whoops. Yeah, for sure. Guys, I don't speedrun real speedrunning games. I speedrun games that are never meant to be sped run. Sped run, the past tense? Speed ran? You could have one song from Melee play at your wedding? <gasps> Esther, that's a wonderful question. Wow, that's a tough one. The DK rap. Just kidding. Um, hmm, that is not an easy question to answer. I don't know which ones have like wedding vibes except for the all-star rest area theme. That seems the most like a most natural fit for a wedding. But I'm not actually sure what I would choose. Die Yoshi, die. The ones that come to mind are like Fountain of Dreams. It's kind of dramatic. I don't know if that's really like the right tone for a wedding. Ready, How about you, Esther? Is there one that you, you would come to the mind for you? Kind of want to speed run Glover? Really? I would watch the freak out of those streams if you tried that. I'm kind of dramatic, so it fits. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you feel personally attacked, Grant? 
So, just so you know, that's what we call a coincidence. They actually happen sometimes. Just so you know, Grant. Flat zone. Yes. True. True. Um, I love Corneria. I think Corneria and Templar are amazing. Those come to mind, too. As candidates, I'm not saying I would. When you said not in melee, are you saying, Esther, like... If I'm asking you songs that aren't in melee, or if they are, I'm not sure what not in melee means. In the context of your message. Oh my gosh, how? I should have ledge hog. I think. There we are, okay. Oh, I can't think of one in melee. I see. No problem, S. What about a non melee game song? You probably already have one in mind. I just want to straight up the Pokemon theme at our wedding. Not the TV one, like the actual main theme. Zelda's Lullaby. Okay. That would work great. That, oh man. Would it, what, what kind of arrangement would it be? Would it be like a... Oh my gosh, four speakers. Um, harp. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Harp. My brain stopped working for a little bit there, but I was gonna say harp. Cause that's why I had mine when you said that. I just have the Metroid. I just have this Brinstar music play at our wedding, with electric, electric guitar. Vault theme from Destiny 2. I, I'm not familiar. I can't say I'm familiar. I've never played Destiny 2. Back throw is good. Mallow Mart. I can only think of Garrett Williamson's remix anymore. I can't hear the original. Ooh. Destiny OST is good all around. Ooh, I gotta give it a shot. Gotta give it a listen. The Malamart theme is so good. It, it really is. Jump Up Superstar, yes. Have you heard Garrett Williamson's remix of it? Anthony. It's amazing. Big fan. Sheik is surprisingly bad in single player modes. Just like, like she doesn't have a lot of kill moves. Oh man, I was about two with one. That killed, yay. When Esther was over yesterday, I played a little Breath of the Wild again, and it was really fun. It's been ancient. It's been, it's been ancient? Excuse me? It's been such a long time since I've played Breath of the Wild. We got some heavy boys. Get bombed. And I was playing some of the DLC, and I'm like, man, this is a good game. Messing with the enemies and... Messing with the physics and stuff. She 
She's got like her up smash and that's it. Normal moves that work well and like in normal VS matches don't work that great in one player mode. Hey, good, Matt. How are you? I was hanging out with Donnie and uh, throwing rocks at each other. What do you guys do? <laughs> Hopefully you had a good time. Um, thank you for asking. I Part of me thinks like I'm already this far in the run. Do I do the whole thing? I like, I'm really like warming up to the idea. Because I've already sunk in seven hours into this thing. What's another 12 hours? <laughs> What's another 12 <laughs> We were actually throwing fruit at trucks on the highway. Okay. I'm assuming they were all pineapples, right? And cantaloupes. Kid Link says go for it. How I feel about Desert Bus? What? Hello, Insane Asylum? Can you get a map, please? Oh, is that from um, Stardew Valley? Grocery Outlet had my favorite iced coffee? Let's go. That's wonderful. What's your favorite kind, Essie? Is Desert Bus from Stardew Valley or am I, am I getting that wrong? <gasps> I feel bad. Oh, that's right! The game where I drove for eight hours to get to Las Vegas. That's freaking right. Oh my gosh. Freaking hilarious. I forgot that you did that, man. That's so freaking funny. Did you have to obey, like, the traffic laws and stuff? What would happen if you didn't? Well, I'm already this far. Yeah. Oh, I completely understand what you're saying now. It's the stock iced coffee grocery store. I was 99 cents? Steal. You just have to stay on the road. If you drift too far off, you get towed back. Okay. You don't have to, like, stop at stop signs and stuff. I guess most of that trip is probably not even stop signs. It's probably just open road. And then, like, what's your speed limit? Congrats. Yeah. Can you do, like... Yeah, I was going to ask. Is there a speed limit or anything? Oh, so I don't need to be Link. I can skip Link. Because I do Link later. No stop signs, and your bus maxed out at like 60 miles per hour. Okay, wow. 60 miles an hour. Oof. That's not a very realistic simulator. How are you going a lot faster than that? As long as it was, it was um, uh, within the boundaries of the law, of course. So pretty soon after this, there's going to be a 15-minute break where I get to eat, which is poggers. You know what? I should probably get a pizza in the oven or something and get it ready. David, are you saying you break traffic laws? Shoot. I have the Christian tag on and I just... Oh my gosh. Uh, everyone, um, I realized I was setting myself up to be an example tonight and I have, I have, I, I, I have, I have not met my own expectations. I apologize. Um, please, I, I'm not a, I'm not a perfect man by any means. I make mistakes. <laughs> All right. I actually might 
At, after this, I actually might get a pizza or something. Which will make me tired. Hmm. Hmm. If Grant's taught me anything, it's that eating a pizza makes me tired. You can quote me on that. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Alright. We're gonna get inventive. I had a salad. Oh, I see what you're saying. Boil some eggs. I don't think I have any eggs left. I used the last of the eggs. Ready? Go. I'm pretty low on food, actually. Do not get that star, Donkey Kong. Thank you, Icy. Freezy. Just boil them, not eat them. Yeah, true. Oh, Matthew. That's so sweet. Dude. You'll be super funny. What if Matt... Matt, do you speedrun any games? Okay. What Matt's gonna do... This is what's gonna happen, okay? Matt's gonna come over, and while I'm speedrunning this, Matt is gonna get the speedrun in Skyrim. That's the certain dialogue that I can't remember. That's hilarious. I don't know what his PB is, but he has a chance of breaking that. <laughs> Can't remember. Compliment percent. Thank you. Compliment percent. Now, unfortunately, getting that footage onto the screen right now would be a challenge. Um, for a number of reasons. That's right, that's right, that's right. We're the only ones around who aren't complete fools. Yes! That dialogue, specifically. Believe it or not, there's more tedious parts in this run. I know you wouldn't believe me, but... We have time to make this decision. I want to keep going with it. Because, I mean... There's a chance I could get world record. Because remember... There's emulator category. Did you guys just freaking see that? What was that? What in the actual heck was that? I'm saving that. Yeah, right? The freaking fan. And then, like, my getup attack killed them all. That was wild. Carb. I'm so sorry, Esther. I think you said something to me and I ignored you. David, a smoothie would be perfect for speedrunning. Ooh, with a long straw. That sounds yummy. Tag team speedrun? Um, is that, like, allowed? I'm pretty sure it's not allowed. Actually, I don't know. Oh my gosh, no. Gosh dang it. I don't want to keep losing coins like this. I need to spend these. Stupid easy to die from stages. No, not again! Oh my freaking gosh. Well, if I keep doing this, uh, I won't be continuing this run. Thank you for clipping that. Let's go, Matt.
That'll kill. Wow, I can't believe I died twice on that. What a shame. Bread, carb, sugar, the same. A sip of a drink, what? I took a sip of drink, what happened? You only did that? Oh, I I died twice for no reason. The goal ultra be the challenge. Skill issue. Wow. Wow. Okay, I hope you guys like don't mind your ears not functioning anymore. Yeah, pizza has a lot of sugar in it. But you want me to bring the box over today? I assume you want to practice, make sure it's set up first. Yeah, well, Matt, correct me if I'm wrong. Can't I just plug the box controller into my into my Wii and have it work? Because I'm not I'm blaming it on console, not emulator. So it doesn't just plug into a console and work? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. So that's definitely viable. I'm not sure. Um, I might know a bit more in an hour and a half or so. Because don't worry, I, we still have a very long stretch of time before I, I really have to make the decision. And Well... Do you guys see where it says generate coins and lottery? That's like 18 hours into the run and we're not even at 8 hours yet. So, we got some time to figure that out. I one shot the GAN and I did. I definitely, Matt, I definitely don't want you to drive all the way down here and then me just be glued to this and have no involvement and you be like, cool, bye. That's not fair. You do not need to drive this far for nothing. Now, if we can find a creative fun way for you to be involved in the stream, I'm all for it. Um, I can't think of anything immediately, and I have no idea what your plans are. Ready? Maybe make the slow mo version jello and have more run luck. This <laughs> make slow version jello. I don't know where I read slow mo. I can make slow version jello and still have time left. Yes, yes, you can use yes, you can use the pool. You can use the hot tub. Now, I could also drive over. We could play Switch Sports on a hot... Okay, guys. Now, I like where I like where this is going. Now, we're using our noggins. All for my personal convenience over something I might not even have you guys do. You can dance behind me. There's not a lot of room, but you certainly can. Yes, and Jones Soda. Thank you, Kid Link. Yes. So, I mean... Again, I'm still not 100% sure. I wasn't planning on doing the whole run today. I can't think of a, whole, uh, a great reason to not do it. I think the run's going pretty well. I could get on a plane and still get there before the run ends. Okay. That's actually shocking. That's a shocking realization. I get on a plane and be there before it ends, and I'm in Brazil. Oh my gosh. That is... That is something. 4 a.m.? Uh, no, it'd be later than that. Ooh, yeah. The, the Berry Lemonade Man. Can't go wrong there. Can't believe you forgot his favorite Jones Soda flavor. It's the blue one. He's right. Okay, what? That was an up tilt. How did that kill? That killed for sure. Hey, Regal. How's it going? Yeah, I'm still alive. Yeah, it's Berry Lemonade. 
Joe and Soda. That's right. Yeah. It used to be um, a light blue color. And now, more recently, it's just a darker blue color. I was actually like, Pichu, like... I'm pretty sure Pichu and Bowser have the same running animation. Such cringe to watch David stream, but not be there in person for the world record moment on camera. Wow. Uh, you realize it's going to be like... Let's see. When did I start? 11 a.m.? What's four hours before 11 a.m.? Seven? It's going to be like six or seven in the morning if I finish this thing. And I don't expect a single soul that is here right now to be here for that. Are we hot until you should make dinner? I mean, I... I, I Ah, ah, ah. Oh dear. Man, Pichu's tiny tail has a lot of power. Can I do the Pichu walk? <clears throat> well, I'm not sure about that. I'm glad you've been doing good, Regal. Hey, Risco Dad, what's up? Yeah, blue one's the best. Challenge accepted. The other thing is, um, I want to say, if I, for some reason, break your box controller, Matt, you get full rights of insurance, so I have to buy you a new one. Because I don't think I'm going to break it, but I, I do I do want to... I want to cover that, just in case. What's up, Ashley? How are you? Might be here for the end. After a good eight hours of sleep? Nice. True. You slept right now. Yeah. You want me to do the Pichu walk? Oh, oh, I thought you meant like me physically. Like this? That's slow. I, I can't afford to do that. Ready? That's not efficient. I'm losing time. Look at that dodging all of all those things in his way. I th was your username originally Yagyu? Because if so, I believe you're Yagyu, but I could be wrong. It's 10.30 for me, almost bedtime. Okay, that's right, you're in Prasil. Yeah, you know what? I just usually stream way too late for you, so that makes sense. There you go. Welcome back. The slow peak of walk is legendary. Oh my gosh, it is. I have to say, Matt, I, and Esther, maybe you already told you this, but recently we went through Bacon's playlist of Oblivion videos, and I just the freaking funniest thing in the whole freaking world. I, I couldn't breathe. Like, my abs were hurting. My cheeks were hurting from smiling. I almost peed myself, yes. Gosh dang it, so funny. Why is Roy on the final destination? They're like, I don't know what Fire Emblem and the Binding Blade is going to be like, so put him on final destination. Yeah, yeah, dude. <sighs> so funny. I love the one where he's like, stop and pay your, like, pay me or else. Smart move. I'll take the 200 gold. And then you crouch and you sneak and you pickpocket 200. Take it. I don't need it anyway. That's <laughs> so funny. Oh, yeah. One of my favorites has to be when they're on the boat and the guys fall in the water and then you talk to the guy in the water who just walks in the water to begin with. Then he goes, can I help you? It's like, sir, you are, like, your body is contorted and you are inside the water. Farewell. Oh, Classic. Classic. Uh, I've been super good, actually. How have you been? Ready? That's what I like to see. Dude. 
You know what? You know what we need, Matt. We need more creators like Bacon underscore. Is, is there a way we can get more of this content? Oh, he was walking too slowly. But non ironically, want to be able to lock Pichu's walk to middle to waddle in all situations. Gosh dang it, Grant. Yeah, Bacon underscore is a YouTuber. He makes videos on like Oblivion and Skyrim hilarity. And he's very entertaining. You're playing Oblivion right now? Let's freaking go. Oblivion's so good. I actually I love having this is a dumb reason, but I love having Skyrim on Switch because because I can easily get clips from it. Like, if something ridiculous happens, I have at least the last 30 seconds I can capture, which is great. And to be fair, most of those video clips are longer than 30 seconds, but still something. Okay, I almost died. I think Jens was saying he hates it on Switch. Oh, really? What's, uh, I guess I'm just ignorant. I don't know the difference. Yeah, re recording software. That's that's really smart. I should do that. What is it like the Nvidia Shadow Play or whatever? I think just the weaker hardware and all. Okay, is it just less detailed? Ow! I chomped my teeth together in a way that really hurt. Is it just graphically, or is there anything, like, gameplay-wise that's affected? I wish Xbox Game Bar didn't take the GPU. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. I guess Xbox Game Bar probably has that feature, but I always just don't let it run on startup. I just never let it run, because I just think it's bloaty and unneeded most of the time. So I always disable it. I actually completely uninstalled it with, um, Windows 10 to bloater. I hate Shadowplay. So many lost clips. I use OBS and I use Metal. Okay. Very little resources, nice. Cool. Oh, I forgot. With Puff, you don't have to rest them. All you have to do is up throw. It is like an instant kill. I think anyone here has played Super Smash Bros. Melee? Anyone here has played Melee? What do you mean, Risco Dad? Maybe me? Maybe. Is that like COD? Yeah, I love COD, man. I love seafood. It's like my favorite. I had a shrimp taco the other day. Well, I was so confused. I was like... <laughs> I was like, bruh. That's me. That's that was my uh, when my friends called me in high school. Too pure and too true. I'm actually looking forward to the all events part of the speedrun. It's one of my favorites. It's also one of the more entertaining parts of the stream to watch, I think. Or the run, I should say. Ready? Go. Don't talk about my arrowhead like that. Please. You've never played Melee, Gui? Not too late. You still play. It's a good game. I'm playing it in weird, unintended ways. Come here. Can you write a book, Grant, about how to utilize your arrowhead and call it aerodynamics, please?
the aer aerospace can be the this the follow-up novel what I missed that was insulting okay really I missed again hit me Welcome back, Kid Link. What kind of drink did you get? Ba, 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 da. The study of aerodynamics. A contemporary retrospective of aerospace. Grant, you think of this way too quickly. With no effort. You could literally be part of an improv group. Ooh, pink lemonade. Good stuff. Good stuff. Plans are a lie. Took me five years of college to figure that out. Is that right? Fox almost didn't die. Why? You could be part of an improv group easily. And you know it's true. That's why you're so against it. You hate it because it's true. What's up, turtle? Enjoy your baseball game, my friend. I'm gonna pause for no reason. My gosh, bro. Can't have volume, no problem. I will wave at you. Like I do when people are can't hear the audio. I'd be ticked out. Ticked out. For being a sarcastic A word the whole time. That's hilarious, Grant. Let me put it this way. You have the mind to be a really good improviser. But whether you whether you'd co cooperate or not, I guess is another another matter. Mewtwo is back throw, I think. No, up throw, back throw, okay. So many rules broken. Oh, okay. Nice. Hey, David, I need to go to bed, for I am getting sleepy. I hope you enjoy the rest of your stream, and I'll talk to you later. Hey, howdy. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for the lurk, saying hello. I hope you have an amazing sleep. And that, uh, you have a good day tomorrow as well. Okay, really? Die. I wonder if forward air is, is a better kill move than up throw. That that end image for Puff, I know. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow, it does not kill like I thought it would. As a kid, I was... I just love that Mewtwo would levitate and that when he would grab items, they would just kind of float in front of him. He wouldn't actually grab them. I thought that was so cool. I thought that was phenomenal. Look at that. How cool is that? Come on, that's sick. In reality, the developers were just running out of time for Dev and they couldn't animate him holding a bunch of Thing. So it was like, oh, he'll just float around him. It's fine. <laughs> Dang. I think Howdy and uh, Grant connect on another level that we can never hope to understand. Could have been a Mew. You always want to throw Pokeballs in case there's a Mew. Or a Celebi, but I'm not getting a Celebi yet. He went through the block. I'm surprised at that. I'm not saying that out loud, Grant. That's a little offensive.
Get over here, Ganondorf. Don't go for the item, please. That poor item was freaking out there. I ran into a Mewtwo two times now on Slippy and whopped me both times. Wow, really? A Mewtwo, huh? And it wasn't the same person, was it? Dang, we got the heavyweights here. Well, that bomb helped. It's sword hour. Press one in the chat if it's sword hour and you're, you're feeling like using a sword. You gotta grind that one event with all the Pokeballs from you and Celebi. That's a good idea. Unfortunately, that doesn't count. If I were to encounter a Celebi or a Mew in that event match, it wouldn't actually count, unfortunately. Can you stop, please? Thank you. Okay, Kid Link is not... Does not think it's Sword Hour. Risco Dad does think it's Sword Hour. Um, wow. I mean, now I'm just left conflicted. I thought it was Sword Hour, but maybe it wasn't. An up throw a day keeps the doctor away. I'm not reading that, Grant. Oh, was well, the same, just two separate times. Okay. It's like a Mewtwo on Slippy. That's kind of sick. Get over here, Flacco. No one's cooler than Mewtwo. Mewtwo is the definition of cool. Wow, I'm very close to the eight hour mark. I did not even realize that. That that time has flown. Well that works. I guess I have three characters left. No, I've I have two characters left. I've got Game and Watch and Marth. Game and Watch and Marth. I mean. Time wise, we're doing pretty good. And if I match my current pace, I will get world record. But it's hard to say, there's a lot of RNG factors still. I could get really unlucky, or I could get really lucky. It's hard to say. You know what's insane? I have worked a full work day on stream so far. I love that. I love that for you, Link. Will it take me less than 12 minutes to complete these final all-star matches? Love it. Worth it. This would be so fun with Game & Watch. I wonder if he always got a 9, he would just be like one of the best characters in Melee. Oh, I got another 9. Aw, oh, feels bad. Grand, I don't understand. Can you please explain why why is your comment 999? 
please explain. Now I get it. Oh, my current count. Now it all makes sense, doesn't it? That number's not moving. So I could hide it, but... Why did I do that? Why is Grant green? Did he change his name color or something? star usually takes maybe five minutes Ready? green is best i think green's an amazing color overall top tier color would recommend i like blue a little more No, I don't think it takes 20 minutes. I hope not. Is that gonna kill? Okay, sure. Top three color. Green's a good one. Green's a good one. I is your color of choice red, Risco? I'm not just basing that on your name. I feel like you just like red. But I feel like your, your choice of your, your username Color has something to do with it, too. Oh, I missed the nine. I feel like the rate of spawn items for Pokeballs is significantly higher on Pokemon Stadium. That's what I thought. You seem like a red kind of guy. You like your fire, your fire starters in Pokemon. You're a fire trainer. It's kind of your, that's kind of your thing. Get over here, you little. I just will never understand that setup ever. Wait, what? Should be faded red though. Should be green through due to. I don't actually know what you're talking about. You're talking about like the Game Boy screen? Okay, okay, that's enough. Oh my gosh. So much distortion. Yeah, it looks like it took around five minutes. So that means we'll be at a healthy pace of three minutes ahead, looks like. Hello, my dark green. It's impossible to read in dark mode. Oh, is that right? Fair enough. Game Game Boy. Only true gamers understand. Lame boy's mother. Hello, Insane Asylum? I think you mean Larry boy? Oh, I did Roy. Okay. I was I freezing there for a second. Roy was one of the, was the second one I did. Oh, 
I'm not reading that out loud, Grant. I don't think I have to tell anybody in chat that I'm not reading aloud their message as often as I've told that to Grant. Oh my gosh, why? If I see Larry Boy in here, he's dead. Why? Larry Boy's a Chad. Get over it. Stop being a, a beta male and accept Larry Boy's peak <clears throat> manlyhood. Now's the part of the show, Silly Songs with Larry, where Larry sings a silly song. That's right. Now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry sings a silly song. Ooh, satisfying tipper, gotta say. For some reason, I don't know how Tadashi Ikigami did it, but his sound effects freaking nailed it in this game. Freaking incredible. Oops. You have got to be kidding me. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, random the bombs for spawning. Ooh, the hairbrush one's classic. I think my favorite one though is probably um hmm. It's hard it's too hard to pick a favorite silly song. One time I should have said gender automated for appropriate term. Wait, really? Do vegetables even have gender like we do? Uh, Veggie Tales do. It's your job to not be sure which one Junior Asparagus was. That was your job. Just be unsure what gender Junior is for the entire duration of the series, please. Thank you. Hey, everybody's got a water buffalo. I sing it almost every time I play Age of Empires because some of the maps have water buffaloes. Wow. I love that. Everybody's got a water buffalo. Yours is fast, but mine is slow. How about the sequel, Everyone's Got a Baby Kangaroo? Yours is pink, but mine is blue. We never got to see the sequel. Dude, Marth is a slayer in single player. He is decimating. I only have three minutes left to finish this. What the frig? I feel like that's not enough time. What am I gonna do? Tipper. Here goes Zelda. Thank you, Random Barrel. Me, you, and Zaboomafu. They call me Veggie Gale. Don't like that. David, do you trust me? Matt and I have a plan. Um, I'm scared, but I'm willing to hear you out, and I do trust you, but I am scared. Don't do it, David. <laughs> okay, I hate to say it, Grant, because you're you're actually I would consider you a good friend of mine. But when it comes to Esther asking me if I trust her and you insisting that I quote unquote not do it, I'm gonna have to listen to Esther on this one. I'm sorry. I hope you understand. Really? Well, okay. If you got a plan, I'll see you soon, Essie. My next break's coming up, so I'll probably eat something uh, in the next minute or so. Ready, 
Or Astro, if you need me to, I could delay the 15 minute. But I need to know, like, right now, if I need to delay it. Actually, no, I couldn't delay it. Not, well, I could, but I couldn't. It's your funeral, man. Grew too. You're a dead man walking. No, go eat? Okay. Don't delay it. Okay. Uh, why don't you have, like, just a bag of beef jerky next to you? Well, because I wasn't planning on going for longer than eight hours. Dude, down to the wire. Forty-five minutes ahead. Okay. Oh, wait, not training. So now I'll get my break. If I can pull this trick off. What was the one video from Ultimate Release at Best Buy? And we have Joy-Cons for- what? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you sick puppies. I'll probably be back again. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Grant. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm- I'm at least doing another hour before I know for sure. You trust me, I don't have a plan. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't know that was how you do the glitch. Yeah, it's one way to do it. Is it snack time? It's snack time. <gasps> yes. I love that, Matt. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm going to eat. I'm going to go to the bathroom and, yeah. Enjoy uh, watching Master Hand get pummeled by these uh, male and female wireframes. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit.
but on my controller fell down because it rumbled off the table. It's not very epic style. This is where I see the appeal of wireless headphones. Yep, the controller fell from the rumble. That's exactly what happened. Oh, I miss you too, Essie. Thanks for the really important announcement. You can do this, Master Hand. <laughs> All right. Good night, Gui. If only we had still had chance. Esther, me, Master Hand, my haters, why? <laughs> That's a good one too, Matt. I like that. We got applesauce. We got. We got uh, almonds. When Twitch had chance. Yeah, thank you, Anthony, for the insane asylum emote. I don't remember that. Ugh. Wow, Master Hand kind of sucks. He only has four kills. I mean, he is surviving, though, so that's the only part that matters. I'm going to switch my other shirt. You know, I realized that kind of sucks. Um, I can't get coins for this because I forgot to use three third player to the master hand glitch. If I picked the uh, third player, I could do some coins, but not only can I not do any attacks right now, uh, I can't control them. So, I mean, it'll still end and give me the, the trophy, but. Yeah. In fact, I would soft lock the game. I could possibly soft lock the game if I hadn't already had Falco unlocked. Um, you don't save 50 minutes here, Matt. Uh, but I don't have to do anything. But I can do things. Technically, because, like, player three is the only controller that can control Master Hand, right? So, if I was smart and not a moron, I could have gotten coins here if I used the right controller. But I used player one, not player three. Oh, yeah. This is 50-minute melee, so the timer runs out. And you survive. It's, to be honest, a completely brutal mode. And I have no idea what how Laboratory was smoking. But I thought this was a good idea. Not surprisingly, it has not appeared in any subsequent Smash games. I would, Matt, yes. If I was being optimal. But I think taking some time to eat is more important at this stage. Because I also don't know. Like, if I commit to getting coins, I'm going to get the rest of the coins, right? And I don't know if I'm going to commit to that yet.
got my water refilled. I've got my chips. So see, like, I've used up almost all these 15 minutes just by taking a break and eating, so, like... Next part of the run is one of my favorites. Wow. Astro, I got some of your messages. That's really sweet. I happily do that for you. Matt, I can't wait to watch those bacon videos. I'm very excited. chip crease off my hands real fast. <sighs> that wireframe loves that beam sword. As pretty as a wireframe with a wand someday. Esther, you're far prettier. Um, but I have to agree with you. I like the elegance. I certainly admire the elegance of the the wireframe using a star rod. <clears throat> okay. 
Still going, Buster. We are at the event match part of the run. Which is one of my favorites. And one of the more exciting parts, I'd say. Mo definitely the most variety filled section, I say. No, wait. Ready? Go. Oh my gosh. Number four. I had such a hard time doing this speed run. Every little second, the timeless would kill me. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, exactly. It's so unoptimized. You don't have to really worry about that. You can, you can lose some minutes and be like, that's all right. And plus, I mean, this is my first time. Like, whatever. Let's see how far I get. Wow, I got 200 on the dot. Oh my gosh. Why? Love to see it. <clears throat> good. That was good. I have shield of the freaking Porygon too. By the way, I keep looking over here because I have notes for each one of these. I like to refresh my memory. This is, by the way, this is a lot harder than it looks when you can't use C stick. Just a little reminder. I mean, I'm, I'm bad. That's fine. I can admit that I'm bad. But just remember that I did not want this. Oh, I miss. Rip. 
Oh my gosh. No. Okay. That works. I forgot. <clears throat> I also forget that with Smash 64, no C stick. Yep, no C stick. That's right. Hey, JJ Slider, welcome back. I do not speak any other languages, no. I am a mono language only scrub, unfortunately. Monolingual, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah, I speak fluid freak. Same, actually. Well, I feel a lot better about myself now. Thank you, JJ. Cringe ease. I am the grandfather of cringe ease. Not the father of cringe ease, the grandfather. Bye bye, Bowsy. There are 290 trophies to collect. There are 223 total, 293 total, um, but only 290 collectible without hacks. Emery Martin, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? How are you? You were playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. That's fun. How was that? How was Let's Go Eevee? Cringy sounds like a new <clears throat> stuffed animal franchise. True. True. It really does. No, Kid Link, no, you're supposed to welcome them in. You're not supposed to fight them off, bro. Oh, it's a peace. It's, it's fine. It's not a normal raid. It's a peace and love raid, so we're fine. No worries. We got the raid emotes. That's right. Do not. Do not. Come here. Come here, guys. If it breaks the egg, I'm screwed. Was good got the second badge hey nice that's fun i have a beard and a mustache yeah i guess it's been a while since you've seen me i, I do yeah oh boy Okay, that's a ledge, excuse me.
Oh my gosh. I could have been me dead. Like, you just push me off and kill me. What exactly am I doing? Yes, eight hours. This whole run is technically 20 hours. I don't know if I'll be doing the whole thing or not. But my goal here is to get every trophy in this game. And that's a usually takes months or years. Um, but we found routes that let you do it within 24 hours. So that's what I'm doing. That is the speedrun category. It is absurd. Oh, yes, Josh. You did not. How is your 10-hour work shift? Okay. Hopefully it was good. Okay. Hmm. I missed again. Sorry if I'm not getting your questions right away. I'm trying to focus. This is the more uh, intense part of the run, I'd say. Or a more intense part of it. Thank you, Samus. Thank you. Oh, gosh. I'm not doing very well. I'm good on this one right now. Missed. Yep, I know you like your gun there, Samus. I missed again. My goodness. Okay, that was rude. That should kill. Yeah, there we go. It was good, mostly. I'm glad to hear that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I did not mean to do that. Mini puff is my new favorite sound. Oh, the high pitched puff. Can't go wrong there. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. But I'm enjoying it so far. I didn't know that I'd commit to the full run. But like I'm 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 kind of like more open to that idea now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come back here. Come on, Kirby. You know you want to. Alright. That could have been bad. Dude, this one's tough. And, and a lot of these get a lot harder. Especially in like the, the, 40, the 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 range. Oh, I missed. Yeah. It's a very long run, yes. And I was only expecting to go around nine hours or so, but... Oh boy, see if I can do this right. Yes! Pog. Yes, I just had my 50-minute break built in. But not a whole lot of other breaks. Okay, that was almost flawless. Love that. Peach, please don't die. Oh yeah, please sleep. Please sleep, Bowser. Keep sleeping. Okay, this is amazing. That was really helpful RNG. Oh, not Caesar. That's not good. Shoot. Man, I thought it was going so well for me. That was a good one.
Okay, that was merciful. Oh no. Brick. That was lucky. Okay, Bowser? <laughs> Gosh, dude. That was insane. Uh, the run's going good. Um, yeah, Peach is so helpful. Yeah, the whole thing is you're supposed to just be protecting her. Oops. Um, runs good overall. I made a kind of a lame mistake in the beginning, but... No, up throw. Oh my gosh, David, what's wrong with you? I'm gonna do an up throw there, which usually kills instantly, and I miss. That's what I was trying to do. Um, there's really only one break routed, and that's the 15 minute one we passed. Some of the stuff that's um, later on in the run is a little bit uh, like more monotonous, and like you can do it with not a ton of effort. So, so kind of like some quasi breaks, but not like a ton of like formal breaks. I missed. Oh, it obstructed my view right at the worst time. That didn't kill. All right, that's what you did. Got to eat while you play. Uh, no, there, I, I had a bathroom break earlier. That I just wasted a little bit of time on. It wasn't a big deal. How to, bruh? This is embarrassing. There we go. Twenty-one. Doesn't matter how much I love a game. Twenty hours never kill me, dude. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm only going to hopefully do it one time. You're not surviving that. Sorry, Nana. Oh, gosh. Popo's going to die. No! Stupid forward air. You can imagine staying properly hydrated during that. Well. Got plenty of water. Doing okay so far. Not me to kill Popo. This is a Pikachu one, I believe. This event matches a reference to Super Mario 128, the tech demo that eventually became Pikmin. The GameCube tech demo in like E3 2000 or whatever it was, Space World 2000 maybe.
Also Galaxy, that's correct. No C-Stick, JJ, that's correct. Because Vanilla Melee does not allow you to use C-Stick for, like, aerials or anything in single-player modes. So this is all A. You hated that as a kid? As a kid, I never used C-Stick for anything, so it didn't bother me at all. And then when I got into competitive, I realized the utility of C-Stick for aerials, and I was like, dude, now I really miss that. Yeah, this is what it does. It zooms in the camera. It was so clearly an afterthought, and they thought, well, for multiplayer, we can't do that. So let's just, I guess, make it a macro for smash attacks. Perfect. And now people rely on it a lot. And it cracks me up. Because I know I rely on it too. But when I was a kid, I never touched C-Stick. Because in Smash 64, there just was no C-Stick, right? There was no equivalent thereof for anything. So you just... You didn't do directional stuff in the air like that, you know? that way. You guys are avoiding me. Stupid ceiling, man. There we go. Not bad. 25. Oh, this one's really hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're for your little brothers where you put the single player gecko code for C. That's freaking hilarious, dude. Come on, go off the cliff, bro. Dog got it. As UCF, nice. Hey, I'm glad you're, that's there for your brother. Godzilla versus King Kong, that's it. That's what it's a reference to. Darn, he survived. How? Oh, I, he was going to die, and then I made him survive. I saved him. Dude, this is so hard. Being this large is already an encumber encumbering thing. Gosh dang it. Oh, this one's really tough. Oh, so hard to control. And the jump squat is like an eternity. Yes, yes. He missed. 
Yes! No! Ah, uh, he usually kills himself when he does that. Gosh dang it! I'm losing so much time on this one. Ugh, I hate this one. Okay, miracle. Yes, that is what's supposed to happen. Yes. Ugh. It is DK. I think he's supposed to die in two seconds, dude. Actually, more accurately, six seconds. They're gonna avoid me now. This is a mistake. I want to see the erratic CPU behavior. Cause they like to huddle around there, but if I have a star, they avoid me, so I don't know what to do. Excuse me, Peach just pulled up a bomb. Oh boy, here we go. Guys, why are you going over there? Thank you for the follow, Kino. I appreciate it. Welcome. How are you? Die Peach. No. What's she doing? That was rough, but I got through it. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, very fun. Hopefully you're enjoying that. What's your who's your in your party? Who's your who's your starter? Oh my goodness. Who's your starter? Come on. Ugh, he hasn't died once yet. Well, that works. Being invisible is not helpful right now, actually. <laughs> it rarely is, but... Yeah! We did it! Oh, Eevee, obviously. Eevee was your starter. Man. I'm sure that took a rocket scientist to figure out. The are you new reward? I mean, you can if you want. You have the points. That works. Hmm. 
Oh gosh, Triforce Gathering. Bum, 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 ba -da bum. Feel old watching you play this game? I played it when I was a kid? Yeah, I played it when I was a kid too. I'm currently trying to speed run it. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, Asuka. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This Ganon won't die. Thank you. Well, thanks, Zelda, for dying. Thanks, Asuka. I appreciate it. Bro, relax on jabbing Zelda. No! Ah, oh, I dipped through the floor before I did that. Watch out for the bomb. Okay. Do not grab the star. Whatever you do. Oh, is that warp? Is a warp star? Okay. Die. Yes. Yes. Okay, I think I'm still puff for this one. Oh, I missed. Oh my gosh. What sucks is my Superman hearing... Wait, what? Hearing the old songs in this game? Dude. I love this game soundtrack. It's incredible. This is a great one, too. I love Honest. Frick. Don't kill me. Yeah, it worked out. Yes. My Superman hearing the old songs in this game. No, I want to know what you meant. Oh, frick. Calm down, Ice Climbers. Goodness. Oh, I missed! Dang it! No! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Oh my gosh! No! No! Wrong grab! Wrong grab! Wrong grab! Dip! 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 Oh my gosh! It's freaking Popo. Almost killed me. I mean, he did... He did kill me. 31 is Puff again. Throw on the left side. That's right. This is a fun exploit. Oh, great. Now they're going to avoid me the whole time. Frick! What's the exploit? I think it's over here. <laughs> Great. Well, there is an exploit uh, where I can stand here and they don't touch me, but uh. Goodness, dude. 
Should not be this much of a struggle. Thanks for the lurk, Josh. It's tiring to say. What sucks is my Super Smash Bros. Melee does not work. Oh, I see. As bad as scratches? Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. Don't like that. Should you even get it buffed and fixed? Please die. Oh, gosh. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> Please die. Yes. Run into my mind, you idiot. <laughs> oh, you tried. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't want to pick that up. Yeah. 33. No. Freak. I messed up my rhythm. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, just buy a new copy, I guess. Um, they're relatively expensive, but you can find ones for not that bad on OfferUp. Goodness, I almost died again. Smash 4 player. How's it going, Brian? Tried playing competitive melee for the first time? Oh, seven years is tough. Can I tell you, sheesh? Oh, yeah? Dude, isn't it way better? Oh my gosh. Get over here, Link. Yes! Flawless, let's go! Ooh, this one's... T talk about tough. This one's one of the most tough ones. Hey, how's it going? Gosh dang it. I'm on the wrong... That kind of worked. I, I'll, I'll roll with it. Excuse me? I'll just try to defeat him normally. Not the cool way. Die. Yay. Awesome. Well, Brian, I'm glad you're playing uh, Melee. That's freaking awesome. Melee is so much more satisfying to play than Smash 4. I think you'll find. Smash 4 is super slow. 
But, it depends on what you like in the game. I like speed, personally, and responsiveness. In fact, responsiveness is even more important to me than speed. In Smash 4, actually, Ultimate is the least responsive Smash game, and, Ult and Smash 4 is one of the slowest in terms of responsiveness, too. So, I have a hard time playing those games. Come here, you. Yeah, I'm sure it's a massive change. It, you're saying it's difficult. Hmm. Yeah, I, Melee's probably a more tough game to play than um, other Smash games. But I think you'll find it's like super worth it. Hey, Regal Posture, welcome back. Dang it. Oh gosh, I don't think I'm gonna survive because I get jabbed too many times by Falcon. I can grab the ledge. Oh, it didn't matter. Please die. Oh my gosh. Gosh dang it. No! Dang it! <laughs> I was afraid that would happen. smart oh my word i do a down air that like just meteor smashes them but oh my gosh oh my gosh crap come here wait why do you air dodge what Why'd he do that? Why'd he do that, though? Alright. I'm curious, Brian. What about melee was harder for you? Like, specifically. Yes. Get cheesed. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh, the buffer system. Oh, dude, you are. You, I think you're trying to press my buttons right now. I despise buffer in Ultimate and, and uh, those games, dude. It's so disruptive. It's the one thing that makes the game super. Well, one thing. It's one of the things that makes the game super unresponsive. But it's even worse in Ultimate. Dude. Okay, good. <laughs> Woo! In Smash 4, I could just smash buttons. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I guess that's true. Um, Samus. I don't know if this is the best strap. I'll try it. Yeah, in Melee, I mean, it rewards more um, precise inputs. And that's one reason I find it so rewarding to play. Okay, I don't want to be in the middle of a slapping match here.
Oh man, invincibility frame. Don't forget how savage Mario and- oh my gosh, don't get that. That was close. I didn't want that either though, because then he'd just be avoiding me the whole time. Make the game go longer. Oh my gosh. Get over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, this one I just up throw. And that kills him. Come here. Okay. Meant you, but that's fine. What's that website? I've not heard of that. What's Wab... Wabzits? That should be it. No, there's one more. Stock. Oh, okay, I'll take one. Come here, you. Oh, websites. Yeah, try um, try offer up. Oh, no problem. Can you try offer up. I think offer up will give you some good options. Offer up or um, eBay. That kills. Oh, no problem. I just want to make sure I understand you, because I didn't know what you meant at first. Ooh. I should kill? Yeah. Oh, tricky little... Oh, that was hitting me. Nice. Oh my word. I have way more damage than she does. Goodness. As long as I don't lose a life there, I guess. Alright, Muji, what you got? Game and watch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, make use of those iframes. All right. Um. Oh boy. Come here. Whoops.
Come here. That's not gonna kill. Oh, it did kill. Yes. Yes. Alright. This one should be pretty easy. Yeah. Right now the best place to find was Amazon for $43. Okay. Alright. That's not bad. Definitely keep looking. But, I mean, $43 is pretty good. As long as it's in good condition. It's um, 1.02. You want that version of Melee for sure. Come here. Good. That's what Omega says in uh, Sonic Heroes when you when you collect an item. Good. Oh, we're supposed to shield it. Stop! That's one thing I really don't don't like about CPU behavior is I hate how they like jab, 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 jab. No one does that, and it's like freaking annoying to deal with when you're not used to it. No! Ah! Shoot. That's alright. Okay. Dude, go below the platform, please. No! Ah! Shoot! Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to do very... I think I might lose time. That's oh, hard to say. That's making you... I think that's too much damage. I think I'm going to kill Zelda by accident. Can you please stop jabbing? This is so frustrating. I need like a foolproof, me a foolproof method to do this part. I guess if I'm at my distance and she's Zelda, we'll just keep doing that. Dude, oh, that almost worked. Dude, stop! Freaking Zelda. Ah! Die, Mewtwo. Freaking die. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Ah, This is the worst. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's death by jab. Every time. And then a random smash attack. Yeah. 
frickin' A. Okay, that didn't kill me. Yeah. <sighs> it's fine. I'm spending a lot of time on this one, but it's fine. $67? Yeah. It seems like Amazon or... You could try Facebook Marketplace, too. Dude, how? Don't die from that. Die, Mewtwo, die, die. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, um, we only don't struggle this badly on this one, but uh, I guess uh, today we're doing that. Oh yeah, internet's awesome. I might just need a different strategy. All right. Frick. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I love it when that freaking happens. Do not get the Pokeball. Are you freaking... You can just do up smash with that usually solves it, but it's not even dying. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can do this one. Ready? Okay. Goodness. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Come here. Well, that works. Whew. That was actually pretty good.
Well. I can't tell if this is a good combination or a bad combination, to be honest. <laughs> yep, the classic stage. Boy, I don't know about this. I can't tell if this is a good combination or a bad combination of characters. I should might just restart to RNG it. Well, thank you for killing DK Ganondorf. I might die though. I get I could get I get Gandorf to just grab DK over and over. Don't die, don't die, don't die. No. Gosh dang it. This might be a good combination if I can survive. Freaking Gandorf hits way too hard. Oh no. No. I knew that would kill me. I hit a single person. I've rested three times. And I can't hit anybody. I think I'll survive this one. I might have to get different characters. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That reached? Die. Yes! Yes! Alright, so Facebook's in the running. Ooh, this one's really specific. It's a really specific technique. I like the ones that are kind of specific. It's, it's fun to, like, retry them. Oh, I got one of them. That works. Kind of sloppy, but it worked out. <laughs> this is a tougher one. Whoops. Ah, uh, I have to go backwards. Come here. There you go. Most the world's most evasive Falco. <laughs> that works. All right, Pichu gives me trouble. Pikachu and Pichu always give me trouble in this game in one player for some reason. Didn't miss. PG is really hard to hit with that rest sometimes.
Who's gonna die first? Yes! Yes! Yeah, it was awesome. Perfect. That was good. Oh, what? He grabbed me. Frick. I didn't even notice. Yes, under a minute too. Not bad. Okay, so I'm like eight eight minutes. Eight, I've got about eight minutes to do this. Yeah, this might be this might be world record pace. I'm not sure, Donnie. I might. Oh no. Oh wow, that was so lucky. We'll see. He's on his way? Really? Wow, okay. That's awesome. What's funny is with in this mode, you can always make Gandorf up B. Like that's the one predictable thing you can do. I love trying to rest an invisible Giga Bowser. Oh wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was nice. Thank you, Ganondorf. <laughs> okay. We take those. Is that the third mine? Is that the third mine he's run on to this? Alright, I think I'm gonna try it. Uh 100 coin battles. Um So one minute coin. Handicap on, damage ratio two. Wait. Oh no, that's right. I don't have the Birdo trophy yet, so frick. I might have to... Okay. This is where I might cheese to get the Birdo Trophy. Yeah, I know. Just tells you how much more there is for optimization. So I'll pull the memory card out and reset if I can. 
if I can't get Birdo. I'll just keep doing that until I get Birdo. I think that's the smartest move. Oh wait, saving. Oh, dang it. It's saved. I, I didn't take the memory card out. Whoops. Okay. This is a problem. This is a problem. Um, Frick. Frick. I messed up. Because I haven't done this in a while. Um, so the problem is, I need the Burrito Trophy right now in the run. So I think I may have just screwed myself over in that second of not thinking. Because... Shoot, shoot, shoot. I think I may have just drew myself over in that very moment. Um, because... Ooh, yeah, that's not good. I need to try to get as much mini coins as I can because... Well, you know what, no. Dude, this sucks. This really, really, really sucks. Um, may have just screwed myself over. Because, um, there is a memory card slide. What are you talking about? Um, because I need to have random stage select on. And if I don't have random stage select on... Dude, I screwed myself over just now. Big time. Big time. Big time. Well... Shoot. I guess I can try to do another part of the thing early. Hmm. You try to hunt for them. Hmm. There is no surefire way to get Birdo. The only way to get Birdo is through the lottery. A random encounter in one player mode. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. So the problem is, yeah, I absolutely need... For my strat to work, I absolutely need Birdo. Darn. Yeah, I think I screwed myself over in that single moment. Well, what you gonna do? This was supposed to be a practice stream anyways. Hmm. Well, oh, I didn't mean to have five lives, oh well. Well, that freaking sucks. Um, can you get enough coins to play Lotto? I only have one coin, so I have to reset. That wouldn't be very time efficient. Um, yeah, I think I just cost myself the run by spending all those coins without removing the memory card first. That is a shame. That's a big shame. Nine hours into the run, and I screwed myself over. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to continue because I want to spend the one coin I have. Hmm. <laughs> How can I get around this? Yeah, I think pretty definitively I'm going to say no, I'm not going to do the run because unless a Birdo trophy shows up this minute or in like the next two minutes, it's not worth it. And the chance of a Birdo trophy showing up is... Not high. Oh, gosh. 
Thank you, Mushroom, for falling on me. I think, uh, that's delicious, thank you. Yeah. I need to screw myself over again. No! <laughs> I spent the one coin I had, yeah. I hit A rapidly and I spent the coin. Well... I'm sorry, did you think I was locked out? Yeah. No, I have a house key. I, 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 I couldn't do it if it was mad or if you're it was good. you or... You're good. Yeah. I sorry about tell. that. That's okay. That's alright. GG's indeed. Is it really GG just because of Bruno? Yes. Really? Yes. If I if I somehow get it in the next like three minutes, which is like a one in hundred chance or something, it's worth it. But otherwise, it's probably not worth it. I'm more certain to spawn in Mushroom Kingdom than in the in any other area. This is the fastest because uh, I can repeat it the fastest. But because when Puff uh, breaks her shield, she dies. And I hit, I'm supposed to hit continue no over and over, but I mashed A. Man. That's alright. I'll figure it out. Let's see. I'm at 9. Yeah, I don't know if... You could always take time in other areas. You never know, huh? RNG. No, this is the fastest way to get to mine. No, I mean, if, like, let's say this goes over the three minutes you have to spend right now. Yeah. Could you not gain that back in other areas, essentially? Maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. Um, I can still try it. Still try it. What a bummer. That's really yummy. Did you get uh, Taco Bell? <laughs> oh, is the bird gonna come out of one of your heads? So technically, I guess what I'm doing is a little early. And this might save some time, but... Continue. I'm slowly getting coins by doing this, but like... I think you're so deep in. Yeah? Even if you spend another 10 minutes doing this, there's always potential you can save it in some other crazy area. I guess you're right. That's technically true. I'm doing this part effectively early, it's just out of order. So it'll be awkward to track it, but I guess theoretically that's true. It just hurts because I know I had a much better method yeah. that I just squandered in like 30 Man. seconds. Just yeah. by clicking. I just didn't remove a memory card. If I removed a so memory card... Then you could have reused those coins. Yeah, too. and I could have okay, reused them infinitely, yeah. And I had like 50 or something like that. Yikes. Yeah. Which, I mean, I used them, but not in an efficient way, so... I don't think I need another Chikorita trophy, but you never know. Never know. Imagine Taco Bell still calling yourself my friend. What oh. are you gonna do? Epic attack me? No, he was saying supporting Taco Bell and still calling you. You know this. Anthony, like, you're not gonna go buy Taco Bell someday. <laughs> don't greater than now, me, young man. <laughs> How was the drive? Fine. Good. Yeah. I have no idea when Matt's gonna get here. He said he left an hour ago, but. Okay. <laughs> okay. Continue. See, so, yeah, I feel bad that Matt's coming all this way. Do you guys have, like, something planned? Okay. Choose your 
Oh, gosh, I don't know if this is worth it or not. I guess it is. But what sucks is I can't do the 100 coin part yet until I get this freaking Birdo trophy. In a decade. I feel like Cutie Cinderella and you're Ludwig. Is that what you feel like? Yeah. <laughs> Anthony says he might get Taco Bell in like a decade. That's what you think until you desperately crave the, the Baja Freeze. <laughs> You crave the mush that is the meat. The mush. Yeah. Cause like I am getting trophies right now, but like. Yeah. I could have been doing it a lot faster. Everybody light a candle for the Birdo trophy to show, please. <laughs> the Birdo candle. Yeah. here through this or do you just sing along because you know mm -hmm. that's awesome i guess i have a chance for a mew encounter still wow just destroy the whole mushroom kingdom sees or goodness i know another starman trophy peppy Okay. Actually, if the Yoshi gets that, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. um, I need to talk to you Welcome back, Josh. Hey, Josh. Welcome back, Ol. I think I may have just uh, ruined the run. <laughs> Way to go, Josh. No. Oh. I told myself that if Josh came back to the chat, I would uh, forfeit the run. Just kidding. Continue. No, I spent a bunch of coins, and I forgot that it saves after every trophy you get, and I had the memory card still, and I thought when I backed out it would save, but I didn't need to remove it before I spent them. So... The thing is, because when I, when I practiced, I got the Birdo Trophy randomly, so I didn't like really consciously yeah. think about it. Yeah. So... It's tough to Birdo plan for RNG. Make it or break it in all of your runs. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, oh. Stupid thing for a stupid character, am I right? I like Birdo. Yeah. Okay. This, even even right now, that's saying something. That is. Would you like a bite of a burrito? I'm okay, actually. Okay. Thank you. Not surprising, but okay. Yeah. All right. I love doing that side B jump. Yeah, if you angle it on a on a Koopa, you fly in the air, it's awesome. Oh, exactly, yeah. Yes. Well. Oh, I have a certain number of trophies. Nice. Hmm. Like the 100 coin battles in mm -hmm. the next section is where I can just press one button over and over pretty much. But you need to have random stage to do it? Yeah. Why is that? Because I want to go to a certain stage over and over again um, without having to pick it. Because mm. it's the only way I get a certain number of kills with a certain number of specific characters I've selected. And I could theoretically pick the stage every time and be a little bit slower, but one, I'd be losing time. And two, I couldn't do my method where I hold the controller so it always totally. holds down and up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. 
That is the only problem with that. Damn, what a shame. Yeah, right? You see, this is why I did the practice wrong. I mm -hmm. figured it'd be something like this. Mm-hmm. So. You don't easily forget something that ruins the run. No, you don't. I will never be forgetting that. In fact, I might just be resetting for a memory card for a new Birdo every time now. Even though it's kind of ter tedious. It adds to the story <laughs> of the video. It does. It adds. It adds. Actually, that's a uh, good giant trophy. Oh, okay. He looks like a star man, though. He's very tall and is lanky, but he's yellow instead of gray. Gunshin the giant, or, or Gunji the giant, or something like that. <laughs> Sorry. Ja Japanese only game. So it can't be family friendly. Like Ridley? I think I really, do you even yeah. have like a mental list of what you do in your house? Sort of, but you can't really keep track of them. Mm -hmm. It's just like main ones that mean something that I remember. Because a lot of them are RNG, some of them only you can get in one player mode, some only get in lottery, okay. so. Like I got a Yumi Tachibana trophy, and that's the only one you can get in one player mode, so that's mm -hmm. notable. I went to Baja. I went to Baja Blast. I went to Taco Bell somewhat recently, and they didn't have any Baja Blast. No. What's the point of being open? Yeah, I agree. I blame Anthony. Right. Quality's gone down ever since he's left the place. <laughs> Probably didn't go that recently, but. Two hours. Maybe two? Yeah. Holy. Yeah. Because there's a chance of tapping. That's right. Of right. yeah. view. Of view encounter. Exactly. View. Yo, thank you for the raid, JJ. How is your stream? Thanks so much for being here. I think you've arrived just as I have ruined the run. So perfect timing. Uh, good to have you here. We can all uh, hold a funeral for the Birdo trophy, which I did not obtain. How's it going, Swaggy Dasher? Good to have you. Or, on the flip side, maybe your raid brings the good luck of summoning the Birdo Trophy. You can't make that up, but at least you didn't forget Link. True, you're, dude, you were 100% correct. You were 100% correct, I didn't forget Link. That would've been ruined a lot sooner. So that's, yeah, excellent point. <laughs> they don't. Oops! I actually didn't mean to grab that. They usually don't grab these. The hammer? Yeah. So considered level one dum dums. Oh, Polly World. Let's go. Is there an easy way to see how many trophies you have right now? Not unless I go into the trophy gallery. Yeah. Um. Yeah, JJ. I I entertained it, and then Matt and Esther got excited, and then I got excited, and then. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> So it, it, it's it's a possibility still, um, but I don't know about the world record anymore at this point because I wasted like ten minutes on this. Um, and yes, I'm. This is technically something I do later in the run, um, but it's not. It doesn't work exactly like that, um, unfortunately. So we'll just see what happens. We'll see what the what the future brings. If I get up to like ten coins or something, maybe I'll. Reset. I'll try the coin method, but it's gonna be slow, like very slow. So that's why I don't think it's gonna be world record anymore. Oh my gosh, if I get another mini mushroom. How was your stream, JJ? How does it feel to watch my stream, begin a stream of your own, end a stream, raid my stream, and have my stream still go on? How does that feel? <laughs> Oh, awesome. Charles won. Let's go, Charles. That's awesome. Dude, Mario Kart's so fun. Um, did you play VS? Did you do um, 
racing? What kind of games did you play? Continue. Game over. Yeah, we're getting pretty near 10 coins, I guess. I had a scary thought. Yeah. I had the whole window open earlier to get fresh cold air and it was nice. I thought, what if the neighbor opens his door right now? Oh, good call. So I just kind of made it smaller just you in case. You can always leave the door open and um, do the patio. Like leave this door open. Oh, the back one. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It's true. I think I already had the month. Excite truck or whatever it's called. <laughs> What's the likelihood of a trophy coming out of a Goomba? I don't know. I don't know the exact figure. Is that but even worth it? Yeah. Yeah? Because every time it, it runs a seed for... Why was it? It runs a seed for uh, a trophy spawning. Because oh. there's also lots of different places in this map where trophies can potentially spawn randomly. There might even be a more efficient way to do this, but um, where I've seen, I that's the most efficient. Hey, what is up, Speed? How's it going, dude? 50, 10, 200 battle. Oh, so it was like a, it was like a marathon. Was, what's the word for it? The, 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 the one where you do swimming and then running and then, triathlon. yeah, triathlon. It's like a triathlon of Mario Kart. I like that. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate the lurk. A oh, balloon fighter? I don't think I have that one yet. Can you imagine doing all of this and then realizing the only one you're missing is Birdo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's possible. But unlikely. So I can unlock Birdo either by first player or one player mode or something, or I can do it in the lottery. I squandered my first chance of getting it probably the fastest I could. So we're gonna try the second fastest. No. The funny thing too is if a CPU grabs a Pokeball and Mew comes out, it doesn't count as me getting it. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's why I've got controllers plugged in, so everyone's a human when I do V S. Oh, that's very smart. Yeah. That's really nice. Thank you. you. I'm okay. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the run go. The run went really, really solidly up until about 15 minutes ago, where I foolishly spent coins too rapidly. And to be fair, I don't think I would have thought of the strat until it Anthony to bring it up. So smart. Probably when I was a kid, but not recently. No? See, a trophy just came out. Um, I always loved this as a kid. It's my favorite area because um, it was like right after I played Mario 64 and all that. I'm like, oh, look how realistic it could have looked. Uh, it's got it's got some liminal vibes. Mm -hmm, it does. Yeah. yeah. It, and then later you, realize, you recognize that as the rust quality of the game's development. Like if you look at Toad's animation, it's super janky. I want to look at it. Like he, he's a kind of a background guy, so you don't really notice him. Yeah, yeah I hope so, sweet. <laughs> yeah, just empty. I love when I squash two two heads at the same time. It's a rarity. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? 
Every once in a while you get a metronome that makes the whole screen black. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the one in, like, that... Oh, that can be bad. This is not even a problem right now, but... I've never seen that happen. I was like, oh no, is the CRT dying? No, no. Yeah, my CRT is broken, but except for the HUD. The HUD was fine, but the rest of the CRT you know, is broken. You don't really think about those things in that moment. Oh, totally. It does, it's not natural for the whole and screen I also to go black. Saw it on that, so I was like, oh my gosh, everything's dying! <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, honestly, the likelihood of me salvaging it is super unclear. It's all un uncharted territory. I don't know if Matt's controller is going to work to salvage it. I don't know. You know. It's really hard to say. I don't know how much time I'm saving by doing this ahead of time instead of later in the run. Because you usually do this at the end to get the remaining trophies, not in the be beginning. Because I'll be getting something like 900 or 800 coins later to spend. So this is something that you, you don't do in the beginning because, yeah. Although I'm trying to think of how long I spent last time doing this. Maybe like half an hour. Really? Just looking for Birdo? Not Burrito specifically, just the remainder trophies I didn't have. Because I ran out of coins, and it, it's, it's faster to do this than to grind for coins. Really? Yeah. Well, because grinding for coins takes a freaking long time. Huh? Yeah. So I'm mashing buttons on a box controller for roughly two and a half hours, let's say. And that gets me 800 coins if I do it for two hours. Okay. Janky Toad animation. See, speed was confused too. <laughs> Continue. Game over. Mm. Yeah, I think 10 might be a good number to try, but it's gonna be so tedious. It's gonna be, I, I might not even be worth it. I don't know, it's hard to, yeah. hard to know, yeah. Ready? It's hard to know if I should just keep doing this or. Bounce. When I said, oh no, yeah. Yeah! The double Jeopardy already had this going on. It's one of those things where, like, you never want to even think you already have a trophy and then not get it. Because, like, if it was the one that you were missing somehow. <laughs> okay, hi, Raikou. Don't mind the legendary dog that just showed up. I never knew they were dogs. Yeah, I didn't either until... I always thought it was a lion. They look a lot more like lions. Yeah. I agree. Especially, um, Entei. 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 The, the Entei. fiery boy? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the main one in, yeah. the, in the show that I love. Yeah, I think he was the main character in the third movie or something. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. And then none of the other dogs were mentioned for some reason. It's, it's funny how the anime would do its own thing. Like, Lugia could talk, and Slow King talked. It's like, what? Okay. If you want, Esther, you can have a seat. If you prefer to sit. Oh, I'm sitting on the floor, and I'm doing fine. All right. Thank you. Nobody's going to worry about me. I'm fully aware that this is the thing you're doing. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Hi, Haim. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Welcome in. I should have a disclaimer that says don't try this at home. What trophy am I trying to get? The Birdo trophy. It is a um, sprite. It's a sprite based trophy. That is pink Birdo trophy. And I will unlock a stage by collecting it. It is the only RNG based stage unlock in the entire game. Suicune got some movie time. Oh, that's right. Suicune was in the Celebi movie. I forgot about that. I actually really like the Celebi movie. I also like the Jirachi movie. Continue. Game over. Nine coins. <laughs> My arbitrary 10 coin limit. 
We'll see what happens. Because I'm supposed to be well into my 100 coin battles by now. Well into it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because uh, every coin battle is one minute. You're supposed to be 31 minutes into it. Yeah, exactly. And again, I, I spend time at the end doing this, so it's not like it's completely a waste of time. I yeah. am getting trophies, but it's definitely like a little concerning because it's not. Who knows if you would have needed to do this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially with my new strat with with a box controller. There's a swamp up there. Too. There is, yeah. It's a swampy boy. Or is it a womp? No, oh, a thwomp. oh, I think it's a swamp. I think it's a swamp. Deadlock Mushroom Kingdom 2? Exactly, yes. Exactly. Good memory. Unless you looked it up, which also props. There was a mini series for TV movie thing? Oh, really? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So Raikou gets re redeemed. Meanwhile, the three legendary birds and Lugia were in the second movie. I, I was like, what? Was <laughs> They're not connected. Hmm. Okay. Oh! That's the Birdo trophy. Let's go! Um. <laughs> Viable? We'll find out. Let's see. Continue. Game over. It says I got the... Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what I needed. Well, is it redeemable? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. Coin one, handicap on, damage ratio two, stage selection, random. Oh, random stage. We got a baby. Yoshi story on, everything else off. Yeah, that was the one stage I was missing. Um, make them all flacos. So what this is going to do is this is going to give me all of Falco's trophies. Actually, wait. Gotta change this. And Link's all-star mode trophy, which I also need. If it start, it should have to pick a stage. I think the items are off. So now the first thing I have to do is reset the controllers. So I'm holding up constantly. Oh, I think. Okay, good. Okay. Um, and if I hold up, X. Left on this. I don't know. Okay, so now, all the Falcos are holding down. By the way, Esther, I don't know if you can help me with this, but that might be considered cheating in the run. Okay. Why? Just, just a heads up. Because I, I know you're very helpful and you want to help me. <laughs> um, there's many controllers. There are many controllers. <laughs> um, so now, essentially what I can do is wait for them to not be invincible anymore. Press B, kill them instantly, and it's faster than CPUs because CPUs would kind of dawdle and they would yeah. take their time. But they're all holding down. They're the fastest falling characters, you, and they do it at the same time. How are they all holding down? I reset the controller, so they think the neutral position is actually up. So when I let go, it thinks it's holding down the whole time. Crazy. And same with right now, it thinks I'm holding up. This is also why I need random stage select because I can press start no problem. In fact, I'm gonna situate them properly. Sorry. I do this a hundred times. Oh. Um, but see, look, everything's moving because they're stuck in a position. And if, if that's the case, so ideally I should be getting about 33 to 36 kills a match because after the 100 coin battles, I have to get 5,000 KOs and that goes by faster because I don't have to have a time limit. I can just go through all the 99 stocks I need to get to it. So I do this for a very long time. This is very much the insane part. It's probably the second most insane part. Yeah, the okay. most insane part is the coin. By Not far. That's a dash. Just, that's yeah, a dash. That's dash yep. Okay. yep, that's mashing the, the keys. Hey Stanley, welcome back. We may have salvaged the run. It's not going to look like it because our, our splits are going to look weird, but 
it might be world record or a good run. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, and I, I kind of plan to have like some videos to watch for the full run. I have nothing planned for that for now. So it could just be me by myself. Four in the morning, you know, who knows. That's if Matt gets here. <laughs> you almost said he is, and then you're like, oh. No, no, I did not say that. Oh. But yeah, this makes it so much easier. This is actually something that Amsa did. Um, B Wells was Fox and went against three Jigglypuffs and shined them on flat zone, and that worked fairly well. But he had CPUs on, and he wasn't using this technique. Oms is the one that did this. But my innovation was not getting any of the trophies for Falco, and then not getting All-Star with Link, because I'm also doing that with these 100 matches. So it's more con it's, it's consolidated and more efficient to do it all at once, instead of uh, splitting them up. Do you know how long one of these matches takes? One of these? It's a minute. Oh, it's a minute. Yeah. And then you have to press start at the end. So it's a little bit more than a minute. Keep you coming till 4 a.m. What, bruh? Really? That's what? 1 a.m. My time? That's uh very kind. That's many hours from now. Thank you. Like I can quickly see how many stocks I got. How many kills I got? Probably like 32, maybe. 35. Okay, that's better than I thought. So the higher that average, the better. Because I want to end with, at the end of 100 matches like this, we'll get 3,500 kills. Which means I only need 1,500 left. And I can get that in about 5 VS matches where I'm against 99 stock Falcos. And it looks like, yeah, this part takes about 2 hours. And then... The next one takes a little less than an hour. And then we're on to the Mew and Celebi encounter, which is entirely RNG. Why do you need the coins? It's not the coins that I need. I need 100 coin matches to get a trophy. And what's funny about this is I looked on my, my memory card growing up as a kid. We didn't even have the trophy because we only played eight. We only played eight coin matches because coin matches are dumb and no one plays coin matches. So I didn't even have the trophy because I only, in my... 15 plus years of playing or whatever, only ever played eight of these kind of matches as a kid. Yeah. And most people are like, what? It's like, most people probably don't have that trophy because no one plays more cringe. More like cringe matches, true. That's what I said as a kid, too. That is so handy. Yeah, it was a really good idea. It's way easier. Your yeah. It's a good size too. Yeah, I blew up to like 225%, I think. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I love seeing the gamer setups that have like a, a really long call monitor for their chat. I think that's so cool. You can do that with any um, Yes. Totally. I did it for a while when I it was really actually it was nice. It was cool. to like turn off back all the orientations. True. I'm sure I could just click a button on my stream and that would do it all for me. Oh, really true. I only ever played eight. Yeah, between Don and I, we played eight coin matches growing up. Here's where I see David stream until 7 a.m. Yeah, let's let's do it. I'm assuming at some point I'll be really tired and. uh... I'll probably take a break to go to the bathroom and then grab food and stuff, because I have to eat more, obviously, probably. And, and uh, you know, use the bathroom. Hey, Stanley, what's up? So, I ha they specifically have to be coin matches, um, unfortunately. <laughs> if it was just 5,000 KOs, then that would, it would just go by a lot faster. It would be probably about half the time. But this part, for the 5,000 KOs, including coin matches, takes about three hours. I did? You must have come back earlier. I guess I didn't remember. Use the bathroom. You don't have a bucket. What a rookie. I know, right? I Also, something about me not wanting to get, like, 
banned from Twitch TOS, something like that. Is that Matt? Is that Matt? Let's freaking go. Oh, is someone going blanky mode? Oh my gosh, Matt. Yeah, yeah. So, I was an idiot. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh it's in this packaging and everything. Oh no. It's probably not a good thing. Don't I love you, Hacks. Sorry. <gasps> Thank you! I know. Here, little baby, you have to push buttons. That's right, I only need to push one button. Okay. Actually, can you open it for yeah. me? Yeah. Thanks. It's not over the box. I'm scared. Wow, so on brand. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Okay, so. So. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you can still dance if you want to. Um, <laughs> so, obviously the only stage that's RNG dependent is getting the freaking Bruno Trophy to get Mushroom Kingdom 2 stage. Do you know about that? Okay, yeah, that's the only RNG based stage. So either through one player mode, do you randomly, it randomly spawns, or you get it in the water. Yeah, that's the RNG one. That's RNG. You want to start with that one, right? Yes, if possible, and it's almost never the case. So, in all my practice runs, I've happened to get Birdo. That's a lot of pieces. Holy crap. Do you want chicken, bacon, ranch, or do you want garlic, chicken, alfredo? Garlic, chicken, alfredo sounds bomb. Mix the two. Mix the two? I don't know. Esther will pick the right one. Um, so, oh, speed says hi. Oh, hi, speed. <laughs> um, so, anyways. I found myself really needing random stage select. You only get random stage select once you have all the stages that aren't special stages. The reason why I need, this is really stupid, the reason why I need all stage select, because if I don't, I can't select random. And if I don't, if like you know how you can pick like just the five turn illegal stages? Yeah. You can't do that normally unless you have all the stages. So what I do is I pick Yoshi Story and then I turn off stage select to random, so there's no stage select and it goes directly to the stage, right? Well, the reason why that's important is one, it saves time because you skip the stage selection screen every time, right? Yeah. But more importantly, all these controllers think they're all holding down and this one thinks they're all holding up, so they're all moving all the time. Did I, did I tell you about that? I know you do this for the... I've seen you do this purpose. Yeah, look. So if they're all moving, I can't pick the stage. Oh. So you can't do this part unless you have... Exactly. Oh. Exactly. And I didn't have Birdo, and, but don't worry, I had 60 coins. So what you can do is, as long as you remove the memory oh, card... Yeah, 32. I wish that translated. Are you kidding me? Oh, that makes the run so much shorter. Anyways, um... <laughs> when you, um... But, and I had 60 coins, but I forgot to take the memory card out first. I thought I had to take it out after. So I spent all the coins to get new trophies, but not Birdo. And I was like, oh, frick. So, uh, you're going for a bunch of coins. And it takes forever to get coins. So then, I was like, well, oh, that's the yes. Yes. That, right? Exactly. exactly. Yes, that's that. Yeah. But there's one part at the end. Do you see where it says remaining trophies at the end? The yeah. very last thing? So whatever you going... miss, you just go back and add. I'm, it, and right. I'm try I, I went, I basically skipped to that part. Which is going to adventure mode, jumping on every Goomba's head to get trophies. Cutting as many trophies as you can. Do Goombas do it randomly too? Yes. As, like, same as the one random RNG. Like, same yes. pool. Same I, pool. I, I don't know if it's the same pool, but I don't know if it's the same likelihood. But um, So anyway, so I was like, well, this is the wrong order, and I might not even have to be doing this. Like if I had Matt's, you know, controller or whatever. I know he's not. Wake up, Flacco. I'm gonna get some flack if you don't start waking up. <laughs> oh. So, uh, yeah, so basically I just grinded to get RNG to get a Birdo, and I eventually ran into a Birdo in one player mode. 
And some trophies you can only get in one player mode, some you can only get in lottery. Birdo is one you can get in either one player or lottery. But it has no specific way. It was the only one, only one that was in a specific way. It's not the only one. It's the only one that's related to unlocking a stage. That's RNG. Okay. Yeah. So many trophies have these weird criteria for unlocking them. Some are only in lottery. Some are only in one player mode. Some are in both. Some are like beating Birdo, things. Birdo is the, like, the, the, it's yes. like the hardest thing. Why is Birdo the hardest? It's only the hardest because it's the only one that's contingent upon like other things like the stage select. That's why it's like it's the RNG based one that matters because it, it, it impacts your run. If that makes sense. Like if your goal is to unlock all the stages, your first thought is how the heck do I get Birdo? Because it's the only RNG dependent factor of the entire run, pretty much. So Whereas this one has a bunch of RNG factors like getting Mew and Celebi and coming across the right trophies in one player mode and like a bunch of things. And then at the end, near the end here, I have to keep track of every trophy that I have and every bonus that I get. You know what bonuses are? In the single player. Exactly. exactly. You have to get every single bonus, bonus to get a trophy. Which is, includes no hit. Includes no hit. I know you told me about no hit. Which I did. And I cut a ton of time off. Like exactly. six Where, minutes. The second split. No damage classic. Oh, wait, is that like 16 minutes? Yeah. Because you just got it, like, yeah. second try or something? No, first try. Yeah, I got both first try. It was really good. It was at the moment where you're like, <laughs> No! No, it was much later. <laughs> this I, is the run. No, it was much later. We still have until... We have okay. six more hours? Seven more hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, we still got an hour and 45 minutes of this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've seen you do this on Discord. <laughs> yes, you have. You really have. Except now you have us yeah. talking. So you guys do not yeah. need to be here for the for the nonsense. Um, now Genuinely. That, now that uh, it's a reality. Um, so pizza is in the oven. Oh. And um, we're going to make bananas. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And oh. um, we're going to... Okay. <laughs> I'm a little less excited about that one. But... Actually, can you open the window? It's a little warm in here. The Thanks. smile just like. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't get the banana. You know what's fun is actually you know is is. Said. Oh yeah, look at that. How? <laughs> I made it. Esther made it. How did... What? You Hello. Use a cartridge. No, um, actually, fun fact. Um. <laughs> Esther and Matt banana bread cooking stream with David noises in the background. <laughs> so part of it is PAL and part of it is NTSC. Which I think is a really charming little detail, actually. Look what tells it the parts that are German. It just says assembled in Germany. Normal. Like you have to say. You gotta come back to normal. It's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Esther, look what a. Uh, what? Look what uh, Anthony said. Esther and Matt, banana bread cooking cream with David Noisessi. Noise hey, that's your new name, Noisessi. <laughs> it's the Noisessi. Noisessi. You said normal. <laughs> <laughs> It feels good to hear the stage music. Oh, right, Stanley? Yeah. Oh, I, this is the best soundtrack ever made. Oh. That's so funny. <laughs> My favorite thing when Amsa did this was he did it with um, Link and three Mewtwo's. And every once in a while he'd go, ooh, like he would impersonate Mewtwo himself. It was really funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. You also do um, Mario. Do! Yeah, do! And then Falcon, my first one's crazy. You ready? Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't exclusively when he's playing Mario. <laughs> I believe you. There's been a multiple times where you drop the game. I believe you. I just have no memory of it. It's okay. Sometimes I go. <laughs> so I get it. Oh. Oh. True. Saucy. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, Stanley? The carrier sound effects is amazing. It's <laughs> how she sounds. It is yeah, literally it how is. she sounds, yeah. The fact that you added it. It's good. Because it's not like a... <laughs> like you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> when Miji goes up, he's like... Oh. <laughs> you and her Miji die enough. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm trying to imagine if he gets hit really hard. He goes... <laughs> Literally. Like, he does the extra, like... Literally. Like, you know, he gets his, like, the, the air yeah. knocked out of Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like raspy voice town. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then you have Pop when you get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With Yoshi, that was freaking hilarious. The I, way he's just like deadpan looking at it, like, <laughs> he gets something out of this. The first time I saw that, I was like, "What is happening? How is he doing that?" I'm just curious, David. That Raikou mini movie thing was actually part of the Ruby Sapphire season. Oh, really? Main character in the main series with side character in the main show. Oh, wasn't May a main character in the Ruby Sapphire part of the season? Thanks for the lurk, my dude. Actually, I should think my strat is to face right. Because... Well, if you want me to explain... Because the earliest part of the spin attack is in front of you, and the person that falls first is also in front of you. So it takes advantage of the invincibility frame time. Exactly. I assumed it was just like... No. Go. Yeah. It's actually really hard to do that you know part. I forgot you're holding it. Oh, the whole time. Yeah. So C-Stick comes in really handy. Um, and if you don't do it very precisely, you'll jump, or you'll go up, or you it's really funky. Yep. But practicing on Discord was helpful, because, you know, even though it's stupid and monotonous, you don't know, you know, what you're not doing until, oh great, one at a time, the most optimal. Look, look at them, they're just bowing in, like, allegiance. They're like, true. <laughs> this is what I do. It's your job. <laughs> I wasn't, I was genuinely joy joyful. I spilled the beans, Matt, and explained the origin of... Uh, you like this. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> yeah. I don't remember. You don't remember? It's, it's the skit that he did with his friend where it's old people yes. making yes. disgusting concoctions. <laughs> oh, you like this! You like this! <laughs> Why was that old person Because <laughs> <laughs> every old person's Yoda. If you're not a Grogu, you're a Yoda. <sighs> my, my favorite thing that Esther's done recently, I mean, of everything he's ever done, is she sends me vi she sends me photos she sends me photos like she's in her store, and she sends me random videos of her like strangling Grogu and just without context I thought it was going to be, she loves me unconditionally she cares about me so she sends me photos of her strangling Grogu also videos though, that adds a lot to it It really, it really means a lot to me. Oh. Wait, really? Holy crap, Stanley. So she appeared in Diamond and Pearl, but she didn't, she didn't appear in subsequent seasons because of her condition? That's insane. Thank you, though. Oh. I meant to say no, thank you, but I appreciate that. It wasn't communicated very well. That was nodding my head. Hmm? 
Yeah. Can you do that? Can you put like seven together for me? Yeah. Make sure you're No, that would not work. We just need to start the stuff. Oh my gosh. The lungs. <laughs> Going in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that reminds me of something really stupid, but it, whenever I watch it, I just cannot stop laughing. It's my stupid, the stupid video that my dad made when he was uh, like 20 or something called TV Dragging. It's utter nonsense. It's about this made-up hobby people have where they drag TVs behind their cars. And he got all these people he knew to like be interviewed and explain their history with it and stuff. And he at, and then my grandma, he one of the people he interviews is, is his mom, right? And so she was very just playing along with it and just very very sweet natured. And then she's like, well, there was a secret society, like how we knew there were other TV draggers, and you know, um, we'd wear our socks in secret places. It, 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 we go to secret places to wear our socks. <laughs> So whatever she says, we wear our socks in secret places. <laughs> and then her like panically trying to correct what she said. It is. Oh, Bell, thanks for the raid. Monado, how's it going? Raideroo, hashtag Raideroo. <laughs> thank you guys for. Oh my gosh, Bell, thank you so much for the raid. It has been a minute. How have you been? I do know Belle, yes. Uh, she reviewed Pokemon Snap a very long time ago, and I, and I thought it was a great review. How are you? How is your stream? I wish Coin Battle would come back, Matt. Well, well right now, Matt, uh, I'm not a fan of Coin Battles, because uh, I have to do 100 of them in a row. Because I'm on a speed run. But I'm glad that you like coin battles. You're going to see a lot of coin battles for the next hour or so. Mostly of Falco's dying and being slayed by Link's blade. Uh, okay, we started this at 10.04. No, I start. Wait, my, my the stream? No, 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 no. Oh, the oh. timer was at like 10.04 when we started this. So oh. So we've been doing this for like 25, 26 minutes. Hey, Smash Matt, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I guess you're right. Because in VS mode, get grinding for coins is slower than in single player mode, which is why I go to training mode. And, okay. <laughs> yes or not? Everyone's as advanced as you. You can't do that, okay? Um, oh, yeah, he did. That's right, Epic. And, fun fact same voice actor, same style of Link as this guy. Because Soul Calibur 2 came out in 2002, I think? 2003 on GameCube, and it had Link. Same voice actor. Wombo combo. Happy feet. That is Falco. This, the, there's no, there's no opposite word of aim. That's not just is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Knight. Thanks for the lurk. I appreciate that. If you don't mind me, oh, of course. Hey, Smash Man, have an amazing night. Hopefully, I'll catch you again later. In fact, if you're on the East Coast, it's like, isn't it like midnight for you guys right now? If you're in other, in other parts of the world, you might be in Australia or something. I don't know what time it is there. Hey, Jade, I'm guessing that you're grinding for something right now. Yes, I am. So the thing that I'm doing right now is uh, <laughs> I need 100 coin battles because that's one of the requirements to get a trophy. And my goal right now, I'm currently 10 and a half hours into an all trophies speed run. So... Sorry to raid and run, but I really need to get some rest. Of course, of course. Okay, it's midnight for you. Well, Bell, again, thank you for the for the raid. I deeply appreciate it. This is one of the silliest speed runs and silliest streams I've ever done. So I really appreciate that we our paths cross. Have an amazing night. Thank you. I will get every trophy I can. So, I'm also getting as many KOs as I can get. And what you'll notice, look at this screen real fast. See how the, the, the cursors are moving? One's moving up on the screen, and the other three are moving down. And that's because what makes it the fastest and the easiest for me is the other controllers are holding down, which means they'll fall as fast as possible, and I'll get as many kills as I can in a one-minute period. And all I have to do is press B instead of hold up. Good night, Bell. Well, this is probably the silliest of the sillies. So. You guys, Bell is part of our family-friendly live stream team. 
fantastic streamer and creator on YouTube also. Please check her out if you have not already. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that. We had a bunch of like what part of the of the Skyrim speed room was part of it, right? <clears throat> yes. Oh. Didn't you beat it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I think Donnie beat it. I I didn't beat it, but I resumed a game I hadn't played in years and got it very quickly. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that I beat your time legit or anything. Shadow, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Also, every once in a while, I'm so go, Sir, huh? <laughs> like Link. <laughs> and then Sarah would join the chat and go, Sir, huh? That's great. And then Pikachu would die and he'd go, Sriracha. <laughs> and he'd say, Sriracha. Yeah. Sriracha. And then he'd say, Sir. Oh, he did, wait, is that what he says? No, I'm, does Stanley think that? I guess I can kind of hear it, actually. If it strikes, it goes into the I think it's because when he's, when he does his spin attack, like the spin attack noise goes, you know, and it mixes with his, Right. Yeah. No, Jaden believes it's steak. I like that. Oh. I don't remember. Oh well, Don, I thought it was twelcom punch from New York Kids. Yeah. What does it sound like? Well, it, it, in melee, it was a lot more pronounced. Very clearly, Falcon. Punch. But in Smash Bros, you're like, TALK AND PUNCH! Yeah! <laughs> it's true. So it sounds all distorted and like... And he legit sounded like that. And then, I remember, we thought, um... Ness was... Instead of PK Fire, it was, USE THE PLAYER! <laughs> Do I? I just think you remember because you played it. <laughs> hey, Epic. Link's J Japanese Dad. voice and has a mockery of time. Majora's Mask and Smash Melee 64 has voiced Guy Shishio. Am I saying that right? And King of Braves. DQ. And yep, that's right. Erdrick and Smash Bros. Ultimate. I was going to say that if you didn't bring it up. That's exactly right. Erdrick is one of the um, Dragon Quest characters. Um, and the, the, the character Hero in Smash Ultimate. So there's like four different heroes, and they're all like semi old for each other. But one of the set of them uses Link's from Ocarina of Time's voice actor. What? Yeah, it's super sick. I always picked that character when I picked the, that character in Did Ultimate. You know that? Epic sax guy stuff. That's really I didn't know that until right now. It's amazing. I, I, I thought you were asking, did you know that Epic knew about random stuff? Which oh. I didn't until now. Well. That's what I thought you were asking. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Stanley, Ga! It's there's a GameCube right there. Yeah, try it. You're gonna be very confused. I, are you sure? Yeah. So sometimes these things, you either like immediately or like this is the great. This is really confusing in this computer, or like you just kind of pick it up. Fair enough. Fair enough, maybe I misjudged. I have a few reasons why yeah, I think actually, that. Yeah, don't judge. Did he? Well, he would pick it up easier than me because he knows what, like, tilts are. So do you. No, you're good at it. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> No, it's already it's probably really low already. Also those don't work. You have to use um You got it's probably already low enough, yeah. You gotta use the itty bitty little toothpick. 
And it might be the wrong input, so if it is, just let me know. Disc, Here. Okay. I have two discs. Check if it's in there. If it's not, it's in the game case. There you go. I knew having two discs was a good idea. So try pressing the buttons on that black device that has the thing plugged in, and press a different button on the top of it. Yeah, one of those buttons. Yep. Yeah, press a different one. There you go. That was a good moment to hear the music. Yeah, it sounds it's fine. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. How many more do you have to go? Um, I'm probably almost a third of the way through. Yes, very much. And again, my splits are going to look off because I just spent a lot of this time on uh, get, trying to get the Birdo Trophy, which normally wouldn't happen. So did you have the two GameCube thing before this, or did you... Because remember you said you needed to get a cord, right? Uh, yeah, this... Uh, I did need it to give to you for like this purpose. And I would need it if I ever brought it to a tournament or anything. Right. Oh, because you I sorry you updated it first. I had to plug it in like just to a, a computer. Right. And then update it from there. Right. And it's actually it has a better cooling rate if you do that as well. Right. You mentioned that. I, that's right. Um, I think I'm okay right now. Um Thank you. There's a moment of this that's a little bit less. Um, Let me know. I'll just cut it and feed it. All right. Okay. Don't tell me anything. Feed it. I like that. <laughs> Matt, can you please explain what that means? Yeah. What is that? I just want to know what that is. Board the platforms. <laughs> feed the pizza. It's like, what's involved in that? I just want to picture it. So, the act of feeding something means it doesn't necessarily have to have a stomach. Uh huh. It just has to gain mass. <laughs> okay. So, so putting toppings on a pizza is essentially feeding it. It's a way. But don't get ahead of yourself. Okay, I won't. I won't. You don't know anything. Thank you, Jaden, for the follow. What? Thank you, Jaden, for the follow. Excuse me? Thank you, Jaden, for the follow. You're Wait. a classic. I don't want to go you have to guess. Yes, sir. See, this is, this is the thing that I think will mess you up. This is Falcon activates Final Smash. Also, he had to look misses and KOs himself. Yes, that can happen, Epic. That can happen. <laughs> Mario Kart Double Dash and Kirby Air Ride were some Nintendo GameCube games that had the land features. Yes! <coughs> oh, frick. Um, you were 100% right, Epic. And man, I would have killed for that. Oh, but, ooh! Oh, yeah. So it's my favorite thing, Stanley. Gah! And then Falco, Falco's like, <laughs> uh, Dude, it's so funny. Now I'm comparing this CRT to that one, and the colors are so much better on this one than that one. They're super saturated and orangey on the right. <laughs> yeah, dash dancing, the one thing every box player can confidently do. Yep, yep. Wow. It's the first thing I did when I played. Right? Heart-shaped donut. Have you seen the greatest story in Melee history? Yes, I have. I have seen that. It's by, isn't that by Empleon or whatever his name is? Emplemen. Or, oh, Emplemen. Yeah. Or am I thinking of something else? Please, please, Heart. Please, uh, educate me if I'm not thinking about it. Let's go, Esther. Let's go. Good luck pressing start. <laughs> I know. Kirby Air Ride might have been intended for N64. That's right. It was originally called Kirby Bowl, I think. So 
It was it was Kirby Bowl and then Kirby Air Ride on 64, and then they got ported to GameCube and and uh, done by HAL Laboratory. That is ap epic. You know your stuff. What can I say? You know your stuff. It's by a channel named Bull Master. Oh, okay, that's right. M. Fleming made the H box stuff. That's what I'm thinking of. Honestly, Heart, I may have. I just don't remember, to be honest. Ooh, break the targets, Essie. Right now, um, Esther is trying a box controller, which, if anyone's tried it, it's very disorienting at first. I don't know how to do an nope. Where would a C-Stick be on your uh, GameCube controller? None of this is where it would be. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I I led you astray. I forgot c -Sick doesn't work in one-player mode. Okay, I'll just do a slow cancel and swag. <laughs> oh, my God. One of my friends tried the box controller. Yeah. And Matt has one. And if all goes well, I'll be using it. There's also the Mario and Yoshi trophy and the Samus and Mass trophy. That's correct. Um, dude, Epic, you're exactly right. <clears throat> the Devil World NES one is exclusive to the Japanese <clears throat> NTSC versions of Melee. So in Melee, there are 293 on NTSCU. Uh, Jay, 292 on NTSC... Oh my gosh, Essie. <laughs> Dude. I wanted it. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, Essie. I don't have to do, but I. Because <clears throat> it's like these two buttons are up B, so you're like you're sort of falling off the edge. Go, uh, switch one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the meanest thing you could say in that situation. Idiot. <laughs> idiot shows Toad. Look at this idiot. Where's Reggie? <laughs> <friend? laughs> wanna... Where's Mew? How... What, bunny ears Mewtwo got you down? <laughs> Go up! What is, what is that one? <laughs> Calmly co taunts into a bomb. That's what I miss about items on. <laughs> there was never a safe taunt. And I just, I love CPU's mindless behavior. Like, they'll run away from the bolt bill and then just stand there as a bomb walks into the... <laughs> there is some logic to it. Only run away from hitboxes. Yeah, I think that's probably it, yeah. Hey, Mark. Yeah, I've been live all day. This is possibly the longest stream I've done. I think I did a, a 10 hour one. I think I did a nine hour one um, for another speedrun stream I did a while ago. So this is probably just now the longest stream. Yeah. My, my loving girlfriend and my loving friend have accompanied. <laughs> yeah, you get to decide. Oh my gosh. Esther, that was amazing. Thank you. So currently, Esther is trying the box controller, which is my friend Matt's control. You may know him as Admiral Agril. You may know her as Essie Lessie. Uh, so that's happening on another screen over there. Try to wave dash with the box controller, says Stanley. Uh, if I didn't have a sandwich, sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you have a sandwich? You're hiding it. I also like Samus's. What are you doing? Honestly, Pressing start and all those. This feels pretty cool. Wow. Okay. You, you always thought what, Matt? Samus was the hardest yes. um, in adventure mode. Yes. On uh, Smash 64. Literally, yes. Literally the okay. same. I, yep. I, I, I agreed to you before I realized you were saying Smash 64, but I was thinking Smash 64 before you said it. 
I don't know why. Like, yeah. Like, the AI felt like a bounty hunter. Yeah. Down. They just want to it. Have you talked to Donnie about this? No. I promise you, he agrees. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Dang, awesome. Yeah. Sometimes. Looks like they're keeping you entertained. Oh man, it's 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 a fun party, Mark. We brought we brought sleeping bags and all sorts of things. We're gonna have a pillow fight. Yeah. <laughs> no. Are you not telling us about the modifier key? I'm letting her figure everything out first. And she Thank you, Okay, we're one third through the coin matches. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to pick it up. Hey, turtle. David, when you did this in Discord, you weren't doing coin battle. I remember. Yeah, it was. Oh, but near the end I wasn't. Yeah. Because I, I got over 100, I just need the rest of the KOs. So I'm also, okay. so from when all these coin battles are done, I'll have roughly 3,500 KOs. I need okay. 5,000 KOs. Exactly, and I'll be getting their trophy. So I don't have to do classic adventure or all-star with Falco because I'm getting them all done this way. Because you've completed so many matches with Falco because it's 300. It counts as 300, even though it's only 100 matches, because they're each individual human. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is Esther about to send Masterhand to the Blanky Domain? <laughs> You're right. What do you think Masterhand looks like without the gloves? Oh. Can we, can we get this model? I don't know. Do we know what race Masterhand is? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Italian? Is it not a Mario game? I guess that's the assumption. That's fair. L Waluigi. It's Waluigi's hand. <laughs> We're having a party, Turtle. Some of the best people you could ask for are in this room right now, and it's not me. Very satisfying to see Yen go strike and kill the Falcos. It really is. It doesn't get old. <laughs> Esther, I am shocked. Great job. You shouldn't be. I feel like I would die in the first three levels. Yes. I'm not kidding. That's incredible. Yeah, the, the good part about not being like super confident with the game. Right. Not, like, right. The game. Muscle memory. Yeah. You're a PC girl at oh, arm. Uh, yeah. David, did you get the 250% uh, bonus? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Like, you should get all that. I should. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. How are you doing that? Pause it. What? How are you doing that? <laughs> that isn't That's possible. Not possible, right? <laughs> you can't do that. Wait. I'm not kidding. What is happening? How are you pausing the credit screen? I didn't think you could do this. You literally can't. What is happening? Nerf the box. Haunted. Nerf the Haunted box. console. Esther, how do you pause it? B! I broke it. Esther! <laughs> I keep <can't> going. <laughs> Esther uncovers the greatest thing of all time. <laughs> Wait for it? I don't know that one. Esther! It's gonna randomly happen. Esther, I need your breathiest attempt at the next one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Motion sensor bomb in melee is based on the proximity of the perfect dark. Motion sensor bomb 
You are 100% right, Epic. That is all correct. And there was a canceled item for Melee called Timed Mine, which would have resembled and been similar to the Timed Mine item in 007, but it was <clears throat> it's still on the disc as unused data. Bedtimes, am I right indeed? Something I noticed, Mango, Ginger, and West Balls are losing the link in these battles. Oh my gosh, Stanley, you're so right. Holy cow. Mango is the Fal Fal Falco, the Far Carver. Ginger is blue and West Balls is red. Holy cow. And this, I'm just uh, Dan Salvato or Save State. Or Kid Link. Take them all out. Is there some video I can learn about this kind of little known melee tidbits? <clears throat> Actually, there is, Mark. If, it, if you use the elevated command in chat. I mean, I, I think I have an elevated command. I don't actually know if I do. <clears throat> but it's a documentary all about the development of Melee. And you're speaking as if you're like, you know, you're someone that like almost knew about it beforehand or something. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you for trying that. That's great. It works! Stanley was really close with Elevate. Yeah, so, I mean, honestly, honestly, Epic, I feel like you maybe even have watched this video. But yeah, I created a, uh, a documentary that covers all this, all those little fun facts. Although not the one about general GameCube knowledge that you first dropped on us. I think that controller works down there, Matt, if you want to play with SE. Um, I think so. Does it work? I can't remember. It should. Also, I probably have some of Esther's controllers here somewhere. Actual question, though. I'll tell you, it comes from a specific quote by Sakurai himself. Um, when he was talking about his decision to spend his own money, potentially, to get an orchestral soundtrack for the game, he said it was all in an effort to elevate. He's like, that's the, he's like, when he, when he was talking about the soundtrack for Melee, he's like, I didn't want to just reuse the tracks from the original games. Like, I didn't want to reuse Ice Climber original 8-bit music theme. I didn't want to reuse stuff from Mario 64. I wanted to... <clears throat> bring it to another level I wanted to elevate it because that's the point of melee is basically what he said <clears throat> he's like if I just use the original music that would go against the entire point of melee to use his words he wanted to elevate it to another level and I thought yes that is melee in a nutshell he like he took smash 64 and really everything about games up until that point in my opinion and he really elevated them like he just that this was what? No, stop. Oh, stop. Uh, uh. <laughs> I was waiting at me. Oh, I believe you. Oh, oh, there it is. I saw it. I saw it. Good job. Yes, Stanley, she's doing it. She's wave dashing with it. Yeah, it was awesome, Mark. When um, when uh, <clears throat> Ludwig was streaming it, and that part came up where I quoted Sakurai, everyone in chat was like, "He said the word." That's awesome. You're talking about 15k views away. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. You know what's funny is my six month video is over 160k right now, I think. And I got that in like a month or two. And Elevate has been out for more than a year. I, I honestly thought, like, I'm really, really proud of it. And I love, I love how it came out. But I kind of wish, like, it had more views for what it was. I feel like it deserves more. But. Same. Yeah? Yep. I don't mean to be ungrateful or anything, because I'm happy with the attention that it got. I'm really happy with it. Even if it got no views, but... This dew and jump soda is hitting the spot. Thank I'm you. I'm so happy it is. It's lovely. Thanks, Stanley. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> 
You're also on Yoshi's. I'm hearing the music twice. You know what I just realized too? I have another white game controller somewhere in one of those drawers too, if you guys want to use that. Huh? Did you ever go to any locals, Matt? Other than the like the ones we went to like the tournaments? We went to Don't Park on the Grass. I th wasn't that at Donnie's house? Thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. I, I think it was at Donnie's house. You just press down? You just tap down? I just... You jump and then you tap down. No, you should be able to jump and then tap down, which is on your left hand. So like the jump button and then immediately press down afterwards. But not like immediately, immediately. Because <laughs> I know how to do it on a GameCube controller. Huh. Do you want a penny for your trouble? <laughs> Ten stock, epic. <laughs> no time limit, epic. Oh, nice. Yeah. What are you there you go. Jump. Yeah, press and hold it. And remember, if you're if you're pressing down too soon, it's during jump squat, so it's not gonna work. Jump. Then ho don't stop holding X when you press. Or sorry, don't don't stop. Don't stop holding jump when you press jump, Essie. And then press B or press down. You know what's so funny, Esther? I was doing the same thing when I tried it. It feels natural. Like yeah, Yankee. yeah. Super really interesting. Do you have enough people to run house tournaments for fun? Like five to six plus players? Those are always a good time. Honestly, we could probably easily do that. Um, I've always just felt odd about opening up my house to people in a very selfish way, whereas many of my friends would just do it. Um, I, I'm, I'm less trusting of people, I guess. Smash Summit, David. Ooh, ooh, a David Kimball Smash Summit. Everyone's invited. That'd be kind of fun. 
Hey, Chuckles, welcome back. How are you? Has been a bit. I appreciate that. Thank you. I, I legit just had Elevated as my up next recommended video on YouTube. Never have any before. Really? That's nice. I know. You know what's funny? Someone, I think Relax Alax told me, like, oh, yeah, the thumbnail looked too professional for me to watch it. It's like, when, when, when they look too nice, I, I don't, I just don't get end up watching them. I was like, huh? So apparently it appears on a lot of people's necks, but I guess like I need a better thumbnail for it. I don't know. I want people to get their grimy hands on my stuff. I mean, essentially, it's very, very selfish, and I've always had that complex when I was young too. Cause I never felt like people really respected other people's property like I did. I felt like if I was using someone else's thing, I would like take really good care of it, and like I didn't feel like anyone else gave me that same courtesy. <laughs> no! <laughs> Up next. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Current count is not relevant anymore. That's when I was keeping track of my VS matches from earlier um, yeah. when I was doing stamina mode. I could probably just hide that to not stop confusing people. Yeah, there we go. The next thing I have to do is keep track of the um, yeah the bonuses that I have. And yeah, no problem. I mean, you're not the only person that commented on it, so I think hiding it's probably good. Almost got another KO in there. So basically, we'll know we're two-thirds of the way through when we get interrupted and we're told you unlock the falco trophy then we'll know we're at or yeah then we'll know we're at two-thirds no problem stanley yeah so that's what throws me off the most is the to, to fit your hands ergonomically the down is up yeah my, <laughs> this finger is always up right on, on a lost keyboard, you're like, your program that up or forward is. My right hand isn't used to this dexterity. I'm doing left hand. Ha 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 is this button? I'm doing the wrong word. <laughs> I was impressed with how long that was happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not to me. It's a game. <laughs> <laughs> Falco! I imagine Dean Harrington as an old man. Falco!
something, something I'm looking for is the first... I'm trying to wait. If I can strike them all before 50 seconds is over on the timer, then I know I'm on a good rhythm. If it's past 51, I just have to spam it. Yeah, exactly, Anthony, yeah. So, the reason I use auto-split in a counter, like the thing that I just hit, right? Is because in stamina mode, what's so silly is... Since stamina mode skips the result screen, not only do you not get any bonuses from it, but it won't actually give you, like, a challenger approaching character unlock sequence. It won't show you a notice or anything. So I have to use an auto splitter to keep track of where I am. But in normal melee, like coin battles or stock or time, it will interrupt you and it will say, yeah, it will say, here, you've unlocked, you know, the whatever trophy, what have you. So yeah, in this case, Anthony, I will get interrupted, so I won't be able to ignore it, which is nice. I mean, I could ignore it by just mashing and not noticing, but that's not going to happen. Oh, frig. I messed up my timing. That would have been a really optimal one. I did one! Are you spiking Pikachu? Okay, it's very weird to think about. <laughs> I really like going that way. <laughs> okay. You want to get some games updated? Yeah! I do! More than anything! anything. No, it's okay. I love slaughtering Falcons. It's fine. I am a Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I won't even notice the difference. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm not sure. I can't tell when I'm halfway, but I'll know when I'm two-thirds. Oh. Um, because it will tell me I unlocked the Falco trophy again. Again? <laughs> yeah. Because there's three Falco trophies. It just says, you've unlocked the Falco Lombardi trophy every time. Because he falls the fastest. And and it's it's consistent. Cause like er, cause like what, what you can do is I could suicide myself. You did it? She did it. No, nice. Well, not exactly what I wanted to do. Um, what am I? Hold buttons? Darn. Oh! <laughs> the moment of, oh, right, that's what I should do. Became fish. My brain knows what it wants to do, but my fingers say no. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, Clappy Pikachu! Oh, Clappy Pikachu! Oh! Yeah. I cheat, you cheat, you cheat. As he has slow fingies. Gosh dang it, Anthony. Oh wait, is Esther playing with Box? Yes, yeah, she's playing with Box. He's doing really well, honestly. You know what this made me think of? Remember in the fin Infinity War where the son of Thanos goes, We bow before your grandeur. That's what Falco's doing right now. Yeah. Or his offspring. In Marvel? In Marvel? That wasn't that thing. Avengers? Yes, it was! He didn't have a son. Yes, he did! Who? He had the guy that could use telekinesis and stuff and made the little dart darts. The one that tells you about the strange, like... He called him Squidward. It's quite Tony called... Yeah, exactly. Tony called him Squidward. That's his son, isn't it? Pog, I'm generally too smooth-brained to ever learn a whole new controller. It's probably just practice. 
Not his son, oh. David. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. I was thinking, like, is there another purple? Who was his wife? Well, he does have an actual daughter. Nebula is his actual daughter, right? Adopted. No, no. Yeah, Nebula's not his real daughter. He literally. Oh, wait. She's blue. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about uh, Green. From Gamora? Green, Green no, Gamora is adopted. Yeah. Thane is his son, and not Nebula either. Okay, so he does have a son. What? I just was wrong about who it was. His maw. His jaw is. Do you think Thanos is just SpaghettiOs for <laughs> I like that. Ooh, yum. Said that right in my ear. I'm so sorry. Cute. Show me your line better. It is rising. It did rise. Did rise. Did rise. No, that's that's Sidious. Me too. Yeah, Bill and Gamora are both adopted. I don't even know anything about this. <laughs> I don't either. I clearly don't. No, it's your favorite thing in the world. It is my favorite thing in the world, yeah. No, Anthony's right. He actually knows the things. I don't. Yeah, he's a real thing. He doesn't play Farmville and starving like he is. He's a real one. You're right. Can you imagine if they join forces? <laughs> Dude, except more like this. Except more like this? Yeah. Because the thing I always do is say, ignore. I always say, ignore everything related to this, usually. So I thought, what's the opposite of that? Except everything related to this. No, Anthony, me and you. Friggy. That's a new one. <laughs> Sorry. What are you saying? What's it called when you're firewalling? You permit it? You permit it through the firewall? You proceed with something. I heard it was Windows. You spotted something and you have to push the door and go for it to allow you to. Yeah, yeah. It's a safety feature. It just doesn't let me Because most of the time, they'll be like, oh no! And they'll just not even know that they can run it. But for the inclusive minds out there. I'm all looking around it. Sorry, I was thinking about Yoda for that second. Oh, for that second? I wasn't. Yeah, that's why. Esther bleeds me. Dang it. Sometimes the hit stun makes it so it lags enough to be the right timing to hit the other Falcon. <laughs> it's sad that I know that. You've done this. <laughs> Not quite. I don't know how many times I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, great. Only because I figured you might be looking at me. <laughs> no, no, I promise you. No. No, I can't. What if you won second for the world record just because you wanted to down the match? <laughs> no, that would not be my whole thing. I spent all the coins. <laughs> if I have to hear Dean Harrington say grab the coins one more time. <laughs> grab some more coins. I hear him say it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I'm okay. I think I should more in the fridge. I don't need a man. Those are some lovely emotes. Epic. To whom do they belong? Oh my goodness. Can you please not talk to my woman like that? <laughs> Dude, sometimes I have the feeling when I'm going to say something that's going to make Matt particularly crack up, I never hesitate to say it. Falco's in mid hit and he's like flying across the screen. Matt, there's cold water in the fridge. Okay. If I get a nickel every time Dean Harrington has grabbed the coins, I get a burrito from a Mexican restaurant. True, Stanley. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, you gotta go back. That place was amazing. I wish David would refer to me in the, in, in the possessive tense like that. Was that Anthony? Yeah. Yeah. How did you know? You dumped on Anthony. Jealous? Okay. Um, I'm gonna recap that a second. Yeah. The fact that you knew so quickly that it was Anthony that said it. You yeah. Look. Anthony's jealous of me. And how quickly you dunked on Anthony when you Anthony, didn't. Anthony, until the day we are married. Anthony you and still... Anthony? No, you and me. Oh. Anthony would still think he wins. <laughs> okay. Is that right? Until there is a ring on this finger. Can you say a ring, a ringy on this finger. Thank you. Anthony wins. That reminded me of Pricky on a Sticky, so maybe happy. <laughs> the Jesse, Final Fantasy. Okay, wait. I'll read your comment in a second after I send. Oh, wow. That was a fandom hit. Okay. Oh, I see. They're the different, the different emotes from the different um, creators. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Well, you know, it's not challenging for him. There's always a chance, David. <clears throat> no. Funny enough, what? No, go ahead, finish. I had a burrito yesterday from Mexican restaurant. I, oh, let's heck and go. You enjoy that. <clears throat> Mark, when your girlfriend says, when we're married, flush faces. <laughs> I know. I I keep asking her not to bring it up because it makes me uncomfortable. And she's bringing it up. I'm going to need you to correct that. After I brought up our marriage counseling and our... Right? In our, in our course earlier in the stream. And was actively encouraging people to do it. When the GF brings up in together. Oh, man, cringe. Am I right, gamer? <laughs> oh, when the GF gives you the Dundee Award for longest engagement. When, when, the, when the GF who brought you a Baja Blast while you're 12 hours into your <laughs> Nintendo Melee stream. Wants attention? Am I right, ladies? So true. Also, Nintendo Melee is my favorite game. Esther, <laughs> please. Don't choke. Okay. I was scared. I just want you to know, if, if Matt wasn't here and I knew the Heimlich maneuver, and you were choking, I would drop the controller and forfeit the run just to save your life. For, for me? <laughs> for me? Now, if it was for Matt... Uh, it's, a run. it's a pretty good run. It's a pretty good run, I mean... You're not competing with that kind of humor, okay? Don't worry about it. I want you to speak your funny truth. I wonder if... I feel like that's what my goal is, so that can be a deep look in Go ahead and speak your funny truth. <laughs> they slip? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. Um, 
I wonder if you can rent a standing melee cabinet for the wedding, David, like the GameStop ones. While all the guests are waiting in the foyer, everyone's like, what, why is there this random thing in this church? Like everybody would be saying that, come on. You don't have a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, poggers! Yeah, that's your side of the family. That's literally my dad. Yeah. He would learn yeah. that just for me. Your dad would be like, okay, cringe lord. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get out of here. Where's Dat Boy when you need him? <laughs> I was. Uh, they would say that. What was the word if we walked in the other night? Oh yeah, I don't remember. Base. Base. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, they're like, what's base? It's like it's white pilled. <laughs> yeah. Opposite of wokeness. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you know what that means. Be Can they wear beaks? No, for full furry. <laughs> oh my gosh. You mean feathery. Yeah. I like the idea of the beaks for beaks. So there's one person just green and then everybody else has a hat. You know what we should do, Esther? One, instead of like, who, knew, who knows the groom, who knows the, the, who knows the groom, who knows the, the wife, the, the, the not wife, the, the bride. Um, instead of that, it should be featheries and scalies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, this is a lot more than nine hours. It, it is. Uh, that's what I wasn't intending. <laughs> that's just still in. <laughs> I'm surprised Hans was that hip, Essie. <laughs> I like how you spelled Hans with a Z, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Thank you, Mark, for the David in um, ellipses made up entirely of commas. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh. So, so I'm open to a lot of things. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm open to having game room music. Okay. I'm open to having a ceremony in a place where games can be played. Uh. Um, But. So Anthony legitimately thinks Hans is spelled with a C. What? They say that stun seed paralyzes, but D's nuts got him. Oh man, that I'm saying that on my, on my during yeah. my wedding vows. <laughs> Imagine making a D's nuts joke during your vows. Ooh. Oh, it sounds like it's actually building up to something. No. <laughs> I want whoever officiates the wedding to say that to us collectively, uh, so we get collectively owned. Imagine, like there are two men I could imagine who marry us. And <laughs> the idea of either of these men saying that is just hilarious. I like that. Space I don't chicken's gonna marry us. first names are Dawson and so. Space chicken's gonna marry us. Is he? Yeah. We're gonna say coffee girl. <laughs> just gonna say that. Uh, I'm sure he's, you know, ordained. To marry people. That's probably the wrong word. Is it not? No. Oh, okay. Okay. You are dang you not. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Coins everywhere. Yeah. I mean, that's the name of the game. It's the coin battle. I, you know how nice it would be if these coins counted towards the the slot machine coins, but they're different coins? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Like Canva in the US can't play along. <sighs> Madagascar. Where do you think he's from? Actually, yours is probably correct. The Congo Republic or whatever it's called. I know what you're talking about. How do I be married into my late 20s or early 30s? That is perfectly fine. You know what? It's probably the same for me, actually. Yeah. Because if I had a choice. Um, Which is probably going to be the same. I could still be like late 20s. Like, wait, did you say late 20s? Yeah, I said late oh, okay. 20s or early 30s.
player. Collect 69 coins and announce her. Nice! I was making an ethics joke. <laughs> I only got one. Um, so, I know. Someone who won't be named uh, didn't find that very impressive. Um, we have Matt. <laughs> but I won't uh, call them out. You have long arms. You're welcome. Because you're a lengthy con? Dude, you... Oh, okay. Do you make sound? Nice. Yeah, yep. No, it was 100% lengthy con. The form con. Lengthy con is my favorite. I like him a lot. Because he could run on his hands, and I thought that was cool. I related to him because my arms were longer than my legs for a short bit. Arcania? No, it's not. Arcania from Fire? Actually, it's where Martha's from, not where Roy's from. I don't know where Roy's from. Oh my goodness. This little Falco! You know what's funny? When I was little, I didn't. It wasn't obvious to me that Fox and Falco were voiced by Japanese voice actors. I just like accepted it for like I didn't see an action or like a way that. When I heard Fox say, "Come on," I was like, "Well, he's saying normally." And now I hear it, I'm like, "No, that's very clearly a Japanese voice actor. You can tell." I know. Probably on Essie's level. That was like the most swag way to end that oh. Okay, I'm a third of the way through. Oh, two thirds of the way through. Player clip. I already read that. Uh, I like the Japanese voices. I know. Oh, me too. I think they're awesome. Although I have to say, if they got their actual like English voice actors from Star Fox 64, that would be awesome. Fun fact. In the in the sequences where. Like, you have, like, the, sick, the hidden taunt and stuff. <clears throat> Those are all Star Fox Adventures English voice actors. So, the... All across the board, they got Star Fox 64 voice actors in Japan. And then they got, like, the rare team developers, like... Oh, was Chris Sutherland one of them? I think Chris Sutherland was one. I think Chris Sutherland was Fox. And then they had Falco, and then they had, um... The voice actor of Conquer the Squirrel did Peppy and Slippy. <laughs> and that's also the case in Star Fox Adventures. Chris Sieber. Mission Capri! Yeah, no, seriously. Well, I didn't give it away because it was just Falco. Yeah, it was, exactly. It was just Falco. Exactly. I didn't question it. I didn't think about it. If you think about someone in a voice acting booth saying it, then it's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the character. That's what a person yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, that was part of it. Don't worry, only thirty, one more of these to go. What's surprising to me is that like someone from Nintendo heard that voice line and went, "Yeah, that's it. That's the that's the right one." Yeah. And it's like, I don't know what he's talking about, but he was right. Yeah, like, I agree. And on the other side, like these could be never, these could be voice actors that never utter English ever. So they're being coached for hours on how to say these two English words. And that was the best take. You know? Like, imagine imagine trying to say something in Japanese and not sounding completely foolish. Oh, yeah. You know? So the fact that this was passable, and you didn't think about it, says something about the voice actors. You know what's hilarious? I looked up the voice actor of Wolf for something I was working on. <clears throat> his name is Jock. I forgot his last name. His name is Jock. Jock... Jock Laney or Delaney or something, and I I connected with him on LinkedIn and said, "Hey, you're my favorite wolf." He's like, "Oh, thanks. I really enjoyed that role. I wanted to do it again later, but they they didn't 